Hello, everybody. We're going to be playing some Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall in just a minute or two. Let me uh, pin the... There we go. I pinned the mod list for anyone who's interested in the chat there. Now, let's see what else we got. Everything looks good. So, yeah, I was going to do Baldur's Gate today, but unfortunately, um, I got delayed and never got my Daggerfall stream done. So. Uh, here we are doing uh, Daggerfall instead of Baldur's Gate. We'll have to push Baldur's Gate back for, to like Monday or Tuesday. Probably going to do a Power World stream first. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But uh, we're going to play a little bit of Daggerfall today. Let me check a couple more things. Do, 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 do. Alrighty then. Hello, everybody. We're going to get started in just a second. Let me hit some buttons and see what happens. Ah, that, that's good enough. All right. Let's go ahead and get uh, uh, booted up here. Uh, going to say, I, uh, of course, immediately uh, forget to have the thing ready to launch. There we go. Cool. That's what it looks like now. The intro. That's pretty cool. All right. We're just going to pop right in. No problem. Uh, yeah, yes, indeed. So, uh, what are we doing here? Making armor forbidden? Probably not, because there's a lot of cool items I want to be able to use, magical items. So, uh, we're, we're going to do... Um, uh, uh, first of all, let's create a new character. So, um, first things first, we are going to pick High Rock. That is a Breton. Uh, magic resistance yes indeed uh, we're going to go I was originally going to do a male character that was my original plan because the last character was a sassy right and so I thought oh well I will uh, I'll pick a male character now and then I realized something all the good outfit mods all the good clothing mods only female characters yep um, there is no good clothing for uh, male characters right now it's sad so uh female it is now as far as uh, being able to uh you see okay yeah choosing a character from a list and then we go to the bottom for custom class now uh <clears throat> that said uh we're gonna pick evoker and uh we're gonna go with destruction as our primary um what is called uh, blunt weapon. We're not going to use maces or flails. We're only going to use staves. Okay? Yes. Let me see here. A critical strike, of course. But uh, there we go. So as you can see, destruction will be our primary skill. And our our uh, fallback weapon will be a staff. That's gonna, it's gonna what we're going to do. Um... If we end up using a flail or a mace or something like that, it'll only be for, like, a magic effect. It won't really be for the actual shenanigan there. Uh, I would call it. Uh, okay, so um, for major skills, we're going to go with um, uh, restoration. What is it called? Alteration and mysticism. Good. Then down here... We got, um, what do, you, what do you call it? Uh, we got Thormaturgy. Um, wait, Illusion. Then, uh, Thormaturgy. I'm gonna put these in a specific order for no other reason than I want to, so. <clears throat> yeah, we're, basically we got all the trees of magic. 
our primary is for our damage dealing, destruction, and uh, magic staves. And, and then <clears throat> uh, Thormaturgy lets you levitate. Uh, Mysticism lets you teleport. Uh, it's, it's good stuff. Now for uh, down here, we're going to go with medical, just so we can heal faster. And then I'd say etiquette, because, you know, we, we talky. Uh, followed by Mercantile, that's uh, buying and selling. And for the last one, I'd say Dodging. Just uh, to be able to dodge. <clears throat> yes. So um, this is Destruction, is, uh, is our primary. And then Blunt Weapon is our fallback. In case, uh, you know, we run out of magic, which we will do frequently, probably. Uh, we're gonna reduce our speed by 10 and put that into intelligence Then of course, we're going to get uh, max hit points per level. That would be stupid um, Let me see here do, 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 do. Um, That should do it. All right um, <clears throat> So next up uh, for our, uh, what do you call it, magic, increased majory, three times intelligence and spell points, as well as spell absorption in general. You know, so that pushes us over the edge. What we're going to do is we're going, we cannot create a character in the red zone. So we are going to give ourselves special disadvantages. We are forbidding ourselves from using any bladed weapons. So axe, um... What do you call it? Um, long blade and short blade. Yes. So as you can see, we are forbidden from using any bladed weapons. Noting that we are still capable of using blunt, hand-to-hand, -hand, and missile weapons. If we want to. Now that said, it pushes us just at the line of three times uh, leveling. In other words, it's going to cost us... Three uh, times the uh, experience there. Um, it, yeah, um, it, it's, it's going to take just a, a little bit for us to advance uh, in uh, in levels. Uh, what happens if you ban unarmed? Then you do one point of damage instead of whatever your unarmed should be rolling. So, say you become a werewolf or something, and you get like powerful claws, but you banned unarmed. Uh, then you'll be doing one damage every time you swipe people. It sucks. Anyway, uh, edit rip you. No, no, no. Special advantages. No, we're, we're good. We're good. So let's uh, move on to the next step is what I would say. But I'm going to take a screenshot really quick. Because I want to make sure that uh, these sections get saved properly. So let me uh, do that as well. Uh, that should do it. Just creating uh, quick little screenshots of these uh, different panels so that I can uh, have that. There we go. Okay, I've created, uh, created a screenshot of this page along with the uh, advantages and disadvantages. So we're moving on. Uh, yeah, we're going to choose our career path by answering 12 questions. Uh, what have we been studying longest? Destruction. <clears throat> what motivates me to a life of adventure? Knowledge. Uh, between formal study, I spent my time learning economics. Uh, since childhood, I saved a favorite book. Uh, in gratitude for your services, the emperor gave you. Now, some people would be uh, tempted to say, oh, an ebony dagger or a suit of armor. But no, we're going with a silver staff because we're not using... Um, we're not using, uh, what is it called? Bladed weapons. We're not using maces. Or flails, we're using staves. So that's that's we're getting our silver staff right now. As we grew older, we received additional magical training in destruction. Just more destruction. Our childhood nickname was Rabbit. We are friendlier than most with the immodest nymphs. Uh, of all the disagreeable types, you have a personal hatred for immoral assassins. Uh, you are intimate friends with a mage. Uh, what god do you worship? Dabella, goddess of beauty. Uh, you have the most trouble avoiding diseases. Yeah, all our reputations are unchanged. Good. Uh, <clears throat> let me have a peek here. 
Do, 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 do. Uh, what else? I'm, I'm looking at a shenanigan there. It was uh, one of these. Okay. I, I think we were going to go with... Uh, uh, let's just roll some random names and maybe I'll pick one. That it, but Buckening. Nah, Ellen Coppersmith. Uh, Elona Hart, uh, Hartsmith. Let's just go with Elona Hartsmith. There we go. That, that is a name. Yep. Bam. So now we'll go with this uh, face. And it's dice rolling time, everybody. You know what that means. Yes, indeed. Uh, here we go. It's great. Okay. Um, oh, no, that's not good enough. Give me a sec. Still rolling the dice. Okay, this is looking better. Um, 60 strength, 54. Yeah. Okay. This is yeah. This is this is getting pretty good. Um, I think yeah. If we push this over, that gets us to 70 uh, intelligence. Uh, actual and then a uh, five endurance will get us up to a uh, healing rate plus one. This is good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add one more into intelligence, and I'm gonna save the roll. And now I'm gonna re-roll a few more times. Yes. <clears throat> they didn't put the total roll in the character creator. No, they did not. They did not do that. All right. Based on everything, I'm just gonna load the previous roll, and we're gonna go with that. I think that is a okay. Uh, my goodness. A, a coffee? Yes, definitely. Let's see. Anyway. Um, this should do it. We're going to uh, go ahead and hit OK. Um, you'll notice that we are going to put our points into destruction. So we have 49 destruction. Uh, then we're going to put points into restoration. So, you know, we're good there. And... We're going to put points into mercantile, specifically buying and selling stuff. That should do it. All right. Everything looks good. Very high. And let's watch the opening cutscenes, which I have not uh, downloaded any remaster mods for. They are the originals. <clears throat> yes. So Lona Harsmith, Evoker. We got Destruction. We're going to be using staves. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, that should do it. Let me see. You can change your attributes uh, when making your class. You, you mean uh, reducing... Of, co of course, we did that. We did that already. That's why we have such high intelligence. It's good stuff. Um, that's actually pretty fancy. Can't, yeah, you can't drop it below that, though. Like, you can only edit what you've uh, done. It's fine. We're going to hit OK. Four hundred years after Tiber Septim's reign, the beginning will meet the end, and the bloody circle will close in the Empire of Tamriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim dynasty have allowed the bonds of the Empire to weaken and crack. Uriel Septim the Seventh cannot repair what his ancestors ignored. The provinces fight among themselves like neglected children, drunk with rebellion, and one indomitable power hide yourself, but not forever. Excuse the gloom. But none may know of this meeting. Excuse the gloom. But none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him, but his spirit does not rest. 
With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer. And close, and close the, the marble, marble jaws, jaws of oblivion. Bringing peace to his soul. I ask this as your emperor. And your friend. I have one lesser request. Several years ago, I wrote a letter to the queen of Daggerfall. It never arrived. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find and destroy that letter, I will be grateful. Now, my champion, rest well this night, for tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. Boom. Awesome. Ahem. Claire, thank you for the $5. I appreciate it. You say you uh, love the sassy playthrough. Uh, yep, we're starting a new one. Ahem. <clears throat> Give me a sec here. Uh, Temples and Templars pack. Okay, all the Warm Ashes version 3. We say yes, 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 yes. Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall Enhanced Main Quest. You look around the room. Some hours ago, you were on a boat in route to Daggerfall. When a storm of supernatural strength boiled over the Iliac Bay like a malefic creature, uh, your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the churning water to a rock. Uh, you found a cave. Uh, you only lit a fire when a mudslide sealed you in. Yeah, it's going to say, perhaps uh, there's a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you can begin the Emperor's quest. Uh, no tutorial, thank you. You're cold and wet from the shipwreck. You should go to a campfire. Okie dokie. Uh, do I want to receive an early artifact quest? No. No, I do not. Give me an artifact quest at the normal time. Thank you. He's just telling me all the things. There we go. If we pull up the character, we can see already she is wearing completely inappropriate outfits. We don't worry about that. We just put the armor on. A uh, little, little leather greaves there. We got our silver staff. No problem there. And we got boots. Uh, that we that we do have shoes. The, the, we do have shoes, but we we got boots. There you go. Uh, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, as you can see, everything is good. Um think that's about it we we should be good uh so the the staff of magnus can only be gotten through the knightly order we have gone ahead and fixed the knightly orders so that the artifact quests are not one time only um it's not a big deal there so uh all right <clears throat> we're good to go i think I just need to get a couple things in order first the silver staff we're going to set that to number one Good. Both hands on Silver Staff. Next up, we are going to go to character. We've got number two is going to be Arcane Arrow. Um, actually, yeah, actually, no, no, no. Two is going to be Salve Wounds. And number three is going to be Arcane Arrow. And then four will be Knock, I guess. Yeah, that should do it. All right, we're going to save the game as uh, Starto, because that's what's happening. We need to go ahead and rest for eight hours because uh, we suffered quite a bit. We are freezing. There are other issues there. As you can see, we're just getting started. Mm hmm. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, the original Daggerfall never gave you a choice to turn off nudity. Not even a bit. Um, let's see here. Trying to remember what button was what. I know that's the, the spell primed option, but I also, uh, I'm trying to remember which button was cancel. Uh, abort spell, as it were. Abort spell is tilde. Not, not, not that tilde, it was this one. Good. Yes. As you can see, someone's whispering in the distance. No problems. No issues whatsoever. We got our staff ready to go. 
Um, Got to be careful. Looks like there's a, a two rats. No problem. We should be able to defeat them pretty easily. Yes. Backing up. We're just clunking them before we encounter... You know what? Screw this. Screw this. It's resisting my magic. Makes me sad. Okay. That should do it. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Better check every wall for hidden quest objective. I already know where the hidden walls are. Like, I'm, I'm quite aware of uh, where the different uh, parts are. Yes. My goodness, what's going on here? Um. <clears throat> yes, we're only using staves. We're not using, uh, uh, like, warhammers or anything like that. We are, we are specifically... Um, yeah, we're specifically doing, uh, magic. We're gonna sleep for six hours and just, uh, be ready. There we go. Yep. Whoops. Make sure it's, yeah. How does, uh, meat get moldy? Yes, indeed. Here we go. I like how when I was on the menu there. Oh, treasure chest. Crazy. Hold on, hold on a second. Uh, let's turn this off. And treasure chest. Inspect the chest. It is defenseless. Okay, yeah. It looks like its magic resistance is nothing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, eat the moldy meat. Oh, boy. And uh, drop the rotten meat. But no, I need to use knock uh, on this chest, if possible. I'm gonna try again. I think. Yeah, knock. Bell failed. This chest does not want to open. That's crazy. Damn. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Attempt lock pick. It's jammed. Brute force is the only option. Damn. This chest does not want to open. That's it. I, I, I give up. I, I'm i exhausted having tried to force this chest open. I, yeah, I'm, I'm screwed. Like, there's, there's no getting around that. I'm impressed. Put the chest in your pocket. Yeah, something like that. Okay. That's uh, pretty amazing. Finds one leather tunic. I know, right? That's probably what's going to happen. I'm not, not even a joke. I've spent like a day in this dungeon so far. It's, it's hilarious. We're still stifling a yawn, though, for some reason. Uh, yeah, it says we're well-rested, supposedly. Um, I don't know about that. Hmm. Oh. There's, yeah, it's the rotten meat we dropped. That stuff is terrible. Let's get going. I didn't mean to do that. That's my bad. I'll get this right eventually. There we go. Can you damage the contents? I don't know. I don't know about that. Bats. A whole horde of bats. A whole horde of them. Okay. I killed two of the bats already. This is getting a bit uh, brutal here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Back up a bit. There we go. Smack him. Good. That's... It, yeah, we're kicking the ass of the bats at least. This is bat country, isn't it? Okay. We're fighting our way through Privateer's Hold. You can see why I went ahead and I got a stick as a backup weapon. Yes. Lower the skill, the higher the chance for broken loot. Yes. The bonkening is real. Okay. We're going back. Gonna cook. Gonna keep uh, moving on. Moldy meat. Oh boy. I certainly love moldy rat meat. 
That's top quality content there. Let's eat. Okay. We ate the meat. We're gonna rest, get our magic back up. We spent days in here, in this terrible place. Your stomach rumbles. Of course it does. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Which fate? Fate Extella? That's one of my favorites. Uh, fate. I should probably go back and play Fate Extra since CCC got uh, dubbed. Yeah. Yep. Not dubbed. Uh, translated. Whoop. This is uh, this is Privateer's Hold. We've just been uh, fighting all kinds of rats and bats and other monsters. Yep. I'm gonna try to just take this one out as is because you can hear more bats there. Final Fantasy VII? Played that already. If you mean the remake when it's done. As in, it's not done yet. Okay. Sneaking by that uh, big old enemy there. We're good. Okay. You can get a randomized, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, you can do a randomized dungeon if you want. That is a, uh, a mod. Damn. It's gonna be a pain no matter how we do this. Gonna have to cast more magic. Okay, fine. Uh, jeez, come on. How's the torch? Got him. Cool. More rat to cook. Okay. More bats around the corner, I'm pretty sure. This is not a randomized privateer's hold, but it is different for reasons. No, when I said randomized, I meant a randomized dungeon in general. Oh, shit. I just got blinded. I can't see. Come on. Wear off, you damn blinding effect. Okay. Yeah, she kicked dirt in my eyes. Crazy, crazy. All right. Uh, that's who I'm after? We just killed her with magic. This is fine. Looks like a, br a brigadine outfit. Some better leather boots, some oil, and a lantern. Thank goodness. We don't have to worry about running out of torches anytime soon. We got a lantern. Uh, yep. So uh, we'll use these torches anyway, but uh, when we burn through all of them, we should be fine. Um, cause, yeah, we got a lantern. That's good. Uh, treasure here. Let's go ahead and equip our new Brigadine outfit. This is fine. Along with those fancy new leather boots. Um, let's see, Leather Curious. Hold on. Yeah, so, so those are just uh, actual boots that are functional. This is fine. Gotta be careful, though. Don't know what's around the corner. We'll uh, head on back to the beginning to rest. Yes. There's uh, multiple mods in play. And we're not using meaner monsters. We're using meaner monsters. Um, eh, what do you call it? Uh, eh, eh, expansion thing. It's a, it's a giant mod. Let's see. It's called uh, Mudex. Meaner monsters unleveled using the Daggerfall enemy expansion. Yes. All, all combined into one uh, mod. And then there's uh, a different mod that uh, alters spawn numbers as well. So, multiple things going on at once. Okay. Yep, yep. Let's get cooking, then rest. Rest until fully healed, 
and then we will destroy using magic. Blunt weapon skill increased. Yes, moo dicks. Boy. Come on. If I go here. I want to try something. Plays different music when I'm on the save screen. Interesting. Okay. Back into the dungeon. Let me see here. Did not die to the first rat in Privateer's Hold. Didn't die to the other rats in Privateer's Hold, of which there are many. We're going to try to use Knock to open this chest, if we can. Spell effect failed. Ready to open. Uh, locking mechanism is seized and inoperable. Fuck you! Damn it. You kidding me? It makes different noises, but it's all the same. Wow. I am dead. Yeah, just reload that. We're, we're gonna turn around and walk away. There, There's no chance of us busting that chest open at level one. You know what they say, 100% of, uh, sorry. 100% um, of gambling addicts, uh, Hold on. I was going to say, uh, uh, quit right before they uh, win big. Yes. Quit right before they win big. Serious business. Okay. Let's get going. Right around that corner should be uh, more fun. Bats. Yep. That's one bat down. Yep, we should be fine. I just want to save my uh, magic for the uh, archer who's going to be here. Yep. Uh, wouldn't use that mod for um, for conjur uh, to replace conjuration. Wouldn't do that for various reasons. Uh, currently, it's busted and will uh, cause us. Oh, I would call it. Um, It'll cause some pre pretty big issues there. All right. Yeah, I'm not really uh, interested in graphics mods at the moment, mostly because I have completely different, uh, I have content mods that aren't all patched for Dream, so, you know. It would cause issues. By the way, I checked out the Weeb overhaul. It is really, really bad. Like, I, I thought originally, oh, hey, I'm, I'm going to ha-ha uh, do the, the weeb uh, overhaul for Daggerfall. But it turns out, like, it's really, really bad. Like, just extremely terrible when you actually get it implemented. It's, um, yeah, it, it, it turned out the weeb overhaul was not, not good at, at all. Ahem. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, originally, I was going to give it a try just for lulls, but I tested it and it was awful. Just awful. But, ow! Just got hit with a... Okay, we're doing Arcane Arrow. That's what I was saving the uh, magic for. Damn right. Uh, I can uh, obliterate people with destruction. This is good. We got a casual cloak. We need those. We need more cloaks. Good. I will take everything for now. And then be very sad afterward. Mm hmm. Okay. Rats. Dirty, dirty rats. Okay. Yeah, th th these rats are not uh, playing fair here. That they are uh, dodging with the uh, power of stats. Okay, that rat's down. Uh, yeah, about that. Uh, uh, let's use salve bruise on ourselves. Yeah. 
I thought about it, and I was like, hey, I don't want to be dead. Okay. Good, good, good. So let's hit use, eat the meat. No problem. I think we can uh, head on back now and heal up. Yep. Oh, they, the lights turn themselves off after a while in, in this loadout. Like, they're all toggleable, all the light sources. So, uh, I'm just running right now. Yep. Rats as big as cats, you bet. Mm-hmm. The control screwed you up? Oh, well, I mean, you can still get it done in, with a laptop. You just go over here to controls, and you rebind everything. Make sure to go to advanced and set your uh, mouse uh, settings. But you need a mouse. Don't, like, touchpad ain't gonna do it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's finish cooking. Cook the meats. And then rest until fully healed. We'll use the magic to destroy the skeleton. I'm assuming there's only gonna be one skeleton. I, I'm making a huge assumption there. That there's only gonna be one skeleton. I don't know. So, uh... Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty big assumption. I'm gonna walk... Uh, not run. Walk past this door because we don't want to piss off the imp. Yeah, there's an imp in that room. I could kill him with magic, but I'm gonna save the magic for the skeleton. When we get up there... We should be fine. <clears throat> yep, eating smelly rat meat, exactly. In a cave. It's true, it's true. Uh, we're getting it done so far. We're, we're level one. We got some uh, pretty heavy investment in destruction. So, uh, we will wreck basically everything. Here we go. First things first. Mage. Mage. Goodbye. I thought we were going to fight a skeleton. Turns out we were fighting a mage. Here we go. Okay. We got her. Spell sword defeated. Cool. Can't, uh, yeah, can't, can't get in the, that chest. Can't, can't even, not even a bit. All right, uh... Not resting here. Oh, what the hell. Let's give it a try. We're going for the skeleton with the magic we have left. We're gonna get it done. There's the skeleton. Damn right! Hell yeah! We did it. That head just popped off. I think uh, the bats died to... Yeah, this horde of bats died to the skeleton. I think that's what happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. The thief experience in relatively vanilla Daggerfall is awful. Don't don't bother. Um, that said, to get the... Um, uh, the... Penwick papers and um, uh, skull skull digging, whatever. And once you get those, everything should be fine. Yep, skull duggery. That's what it was called. All right. I hear something on the other side. Hmm. Another treasure chest there. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can, I can... Yeah, I can cook and rest here. That's cool. So we are... Uh, cooking. Takes us a half hour to cook everything. It's funny. Cool. Eat all the smelly meat. No problem. Yes. The fact you can climb buildings does uh, feel very Spider-Man. Inspect the chest. It's magic resistant, defenseless even. Hmm. Lock looks undamaged. 
let's go ahead and rest here and figure out what we're doing food poisoning yes oh don't worry we're gonna be playing fashion fall once we get back to town <clears throat> so let's uh, try cracking this open again using knock nope don't have it in me It would l be awesome if we could uh, crack these chests open, but we don't have it in us to get all the good loot, unfortunately. Yep. I hear rats and other things fighting in the distance. It's kind of crazy. I was hoping to be able to, you know, actually cast uh, a successful knock, but the game did not want me to have that. The game does not want me to have that at all. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, we're going. Yes, uh, fatigue is red. Keep in mind, fatigue isn't like Morrowind, where um, if it's low, you can't hit things. Fatigue, if it runs out, you will pass out. And if you pass out and there's an enemy near you, you are killed in your sleep. Well, or killed while you're unconscious. Uh, shoot. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Holy crap. Oh, nice. There was a switch there. Another treasure chest. Get this loot pile. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a steel staff? Cool. Let's compare it to our sil Our silver staff is 3 to 8. This one is also 3 to 8. Cool. So we got it. We got a steel staff and a silver staff. That is great. All right. Bats, 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 bats. I'm running. Oh, uh, geez, five to five, 12 hour grind. That's special. I, uh, I hope you're uh, getting your due for that. Okay. If you pass out and there aren't enemies around, then um, no no issues. What do you think of ESO? Uh, parts of it are really good, actually. But then most of it is bad. I'm actually going to do a video on ESO pretty soon. It's going to be a short video because I need to talk about uh, Lawrence Schick. Um, like, I, I owe that man an apology. Here we go. We're killing. Damn. Bye. One of those bats is shiny. Looks like they can't open the door. Yes. Okay, the bats can't get to me, yeah. Uh, we leveled up, good. Good, 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 we leveled up. All right, all those points are going into intelligence. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's going into intelligence, more magic. You have ascended to level two. You realize all your life you've been coasting along as if it were a dream. Suddenly facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. My destruction skill has improved. Excellent. Let's go. Is it worth it? I mean, you like it's an old game, so buy it cheap on like a, a gray market site or something. The game is monetized. Like normally, I'd say, "Oh, hey, you should you shouldn't do that." But um, uh, here's the thing about ESO: they monetize the inside of it um, quite significantly with um, uh, ESO Plus. They encourage you to subscribe. You don't have to, but they encourage you to do it, right? And then they also encourage you to do all kinds of other things like uh, buy loot boxes and shit. So um, I don't feel bad about telling people to get ESO for cheap because they're always trying to get their hooks in you one way or the other. Okay. Back up. Bats. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Damn right. Am I using a light spell? No, I'm using arcane arrow. Okay. Fair enough. Well, the enemies uh, glow when hit by arcane arrow. It's very silly. Okay. There's two more bats to go, and I'm pretty sure I can clunk them with my staff. Good. Yeah, the writing in ESO is terrible, for the most part. With uh, some minor exceptions. Okay, so we successfully defeated the bats. This is good. Gonna say. Um, not much else to do other than to go back to sleep at this point. Yep. Uh, you liked DSO up to the point where you realized you liked a mod modded uh, uh, Elder Scrolls, uh, mainline Elder Scrolls more? Makes sense. Yes. Do, 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 do. Cover grasping. I don't know what grasping fortune is. Yes. I, I, I don't. Oh, blunt weapon skill up. That's good. Oh, there's going to be more bats. There's definitely going to be more bats. No question about it. Speaking of which, eat the mate. Food poisoning for days. You bet. Yes. You don't have to pay for mods. Oh, wait. Yeah, exactly. They're tightening the screws. That's right. Okay. The performance increase from uh, 0 0.47 to 0 0.48 in OpenMW is gigantic. Yes. Yes, it is. Absolutely. I'm currently using 0 0.49, and there's some issues that need to be resolved. So I, I can't in good conscience tell you to upgrade to that already. Wait for a stable release if there's not a specific mod you want to run with that. Why so many bats? Why so many everything? Hordes. Swarms of monsters. We have we have swarms of monsters. Thief! He just blinded me. I've been blinded. I've been kicked. I'm dodging arrows. I'm literally strafing to the left and right. Help. Okay, blinds, blinds gone. Uh, I see him. Got him, hell yeah. Yeah, thieves like to kick dirt in your face. It's crazy. Steel boots. Got an upgrade there. Leather helmet. Uh, guess that's... Do, do we got pauldrons? Yeah, I got pauldrons. Left and right pauldrons. This is good. Okay. But yeah, magic is our uh, primary. Ooh, hello. Potion recipe? What do we got? Um, let's see. Topaz and amethyst. These are nice little gemstones. Yep. Earring there. That's worth 60. That's worth 320. Excellent. We, we got loots. Damn right we got loots. We're uh, still kind of plundering Privateer's Hold, as it is. There's usually a bear in that room. Uh, bear, Lee, there, something. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's not a bear. That is a man. Was a man sent to kill me? Okay, here we go. Damn right, we used up the last of our magic to kill him. Looks like we can replace those, um, what, what do you call them? Uh, the items we had with chain. Yeah, the two, the two, uh, pauldrons there. That's great. Basically over encumbered at this point. No bear, though. I was expecting a bear. And they subverted my expectations in a good way. Because that was some good loot. Okay. And through here. Can I light these candles? Yes, I can. I can light these candles. Cool. Wasn't expecting that. Some of the things stay lit for quite some time. I had to go back and rest again. No big deal. Rest. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we use magic, so... Resting is pretty mandatory. Okay... Mm-hmm.
Okay. We're going to continue the loop. We're clearing out privateers' hold if we can. Max out your etiquette skill. Uh, that'd be kind of funny. Uh, yeah. So there, there was no bear after all. It's fine. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes, it's all very dark. There's probably going to be uh, rats in this area down here. Like that orb. Whoop. I'm pretty sure I can bonk these rats if they go single file. Uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Machine gun. Oh, that was great. Well, we killed two rats and damaged a couple more, so that's good. Yeah, this is, this is gonna work. You had a diplomat character with maxed out etiquette and language skills? Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using uh, e etiquette some more later. I've got that as part of my setup here. Okay. Gotta love that uh, Corsair music playing there. <laughs> okay. Come on. Rats are almost done. This is why we get our uh, skills up pretty well. Oh, neat. We can uh, rest here. No, we can't. There's an enemy nearby. Where is it? An epic battle against rats, yes. Exactly. That is pretty funny. I think the rats are around the corner there. I'm going to head on up. Should be fine. Let's go. Heading back to the previous room to go rest again. The rats are proud of their power. Something like that, yes. It's fine. It's a-okay. Okay. We're still uh, hunting through privateer's hold. It's it's not a problem. Yep, rest. Keep resting. We're fine. Running stealth dodging skills improved. We're going to be uh, like level three by the time we get out of privateer's hold. I wasn't expecting it to be that silly, but here we are. Um. Yeah. Okay, get, get to max level in Privateer's Hold, yeah. I mean, it's funny, but uh, we are clearing the dungeon out pretty well. Like, I, I wanted to test this build to see how it worked, and uh, the answer is uh, pretty well. Um, so, yeah. Like this dungeon, the like the starting dungeon is uh, uh, not that difficult. It turns out. Hold on, I think that there's like a bat in the corner here. No, so it's, it's off to the other edge. We go down this way. There's there should be a secret door through here. Yeah, so much for being secret. There's more bats, as you can see. Hordes of bats. Come on. And that didn't do too well. We, we killed one. Oh, we killed two. Good. Ah, <laughs> uh, the music. Okay, one thing we can do. Whoops. Come on. Good. Almost done. Although the bats are dead. Yes. I hear more combat music, so... Can't carry any more stuff. What a shame. Oh, neat. We can use this. Excellent. Just, uh... Rest now. Rest now! At the campfire. Okay. We're gonna keep exploring some more. We may have to drop some things if we want to advance, but uh, that's no big deal. We don't know what's in here. No treasure chests for us. I'd love to be able to get a knock skill. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hello, rats. 
Privateer's hold turns out it's full of rats. Oh, Jace. Hey, did you know I'm practicing destruction? I like how the rats are all glowing. Okay. What's in here? Oh, nothing. Yes. Oh, God. What the hell? Look at this guy. <laughs> He's fighting the rats, too. Oh, jeez. I gotta light a different uh, torch. There we go. That is hilarious. I'm out of magic, though. I'm gonna have to fight that thief one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. I was not successful stealing from the thief. Come on. Did humans stick together? I don't think so. He was a hostile archer and he's dead now. Speaking of which... Uh, hold on a second. Let's unequip these leather greaves and equip the chain instead. It says I can't carry any more stuff. I don't care. Get the hell out. Hello, chain. Equip chain now. Perfect. Hell yeah. That's right. Wait, this is steel mail. Get, get the hell out, chain. We got steel mail. Excellent. Okay, what else? Oil. Oil is good. Um, yeah, we, we should be looting all the steel if we can. Anything that's chain is probably bad. Um, yeah. The leather helm isn't even worth taking. That's right. Rat chomps. Yes, we've got... Um, I, I'm not joking about this playthrough. Like, I, I did I did my early test, and my early test looked like this. Specifically. Like, th th this was from my original test of this loadout. Yeah. That, that is exactly how it looked. Are right, we going to equip our brigadine now? Good. Yes. But just wait until we get liches and uh, other things. This lock has nothing to fear from me. Okay. Loot pile. Hell yeah. Okay, let's get, get rid of the leather items. They aren't worth keeping. Whereas the steel katana and the, yeah, the chain there, that's, that's worth it. Good, good, good. Got a good amount of loot from that. I'm going to go back to the campfire now. Should be at the end there. Hell yeah. We sleep. Yep. We sleep. Sleep a lot. Backstabbing, dodging, blunt weapon. I like how it's considered backstabbing because I, I, uh, I smacked a rat in the back with my staff. It's really funny, actually. Uh, the staff is almost new. This one is slightly used. We'll go with the slightly used one for now. Yes. Now you get to Daedric. The merchant can't afford... No, no, we have limited gold on merchants now. They actually, depending on the quality of the store, they have variable gold amounts. One second. Whoop, oh, hello. Bastard. And that's magic. Glorious. Okay, get out, leather. Hello, steel. I'm gonna be selling all this stuff there. We have the ability to nuke within reason. So, uh... Yeah. Do, do, do. No dynamic economy, as far as I know. Only, uh... Remember to save? Yes. We do that. And we hit save. Damn right. Oh, we're gonna turn myself into a walking BFG 9000? Yes. Precisely. Precisely. We're, we're gonna be uh, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. First things first, we need to check in here. Nothing. Okay. Cool. I think we're ready to go up to the upper level. Um, feel the power of my magic. Yes, indeed. Okay. But uh, no, we, we built this character specifically to be a magic uh, wielding powerhouse. And we'll see how things turn out. Um, based on all the nonsense. 
Let me see here. I'm going to check one thing because somebody asked about it. Let me see here. Daggerfall Unity, data, uh, streaming assets, mods, and it should be... Yeah, it's Mudex. That's the uh, the one. Okay. What class are we running? Uh, we're running uh, Destruction, Blunt Weapon, Critical Strike, Restoration, Alteration, Mysticism, Illusion, Thaumaturgy, Medical, Etiquette, Mercantile, and Dodging. Note that we built the character in such a way. We are forbidden from using long blades, short uh, blades, or axes. Um, we are not using like war hammers or anything like that we are using staves that's what the blunt weapon is for the blunt weapon skill is specifically so that we can wield uh staves that's uh why we got it hold on let me check something real quick mm -hmm. climb down here yes we'll uh absolutely end up getting daedric artifacts at this point Oh, that's an orc. Hello. Damn, he resisted the magic. Look at that. That's crazy. I might die to the orc. I don't know. This is nuts. Uh, I'm running this way. What do you got for me, Mr. Orc? Oh, nothing? Okay. Just double checking. Come on. Come on. I'm on the verge of death. I'm going to run. I closed the door and I'm just running. I'm going to go around. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think we can rest here. Yes! We're going to destroy him. Uh, we're going to use the Staff of Magnus, probably. Whoops. What happened there? Got a bit of lag for a oh, second. Whoa! Got him. Hey, dead. Steel greaves are mine. Damn right. That was worth it. Much, much, much worth. Quite valuable. Let me uh, put some stuff away so I can get that steel. We're good. Yes. We got him. I'm going to rest a bit more. Then we're going to eat whatever meat is left. It has not gone spoiled. Okay. Wabajack is also a stick you can use. Come to think of it. Um... So what you do, what you do with your staff is you hit the enemy like this. Yes. Unless you mean like use the magic menu to access its powers, in which case I don't remember what it does. I'm just going to bonk people with it like a stick. <laughs> yes. Hmm. In arena you are kept just having one artifact that you could cheese the blacksmith. Yes. Store your items. Correct. They said I I pretty sure that's how it works. Let me see here. We're going through here. We've we basically cleared this area. Mm hmm Yep, yep. Warm ashes exterior encounters are still bugged. Interesting. Um even the current version? Because, I mean, it was updated recently. Tamer's been uh, working on quite a bit. Whoop! Hello! Rat time, everybody! Okay, this is good. We've killed three rats so far. We, we spammed our uh, magic and uh, managed to kill three of the rats right off the bat. This is great. Mm-hmm. Spawns too many uh, monsters will sleep in indoors. Interesting. Uh, oh, while sleeping outdoors. Okay. Well, um, I don't doubt that that's happening. 
I'm just saying we'll have to get it to happen while we're playing so that uh, Kamer can uh, address it, maybe. Who knows? <clears throat> you think Kamer's working on a new version? Yeah, I talked to him earlier today. In fact, he re uh, the, the audio that's playing right now is a pack that he uh, uh, like compiled for me because I had to pick things that weren't uh, uh, copyrighted or other otherwise authentically Elder Scrolls music. So we got we got a lot of arena music, a little bit of uh, unused Daggerfall tracks, some uh, Battle Spire and Redguard stuff. You know, lots of uh, lots of content. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna have a um we gotta kill. Sounds a lot like Age of Empires. Possibly. We need to pick things that YouTube wouldn't go ape shit over. We killed the imp, excellent. Okay. Yep, that's good. Let's uh, double check. I think we can... No, we can't uh, sleep here. That's the exit, by the way, if we want to use that to get out. I want to kill the skeletons up on, on the other uh, level first. No. First things first. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. We're going back and around to the... Uh, the campfire downstairs. Gonna rest, and then we're gonna go up and we're gonna hit the skeletons. Rest. Okay, we need to eat. Yep, all the smelly meat. Okay, save the game. We should be good to go upstairs now. How, how's our water skin doing anyway? We've been drinking from a water skin for a while now. I'm just thinking, hey, how much water do we actually have? And the answer is enough. <clears throat> we have almost two pounds of water. That's not too bad. All right. I'm honestly sick of remakes. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I'm fine with, uh, you know, fan remasters and stuff like that. Like, I don't mind that a whole lot. Uh, but I am kind of sick of... Uh, companies being so risk adverse that they got to remake their things every like every six to eight years, you know, it's kind of stupid. Uh, let me see here. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a game that I noticed. Um, that there's a game that it's called, um, Infinity Blade. Um, it was on iOS, but um, there's a PC port for it now, and people are uh, recommending it. The Infinity Blade PC port. Yep, it's uh, pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. All right. Yeah, you can find it on the Internet Archive. Archive.org. They, um, it was trapped on iOS for the longest time, but they, uh, managed to make a PC port. Okay. Uh, let's go save five. We're heading on up. Gonna fight those skeletons. Yes, uh, the Spacer's Choice Edition broke the Outer Worlds in many ways. It's very sad. Mm hmm. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought I was gonna fight the skeleton. Turns out we fight rats. Good. I gotta go rest again, but hey. We managed to kill that pack pretty well. I, I gotta love how I'm gonna be uh, increasing in um, what, what do you call it? Um, 
my uh, my magic is uh, it's called. We look at the actual uh, yeah destructions bound to increase again. It, uh, it destructions governed by willpower, by the way. Uh, so I should probably consider getting more willpower soon. Or another rat. Oh yeah, there's still enemies nearby. Crazy. Well, we're out of here, I think. Um, no, no. Let, let's go ahead and uh, go rest, and then we'll uh, go outside. Because I don't want to get jumped when I get to the wilderness. Which would be a real problem. That that that, uh, that could cause us an issue. Yep, yep. Anyway, here we go. We're going to rest. Gonna rest until fully healed. But yeah. I went ahead and I uh, spent a huge amount of energy on um, or, sorry, uh, rolling uh, semi good stats and uh, getting as much intelligence as possible. Int was uh, very important. Okay. You're installing the Outer Worlds, the, the regular or the Spacer's Choice Edition, because the Spacer's Choice Edition does have issues, unfortunately. All right, we're ready to go. So, uh, first, done, gone, clear. Let's get out. Uh, you've arrived in Privateers holding the Daggerfall region. It's uh, Medus C3, uh, uh, 3rd Era, 405. Got it. We're in Morning Star. I need to put a cloak on. Put a robe on. And we'll cover ourselves up. There we go. Okay, let's go get that Sky Shard first. Before we do anything else. You can see the Sky Shard over there. All traveling, you run into a group of adventurers. Hail, friend. Keep a watchful eye on your travels. No telling what you might run into. After a quick chat, we both part ways. Got it. Yeah, uh, it's just a group of adventurers. No big deal. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna get our sky shard. It'll take just a moment. Damn right. Uh, find two more to increase your luck. There are five uh, left to find in the Daggerfall region. Got it. There are five more sky shards in the Daggerfall region. Good to know. I right, need to go west. Past privateers hold. Just uh, gonna have a quick uh, trip through the wilderness. No big deal. You can see this camp outside privateers hold. It's a nice place. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right. <clears throat> that sign, as I remember it, should lead me to Gothway Garden. There should be a straightaway if we go west a little more. It should be, I mean, let me save here. Gothway. Um, it means this region, correct. Correct, it, it means the uh, the region of Daggerfall. Uh, the, sorry, the, the kingdom of Daggerfall. Okay, so what I need to do is find this road, this road right here. This is the road. We're going this way. Yep. Yeah, it's not... Like, this is the Daggerfall region right here. You can see right there, so... In the Daggerfall region, there are um, five more Sky Shards. Yeah, we, you, you can go to other regions, as you can see. Yep. Let's go. We're traveling. This is fast travel. You see, even though the world is huge... No, we don't need to hunt animals right now. But, um... Yeah, even though the world is huge, you can uh, follow a road at 10 times normal speed, by the way. That's that's the, the current speed we're going. So. Yep. Let me uh, hit a button. Should be Sonic. There it is. So even though the world is huge, you can select anywhere you know about in the map and instantly fast travel there. This gets you right to the fun. Fast travel. Fast. Okay. Let's get going. 
following that dirt track. You've arrived in Gothway Garden in the Daggerfall region. Uh, Gothway Garden greets you. Know that you are welcome, but do not take advantage of our hospitality. Got it. You look through your uh, pockets, you find the letter from your contact in Daggerfall somehow to uh, survive the storm and mud intact. You notice a small chest on the ground with a note. Courier wanted. Deliver letters to persons as you travel. Pay between 25 and 75 gold per letter delivered. Letters will uh, appear in this box. Must be hand delivered to the recipient who will tender payment. Uh, no. No, I'm not doing that. I, I have other things to do right now. I gotta go sell some stuff. But yeah. Uh, you know, there's an axe on the ground. It's made for wood cutting. Uh, you could do, uh, if you're confident, you could do some lumber work. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not doing either one right now. Those are things I'll do later. For now, I've got other things to do. Dancing Chasm is right here. Hmm. Dollar Tree Dark Age of Camelot. Ain't that the truth? Uh, hello, Mr. Yomcroft. How can I help you, stranger? Uh, let's see here. Current events. Uh, any, uh, news? Let's, let's ask politely. Ahem. <clears throat> Hail, friend! Please disseminate a little news, will you? Until recently, the Knights of the Flame and Lady Dorena fight worked together. They've recently severed their alliance. They don't like each other no more. Uh, let's see. We need to head down south to some of those stores. No big deal. Can't go be a mailman in Fallout New Vegas. Yeah. That is pretty funny. Can't can't do that. Nope. You, uh... You were on a quest to see who shot you in the head, and after you find out, then, uh... You know, you... There's, there's not much else to do, really, other than, uh... Complete the task assigned to you. General store... Uh, incense and soft music. So this is a high quality one. Yep. You know, several supplies in the shelves that could be useful. Yes. Good, good. That is an expensive horse. Hmm. There's a sewing kit. A whetstone. Vernacular of the lower classes. That's a skill book for Streetwise. Yeah. Okay. Wagon parts. Gonna get a Khajiit suit at some point. Yeah, this guy's a monocle. You can tell he's uh, a big shot. A big wig. Hmm. We're getting out of here. Yep. So. Uh, need to figure out. There should be a store over this way. Trying to find a low grade one. Hmm. <clears throat> You enter the supply store. Got it. Wait, hold on. I need to. I need to go back and look at the entrance. What did it say? It said practical. Okay, this is this is the one I wanted. Yeah. Very good. What are we doing? We're gonna go buy ourselves a small cart. Um, I guess we need to sell things first. So let's go do that right now. Oops. I, uh, we need to go talk to the man. Hello, sir. I'd like to sell you things. Yes. I'd like to sell you all the things, except the st steel staff. I need to hold on to that. Uh, this silver staff and this steel staff. We need to hold on to those. Yeah. No big deal. This guy is not one to provide. He is, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford the, um, <laughs> uh, to, to get a horse at this point. I'm gonna sell all the smelly meat, because it's smelly. Uh, keep the regular meat. But, uh, yeah, it, it's the jewelry that, uh, gives us the money, I guess. Uh, no big deal. Couple books, we're gonna sell those. That's much better, okay. I think we're in a good place now. Let's sell... Yep, 1,200. Let's see if we can get away with um, 
I'm doing this now. Yes. <clears throat> you cannot give a shit about getting vengeance and just uh, bumble into him. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Let me see here. I need a wagon. A small cart. Uh, looks like I can just afford it. Cool. So we have a wagon now. We can put our things away and yeah. This is good. We'll deal with things in the fullness of time, but... This is very good. Okay. What else we got? That should do it. We managed to get a wagon, so that that is a thing. You notice that you have no horse to pull your wagon. <laughs> so my wagon is just here in town. Just just here. <laughs> Nowhere else. It's just <laughs> you have no horse to pull your wagon. Get fucked. <laughs> Glorious. Okay, we're joining the Fighters Guild now. And the Mages Guild. Yeah. Du -du 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 -du. Go going down. We can't afford a horse yet. We gotta go do work. We, we, we currently have a wagon. Okay? A, a, a wagon in front of the quality supply store. Hold on a second. Um, I need to figure out how to mark this. I know there, there's a way to mark my map. Can't remember. Uh, yeah, the wagon's gonna get parking tickets. I know. I can't. What was the button used to mark on your map? Um, I can't remember what the, the the button was for it. Pull the wagon yourself. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, what the hell? Interesting. It it uh, displays the uh, the smaller things as well. Um. Geez, what was the default? Um, um, what was the default? Anyway, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, the, the I was gonna mark this place on my map. We're gonna go join the Fighters Guild right now. The Enter Key. Enter Key. Enter Key isn't doing shit. It's just making these disappear and appear. <laughs> um. Okay then. You thought you just click somewhere and you could type by default? That's what I thought too. And, uh, yeah, it's not letting me, which is very strange. Very, very strange. My goodness. In an area, in arena, you just left click, right. Uh, dagger fall mark on map. Um, b -b traveling mark. Uh, apparently, it's the world map. Hold on, hold on. You said screenshot? Yes. Yeah, so someone actually said, uh, hey, you can uh, y you can uh, mark on your map. It's like, no, it just takes me there. Fuck off. We're, we're, we're leaving. Uh, yeah, j quality supply store indeed. Uh, top quality content. I'll just, uh, I, I got my screenshot there. It's taken. All right, we're heading to the Fighters Guild. We're going to join the Fighters Guild. We're going to beat up some rats. We're going to join the Mages Guild. The Mages Guild is a little more difficult uh can you rename the store that'd be hilarious if you could that would be freaking oh custom name yes uh cart here there we go jeez <laughs> oh, cart here yep okay there's the fidgeters guild we're gonna join them Yes. Hopefully, uh, my blunt weapon is considered a good enough weapon. For those who don't know, if you do not, um, if you do not have a, um, what do you call it, a weapon skill learned at all, you can't join the Fighters Guild. They'll laugh at you and say, um, come back after you learn to use a weapon. Yeah, I tried that with an unarmed character, and unarmed isn't considered a weapon. Yeah. All right. Um, Gothway, this is uh, a, a guild for joining. I'd like to join your guild. You look like the sort of warrior we could use in the Fighters Guild. 
Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we offer skill training, special discounts on armor and weapon repairs, and very profitable work assignments. You'll always have a place to rest. Got it. Let's do it. I'm now an apprentice. Damn right I'm an apprentice. Um, <clears throat> so, a guild for fights. Good. So, uh... Yeah, you have to know specific skills to be let in. Uh, thankfully, I have blunt weapon, so I am able to join. But uh, it could e if I didn't have blunt weapon and critical strike, it would uh, be dubious. Uh, it is funny how you can um, become a member and then become a vampire, and the guilds will consider your character dead. Correct. You can join as um, as a new person. Uh, and if you get yourself cured, you'll you'll miraculously be alive again. It's really funny. The Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild can only invite you once, sadly. Uh, you don't get re-invited to those guilds. <laughs> anyway, give me a quest. Uh, let's see. We got an order from the King telling us to get rid of some member of the Thieves Guild in town. Uh, hangs out. No, no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with the Thieves Guild at the moment. Relatively menial jobs. Some prefer these jobs. Uh, there is a... Yeah, rodents. Uh, wife claims they're rats, husband claims they're bats. Got it. So, co the Copperfield residence here in town. I'm just gonna go kill some rat bats. Easy peasy. Let's go ask a peasant where the Copperfield residence is. Uh, hello there. Uh, I'm here to exterminate rat bats. Excuse me, um... Uh, location? Whoops. Um... Wait, it's... Location general Copperfield residence. Why in Tamriel would I want you to know? Really? Look, I don't give directions to people who talk like that. All right, normal talk, yeah. So wait, I'll, I'll mark on your map. It's northwest of here. I I, I failed my etiquette check, and uh, like, maybe if you try talking like a normal person. Yes. <laughs> it turns out it's a vampire ancient. Yeah, it's not happening, but, um, yeah, we, we've got to do some jobs so we can get a horse. Alternatively, we could go dungeon delve again, but I kind of don't want to do it. Jeez, that's far away. I'm going to have to run across town for that. Might as well, uh, well, my magic's pretty full, so let's go sprint a bit. Got rats and bats to kill. You think you feel a droplet of rain? Thankfully, I've got a casual cloak, which is pretty strong, I got in the dungeon. So I'm pretty happy about this. Just gonna go uh, chill out until we reach our destination. Chill out. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So, what we need to do now... And let's actually... I'm looking at how everything's set up here, and I'm thinking... Um... I need to make an adjustment on the live stream. It's gonna cause issues... Um, let's see. It should be trying to figure out where the live stream. Okay, Daggerfall's there. I'm gonna copy pasta Daggerfall. Then I'm going to make sure it's the correct size. It is not the correct size. Go figure. Um, that Daggerfall is the correct size. This one isn't. I have no idea why that's the case. I'm gonna delete the copy. Get the new one. Yeah, the copy pasta just doesn't come out the right size for whatever reason. Very strange. Anyway, I just need to make sure this is the exact same size, more or less. Then I do that, bring it over here, and we just move that uh, slightly over. Yes. There we go. Okay. I just I made a duplicate of um, of the space where the uh, health bars are. And I, um, I moved him slightly over so you can see that second health bar there. <laughs> but it's because, uh, you know, shenanigans. It's it's fine, really. Anyway, uh, where the hell? We're right here, right outside the house. This should be fine. Up a field residence. There it is. Come in. Got the rat, rat bats. Whoops. Uh. Rat, rat, bats. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay. <clears throat> As I was saying, no problem. We got rat bats to fight. I'm gonna switch to the steel staff, though. 
villager has run away. From what? Are there rat bats? I hear them. Bats. Uh, what this? Panic and fled. Damn, I see guards in here. This is very funny. Yep, that's just normal bat. I'll be taking that bat meat, thanks. Bat milk. I like how the guards are protecting this guy. That's a... That's got to be a villager immersion overhaul problem. For sure. Yeah, villager ran away. Here are the guards. There's more. Yep. Okay, time has come. Arcane arrow, go! Damn right. Glorious. Going up to the roof. Nothing up here. There's going to be one more to kill. Yep. Can use lycanthropy to assassinate people in public without repercussions? No, because if a guard manages to hit you, you'll immediately take a reputation penalty and be hot. Um... Yep, your regional reputation will uh, get damaged regardless. That's most of them. The Fighters Guild won't quibble over the rest. Got it. Cool. Let's uh, head on back to the Fighters Guild now. We've uh, completed our rat killing. Uh, bat killing. And someone said they're rats. Someone said they're bats. Doesn't matter. Point is, we've uh, finished the job. Yeah, those guards are just appearing to quote-unquote protect the people. It's very silly. Like, the whole room was filling with them. They weren't after me, believe it or not. That's a peach. Yes. Um, this way. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you say the best way to start Dagger Fall as a new player? Um, probably a uh, Long Blade Red Guard. With Critical Strike and Restoration. So, Long Blade, Critical Strike, and Restoration as the primary skills. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. Let's go... Hello, sir. Killing bats, even giant ones, doesn't take much skill, but it, uh... Definitely worth it. Yep. Okay, what time is it now? Information. Oh, the, the guild's about to close for the night. Let's see, what does this lady want to do? Uh, we're going to save and say uh, guild for fights. Save it there. Uh, hello there. Training. He could train me in um, the blunt weapon, I suppose. That's A-OK. -okay. <clears throat> Muda da, which is it's, it's useless, but um, about twelve hours ish. Yep, it'll be. Uh, uh, it's, yeah, let's, let's let's practice some magic. I'm gonna cast knick knack and summon forth a um, a, a steel staff. So this, if we go over here. We have now have a conjured steel staff that's in brand new condition. It's, uh, pretty funny. That's a knickknack. The knickknack spell is pretty amazing. Give ourselves some robes, specifically the conjured robes, and then what else? Knickknack. We could get some arrows, conjured arrows. Totally forgot about those. So if we use knickknack for arrows. And then we use knick-knack for a uh, short bow. We could then wield the short bow and the arrows. And, um, and, and shooty bang bang them, yes. Um, would be fine, I suppose. Let's give it a try. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. do you use light spell instead of lanterns? Yes. Absolutely. We're in a rest, though. We are resting. It should be like 10 a.m. now, something like that. Point is, we can get another job done. Uh, we should also eat the meat that's left to us before it spoils, so. Yep. 
That's it. Okay, a guild for fights. Sure. Hello there. Give me a quest. Every once in a while we get an idiot like this guy. Uh, left his door open. Let a wild animal get in. The bear or a tiger. I don't know. Uh, yep. So it'd be in the Ashham, uh, Ashsmith Farmstead. So we're going to reload before we got that because that's in a different town. And I only wanted to do something local. We slept poorly. What a shame. Um, we're still re well rested. Uh, you should buy some snacks, uh, stacks of rations. Yeah. We're going to go get some rations, I figure. Yeah. Brigadine gives you a, uh, a weather bonus. Like, it keeps you warm. As opposed to, like, plate metal. Which will chill on you. So, um... Yep. Yeah. Let me see here. Yeah, Requiem was pretty fun. Played it a number of years ago. Okay. We need to figure out... Um, what I'm doing here. Uh, Requiem doesn't play well with other mods, though. It gets uh, very, very... Um, like, if I... The way I enjoy Skyrim is like a 700 mod loadout with... Um, what do you call it? Legacy of the Dragonborn is a collectathon. I, I turn Skyrim into a collectathon. And then I uh, run, like, new land mods. Tons and tons and tons of new land mods. Turn the game gigantic. Takes, uh, takes like, 500 hours to finish a playthrough. It's great. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going this way. Uh, bank The Bank of Dagger falls over that way. Contemplating where we're going next. Do, 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 do. Mm. Yeah, so, um. We're gonna check out those three stores real quick on our way out. It's, um, dark because of the, uh, snow. Getting cold. Considering, uh, going back to Privateer's Hold and, uh, trying to grab some more resources, maybe. I'm Alexia. Are, are you, uh... John, are you... T like, Requiem is a Skyrim overhaul. Um, you might be talking about something else. This area is better appointed than many. Hmm, bandages. Let me see here. Yeah. Wait, what do we got here? Rusty relics. Okay, um, this is actually the best place to sell stuff. This specific location. Because you get, uh, preferable prices in this store. We should, uh, remember that next time. Yeah. Mm hmm We can also buy things for cheap here. Like these, uh, tall boots. Ha, ah, ah. ha. Don't care about those. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. What is this? Epoxy glue. Forgot what that even does. That's crazy. Uh, we should come back here later. For now, though, I think we should just grab a cloak if he's selling any. He is not. That's unfortunate. We're out of here. No. Uh, this last store is practical. Okay. Don't care about this. What I need to do now is get to, um, what do you call it? Um, I need to get over to the, um, Privateer's Hold. And that's where I'm going to be able to get, uh, the items I need. I'm going to head over there right now. Yeah, our goal is to, uh, get enough money to be able to get a horse and once we get a horse we can because that's our wagon it's stuck here we can't afford uh, anything better at the moment it's either that or do more jobs for the thief uh called the fighters guild which the fighters guild is good i'm glad i did my jobs for them but um now we, we gotta go earn a little more money real quick thankfully i'm confident in what we can do over there but still uh we gotta go north I don't know why I was going south. I'm gonna turn my lantern off for now. Douse the lantern. Good, good. Mm hmm. 
You feel sorry for the dungeon? Hey, I need enough money to be able to, um, what do you call it, um, haul that wagon yourself? I know, I tried. The game just said, you don't have, uh, uh, you don't have a horse. And I'm like, God damn it. So, yeah. Why not to take out a loan? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. You're right. Let's reload since we wasted the day running around in circles without really buying anything of value. We'll take out a loan, I suppose. Uh, t uh, like, you have a year to pay off the loan, so you're correct. That is probably the best way to go. Like, honestly, take out a, say, a 10,000 gold loan, and that will finance my adventuring. Yep. Seems about right. Let's go to the bank at Daggerfall and get that done. Take out a loan. How much they're willing to give a, an adventurer off the street. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, it's banking time. Hello, sir. I will, um, need a loan. I need to... How much do I need to borrow? I would say 25,000 gold. I'm afraid we cannot loan that much for you, uh, person you're standing for you. Our limit is 20,000. Very good, good enough. Uh, I will borrow 20,000. Yes. So I now owe, uh, uh 22,000 total. A small loan of 20,000 gold. Yes. To get me started. It's true. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, deposit that amount into our account. Oops. That uh, was uh, add an extra zero by accident. Uh, there we go. So 20, uh, actually, let's go, um, 17,000. Yeah. 17,000? Is this not what I want? Oh, it's in my account right now. My bad. Uh, withdraw 2,000. There we go. Now it's done. Cool. So. Random guy from the woods walks up. Yep, very trusting banks. It's true. Uh, they will, however, send debt collectors after me. Specifically bounty hunters. If I don't, uh... Yeah. I, like, if I do things wrong. They, they very much will send bounty hunters after me. It's, uh, nice. Oh, boy. Gear there. Superior gear store. No problem. Yeah, a small loan of 20,000 septums. Got me started. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna buy that horse. 5,000. Fuck! Okay, apparently I can barter that down. Wow, your presence honors me, humble shop. Although I need twice as many to feed my starving family, I will give it away for 2,359. Cool. Bam. That is perfect. And we get braziers and day gowns. Truly incredible. How much for a sewing kit? A sewing kit will repair our uh, cloak when it gets damaged. That's uh, a good thing. Uh, wagon parts will fix up our wagon. That's expensive. I'm gonna name your horse. M n name the horse, everyone. Th this is serious business. We are. We need to name our horse. Okay. Let me see here. <laughs> Carry the goddamn cart, Chinchy. Emil, no. Toad? What? U torrent. U torrent is bad. No, no one should be using U torrent anymore. Um, 
but but thank you thank you for the inspiration i have i have received inspiration everybody um ahem. good perfect our our, our trusty steed uh win win are -R. yep there we go perfect Let's go. <laughs> the horse can't be winner. You paid for it. Let you know a little secret. I did. Uh, I I have a license. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Pick up the wagon. Hitch my wagon. It's fine. Okay, we can take the wagon to Privateer's Hold now. This is fine. I've already named it our trusty steed. Uh, there we go. Let me see here. I need to buy rations while I'm in town. My bad. I need to buy rations. Yep. You have win our license. I mean, I, I use 7-zip now. But, um... Uh, WinRAR, it was what I used back in the day. Yeah. Um, I need to go to this the first class supply store again. Cool. Yep, we got our wagon here. We need to buy some rations if possible. The bandage is expensive. What a shame. Okay, anything else? Bandage, yes. The bandages are free. That's the funny part. Okay, ration packs, cool. That is expensive. Jeez. Um, wait a second. That, that's, that's wrong. Uh, that's seven ration packs. Okay. I'm gonna clear that. And look, I just want two ration packs. Thank you. Perfect. 31. Okay. Um, how are you haggling the price? So, Here's the deal. This is the lowest grade store you can visit. I'll, I'll explain in a second. Hold on. So, um, as far as that goes, hold on a second. Let's uh, figure this out. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Epoxy glue would be nice to have. I can't afford that. Actually, maybe I can. Maybe I can afford the epoxy glue. Uh, let's go with the uh, sewing kit first. Yeah. And then see if we can afford the epoxy glue afterward. No, you don't have enough. Okay. That's fine. So. Um, let's go. You see? You see win R -R? There we go. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Yep. We have our rations. We should be good. Let's eat some uh, meat. We're not hungry enough yet. Yes. Everything's modded. Nothing in this game is vanilla anymore. Yep. Man, ICQ was, uh... Those were interesting times. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-oh. Uh, 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 yes. Okay, we're heading north now. We got our stuff. <clears throat> it's pronounced Windrar, he said. And I continued to call it Win R A R. It's kind of like how people insist that I call MK1 Mark 1 when I don't want to. Okay, we're back at Privateer's Hold. We're going to get uh gonna get a little bit of profit in here. Yes. Very good. Save the game before we go in. Return to the hold. Zero one. Mm hmm. Whoop. We gotta equip our steel staff. And we gotta begin casting arcane attack. 
It is defeated. I have no more magic. The rat must die. I'm confident in my abilities. The rat must die. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no big deal. It's defeated, as you can see. I will now take the old everything. Wish there was treasure there. That would be lovely. I can't rest here. What a shame. But yes. We uh, we cast magic. Lots and lots of magic. I'm gonna be stupid and run past all of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna pretend like none of these monsters exist. And... Whoop. Ow. Running! Yes. I got it. Is it possible to add more frames to attack animations? Probably. That is most likely true and possible. I'm running back to the beginning of the dungeon. I'm confident in my ability to do that. Going back to where it all began. Okay. That's the entrance. Quickly rest. We got it! Hell yeah! What's this? We're We've arrived in Privateer's Hold. Have I now? Thanks for that. Destruction, climbing, campfire. Nice. Return to the hold. Alright, we're gonna practice our destruction here. Yep. As you can see, kick that rat's ass. That rat's dead now. As it should be now and forever. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, I ran through. It worked out pretty well. We begin cooking. Only the smelly meat shall get cooked. The smelly meat shall inherit the earth. Sadly, the moldy meat shall not. Yep. Cook everything. Okay. Now that we've cooked everything, let's have a look. So, only the stinky meat gets shoved in our mouth. Ta-da! No problem. We've eaten, we rest, we go. Hell yeah! Good, good. Uh, your stomach rumbles. Yep. Okay. Easy peasy. We did it. Save the game. The rats have been defeated. There are, of course, more. Dormaturgy? Uh, the most important one is levitation. Yeah. Mysticism's most important one is teleportation. Recall, specifically. Oh, this loot pile's different now. Crazy. I'll take it. Is that... Yeah, it's light steel. Dungeons respawn, you bet. You leave a dungeon, you come back, it's all reset. So we're just, uh... Powering up here. We're actually quite strong at this point, believe it or not. We've uh, focused hard on intelligence so that we can uh, cast these spells. But uh, we don't need that against most targets. Just the big ones. Okay. Yep. I wish there were more spells for each school, but that just isn't the case. Wish Polymorph actually worked. That'd be great. Turn yourself into a dragon. Greater Polymorph. No, ya don't. Frickin' bats. I may have to, uh, hold on. 
I can scoot by. Let's do it. I just killed her. I hear the bats. I, di I just cast a chain of attacks. The Thormaturgy has the charm pacify quiet spells. Interesting. Chase. We got most of them. Look at that fur uh, outfit. That looks pretty cool. Elven short sword. Too bad I can't use bladed weapons. I'm gonna have to go sell that. Gotta finish off these bats. Yeah. They uh, they kicked dirt in my eyes, and so the moment I I, I had that happen, I just turned around and uh, spam casted. Yep. Blind is um good in Marwind, actually. Well, I mean, you don't get the powers of an ancient lich if you were to polymorph yourself into one. Uh, whereas, if you polymorphed yourself into a dragon, you could, uh, you could still chomp somebody. You know? Uh, nom nom on their face. Or use your big claws. Like, uh, that, the, the issue with, uh, polymorph is that, uh, you, you don't get the spellcasting uh, prowess of a lich. You might get the immunity to critical hits or whatever the lich has in that particular setting, you know, obviously. Elder Scrolls doesn't give uh, liches immunity to critical hits, but, you know, like D&D &D, uh, 2 and 3, you know, you if you're partly undead, you just become immune to crits and... Whoop. Okay those away cook it all and rest very good okay we're going back now might just try save sp scumming that chest open using magic contemplating it let's go ahead and bind five to knock wait hold on that that didn't make sense uh, five to, uh, it's arcane arrow. Okay, f five to knock. Arcane arrow to four. And self bruise to two. Okay, there we go. That That's better. We actually got spells. Yes, illusions as small as school and dagger fall with four spells. I believe it. I believe it. Let me see here. Mm hmm. So, we do that. We save, return to hold two. We're going to spam. It remains sealed. What the hell? Okay, let's just try this again. I'm going to reload. It said ready to open, and then I tried and it didn't work. So I was like, wait, what? Okay. That's it. it. says right open. Pulsates with the surge of magic, but remains unmoved. Still locked. And and that's why I'm looking at this going, what is... The, like, how are these chests so tanky? Well, wh what, do, what do we got that, like, requires this? Uh, emits a faint light, but remains sealed. See, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Hmm. Like, I'm, I'm trying it anyway, just because I'm, I'm curious. It looks like when it says ready to open, you actually have to do a thing. It said the chest has 50% magic resist. It looks like it. Yeah. You have to pay to open the box? That's funny. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's like, uh, it's fortified, apparently. What's this? Higher the value, the difficult. The value can be 1 to 50. That's sturdiness. Let's see. Ma oh, the magic resist. It says defenseless. It literally says def Oh, wait. Continual damage? You're kidding me. You're kidding. So I need to use magic. Lock. Oh, wait. Lock magic is open spell. Yeah. Uh, lock complexity. 
jam resistance, sturdiness. God, there's so much nonsense here. I'm looking at this insanity here. What the hell? Uh, it can break from brute force, so then it's hard. Okay. So, as I understand it, the chest is, uh, it's defense, it's defenseless against magic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an attack on it. I'm going to use, um, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and try, uh, minor, yeah, I'm just going to use arcane arrow on it. Yeah, I'm going to use arcane arrow. Let's do it. No. Uh, defenseless, eh? Defenseless, eh? Yeah. You think there's like two gold in there? Something like that. It's sturdy. Can you kick it? Uh, your stamina goes down when you do that. Look at that. See that? I can't kick it. So it's bugged? I don't think so. I think I'm just, uh... Failing at it. You fail to pick the lock. You fail to pick the lock. Does not unlock. You have jammed the lock. Brute force is the only option now. That is an incredible treasure chest. I'm not going to bother with it right now. I'll just get a better lock spell, right? Seriously. The answer is get a better lock spell because uh, if we look at it here, uh, here, hold on, we inspect the chest. It's defenseless, like the actual uh, chest itself is quote unquote defenseless against, uh, cannot be touch based or only projectile based spells. Only projectile based spells, it says. Oh, I I'm interested in this. Okay, lock sturdiness is sturdy, got it. Mm-hmm. It's a complex lock, so I can't open it that way. Wait, wait. Uh, it said open? Uh, complex. Uh, added difficulty applies to open. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Best security in the world is a damn wooden chest in 3D. That's right. It, it's too strong for me. I'm not I like I need a, a better open spell. That's I like the the starting little knock spell isn't good enough. It's that simple. Uh, hello. This guy wants to hunt me. Too bad he's terrible at his job. I say as he manages to hit me anyway. About that. Got him. Archer defeated. Give me your cooked fish. Cooked fish is great. More bats. At least I can one-shot that bat. I'm gonna be running into more soon. More! See what I mean? More! Got him. Got them all. Doo -doo. You been here since five? No, no, I went to Gothway Garden. Picked up a horse and a chest. No, sorry, a horse and a cart. Came back. Yes. So, uh, what are, what are you talking about? I haven't been here that long. I came back. Back. Back to whatever. Okay, let's get going. And into the darkness we travel. I ran all the way back in order to uh, to grab more stuff. I got the cart before the horse, literally. Oh, I shoot. You see how much damage that bastard did? That was crazy. He almost killed me. Imagine looting dungeons without a cart. Can barely do it, yeah. I'm on the verge of death here. So what I did to the imp, I uh, I wrecked the imp with the power of, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Um, oops. 
Uh, yeah, I don't need any of that. That meat to rest. Need to rest! We should be fine. We're doing just fine here now, thanks. See, my blunt weapon skill went up. We're using our magic staves to poke enemies really, really hard until they cease to exist. Now, um, that said, we should eat. We've got uh, a few. Yeah, get, get out, putrid meat. Get out. But uh, would like. You should have mold. Eat the delicious mold. It is how you will survive. Sewing kit. Can't use that with enemies around. Really? There are enemies? I didn't know there were enemies around. Oh, well, we're going. Are there really enemies around? Yeah, apparently the, they're saying, hey. There are, in fact, enemies. Crazy. We're going for it. I hear the bat. And the door is open, so... Whatever enemies happen to be around. There's another chest over there. Another chest. Look at this one. It's defenseless against magic. Its lock is sturdy. It's lock magic. Okay, it's defenseless, defenseless. So, in theory, we should be able to open this one with the power of uh, unlock. It says spell effect failed, which means it's probably just my spell being terrible. Um, so I'm going to try using arrow on it. Is that it? Is that it? I wonder. Hmm. Okay. Do I have a consistent sleep schedule? No. Does that cost me a lot of pain as I have to adjust my sleep pattern in order to attend meetings and things like that? Absolutely. If I'm aware of my faults, shouldn't I work to correct them? Absolutely not. Okay. So, try again. That made us sound like it was ready. And then... It isn't. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit! Okay! We got 241 gold. Uh, Sarsum is a drug. Uh, let's see. Some silver boots. Long sword bandages. Some alchemy. Useless garbage. It's worth nothing. A uh, clump of plant matter. That's worth nothing. Tattered cloth. That's worth nothing. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep. That's 200 gold. That I definitely needed that. Pretty cool. At least I understand it now. Useless treasure and drugs. Yes, exactly. Lighten that torch. Mm hmm. Is that a pure curiosity? I'm gonna go back to that other room. Hold on. Oh no! I'm not going anywhere. Good thing the rats can't open the doors. I'm just saying. Can you imagine? We're gonna fight the rats off with our bonk stick. At least I'm gonna try. There we go. Cool. All right. There are more rats in that other room. I closed the door on them because the rats can't follow. But uh, rat mods where rats can open doors. Something like that, yes. All right, we're going to try this again. So another chest, right? I'm going to cast this. Okay, now we open it. Does not unlock. Failed to pick the lock, that's fine. Unfortunately, it's still locked. Yep, you've jammed the lock. Jammed. Inoperable. Damn. You said give it up already? What are you talking about? I opened the other one successfully. And I got 200 gold from it. What do you, what do you mean? Well, what, what are you going on about? Yes.
Hmm. Still locked. Does not unlock. Due to bad luck or incompetence, it's now jammed. Yeah. Jammed. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just rolled a random uh, bad chest. That's funny. Yeah. You need Sender and Keening? Yeah, th this chest specifically, if we look at it, it's defenseless, defenseless, right? It should be able to be hit by magic. Lot complexity applies to open, right? Uh, springy. Let's see. Yeah, based on this, it should be... Yeah. You failed to pick. Yeah, I don't know. You have jammed the lock. I'm done. I'm done here. Yeah. Never gonna give it up. No. No. We're, we're, we're not, not gonna do that. We're, we're leaving. We're gonna go kill skeletons. Okay? Our goal. We, we already got... We got... We, we got Sarsum. I'm pretty sure... Where would the sarsum go? There it is. See, it's, it's illegal drugs. It's great. Top quality content. Yep. Uh, uh, only quitters truly win. I mean, you know how it is, Strat, about... Um, um, not, what do you call it? 90% uh, of uh, gambling addicts, uh, they quit right before they hit big. So, it is what it is. But... Um, Where's the skeleton? Hold on. Did, did the did the bats kill the skeleton? I, I mean, I, I know I installed the horde mod, so we get hordes of enemies, but uh, I didn't think that... Uh... Okay, first things first. We're going to... Um, we're going to secure a new resting spot. So, um, first things first. Uh, there's another chest right over here, so we're going to try that like an idiot. And then we're going to go do other stuff. So, uh, let's see. It's, oh, this is resistant to magic. So, in other words, I have, like, no chance of doing it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that ain't gonna work. We're, we're reloading. We're gonna go fight uh, the skeleton and or the orc or whichever one. Um, whichever one is deciding to cause us problems. We, uh, we actually got out of this dungeon just fine before. And then we came back with our uh, wagon in order to loot the dungeon properly. That's what we're doing at the moment. So I've got my uh, magic missile ready to go. <laughs> See? Arcane arrow, kill it. And that that magic resistant orc. See, see what he did? Bam. Just like that. Okay, I, I, the, I have good news for everybody. Uh, I'm about to die, but that's fine. Because if I can get to the campfire quickly enough... I can rest before, uh, you know, he reaches me. And and then, no, I'm, I'm diseased, apparently. I'm going to die due to some terrible disease. It's going to be great. Uh, I stifle a yawn as well. That's that's not great. I, I am unwell, okay? I have I probably have stomach rot. Uh, that's not great. Oh, there, there's a guy after me. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. I probably have stomach rot. Let's find out. Uh, no. Don't know. Too much mold? Yeah. Probably. I'll have to go to a temple and get it cured. It's no big deal, though. Look at all that loot. Steel greaves. Hell yeah. I got the smooth ones. That's good stuff. A steel pauldron. Hell yeah. Casual pants. That's a G-string. I've never seen uh, pants that casual. Uh, that, that should be fine, though. Uh, let's see. Get rid of the putrid meat there. No issues. Um. Yep, yep. Mold is a vegetable. It's good for you, yes. It reminds me of the uh, person who tried to argue to me that beer was liquid bread. And therefore it was good for me. Um. Didn't really argue back. Just thought it was amusing. Okay. Oh, there's the orc. 
Fuck. I'm on the verge of death. I'm running. Bye, everybody! Good news. I'm not yet dead. Uh, rest here. Rest here. We should be fine. Okay. I'm pretty confident we can kill the orc now. Damn right. Orc is dead. We got his good stuff. Is this slightly used? This one is used. Okay. It piles of bones, a safe place to rest. Yes. I mean, like, it's better than death, which is what would have happened to me had I uh, fought the orc normally. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting out of here. We're, we're unwell. We're probably going to die due to disease. I've, we've contracted the plague. A very serious disease. It will spread quickly through your system. Few who contract it live for more than a few days unless cured quickly. You've contracted stomach rot. A permanent condition unless cured. It was characterized by a slight drop in health. Ah, yes. I have the plague. This is great. I, I, I certainly love having the plague. Okay, looks like we're leaving. I didn't think we were leaving this soon. Yeah. Let's we, we got we gotta go to the temple and get ourselves cured. We're gonna we're gonna pay a, a cleric a hefty sum to get our uh, yeah yep yeah exactly the plague you feel somewhat bad exactly should be fine. We are now a plague bearer. Oh absolutely. Okay. We're trying to raise our destruction skill. That's what we're trying to do. And the game is having none of it. Yeah. Okay. My destruction skill improved. Excellent. Just walk it off. Well, we're, we're going to ride our horse back to Gothway Garden. There's no question about it. So, uh, yeah. Return, return to the hold was cut short by pain. The diet and exercise will get you out of the plague? No, your health, max health will get reduced gradually until you just drop dead. It's great. Um, yeah, we got to get out of here. Uh, the plague will reduce your max health for, um, like every day that you have it until your max health is zero and then you cease to be. Yeah, <laughs> vitamins and workout. I always thought, uh, that there was a, it was a great meme back in the day. Uh, you got this, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, it was called, um, it was the, in World of Warcraft, it was the warrior spec, uh, where, like, the, the warrior healing spec, where you just shout, walk it off. Someone, someone had a great meme for that. Yep, yep. Yeah, we, we can, we can loot stuff, that's the whole point of this. Uh, but, yeah. The, the warrior just sh uses his shout and says, walk it off. Uh, uh, yes, Strat. That they, these are casual pants. You see? You see how casual they are? Yeah. It, it's a string. It's very casual. All right. Now then, what were we saying? Uh, shoes. Equip shoes. Okay. We leaving. We're out of here. Yep. Okay, horsey. <laughs> yep. We're gonna go west. By the way, uh, my trusty steed, you can see him right here. His name is uh, Win RAR, as you can see. Yep. <clears throat> uh, that is our trusty steed. Okay, we're going this way to the west. Ahem. Pretty sure it was west. North, maybe? North Northwest? I'm confused now. Should be, yeah, it should be northwest. It's pretty, sh I have no idea anymore. If it, if it was east, I'm gonna be in very annoyed, very very annoyed. I need to find the trail. That it was south. Oh, it was south. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Do you want to register your horse exactly? There's the track. Okay. 
We just take this track back to Gothway Garden. There you go. Easy peasy. And there's Gothway Garden. Right next... Whoa, 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 whoa. You notice a book chained to a nearby wall replete with magical sigils. A pouch. Bilingual dictionary. Target language. Orcish. The book will open upon placing 250 gold coins within the pouch. Availability, three hours read time. Uh, pouch just barely um, uh, big enough to fit the coins in its mouth. Do you want to take advantage of this opportunity? No, I don't want to learn Orcish. You, I, I'm not I'm not paying you. Yeah. Uh, yep, the book and pouch are no longer visible. They're gone. All right. Uh, ahem. The 15th of Morning Star is a holiday taken very seriously in Gothway Garden. What they call the South Wind's Prayer, a plea... Uh, by all religious uh, religions of Tamriel for a good planting season. Citizens with every affliction known to Tamriel flock to the services of the healer's temples. They perform free healings on this day. Holy crap! I have the plague! Free healings! Yes! Free healings when I got the plague! <laughs> this is great! Okay, wait, where's the... Uh, th there, there it is. There's the temple. Hell yeah! Uh, we're gonna leave our wagon behind in front of the the pig and cat tavern. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll leave our uh, wagon behind here. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, cart. Uh, that's not the cart. This is the horse. Yeah, I unhitched my wagon. Cool. I just, I just blocked the door. Okay, I have to fix that. I, I actually have to fix that. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Switch to horse. And there we go. Our wagon is now clipped into the wall. Just just as it should be. Now and forever. Okay. Resolution of Zenithar. I'm a Debella worshiper myself, but I will go to the Resolution of Zenithar and get cured. Yes. Uh, there we go. Chanting in the distance. Damn, this place is uh, pretty uh, fun. Uh, let's go say, uh, free heals, please? Question mark. Good. H hello, sir. I don't, no, I'm not gonna get a question. I'm not gonna join your guild. Me help you? <laughs> uh, cure my disease, please. You are uh, cured for free due to today's holiday. Thank goodness. Our stomach rot is gone. Our plague is gone. Uh, the holiday served us well. Do you see that kid outside? Just just looking at the uh, how great this is. Yeah, the, like the the windows and everything. That's really neat. Okay, uh, let's go Winrar. Let's get back to our wagon, which is over by the pig and cat tavern. Yes. <clears throat> Fortune smiles upon you. Okay. Grab my wagon. Where are we going next? I'm debating. Uh, do, 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 let's go check out the other area here. Can I see the naked ladies? Yes, the taverns. Uh, sorry, the um, the divine temples very often have naked ladies. It's true. It's very true. Hmm. Okay, down this way. That's the archaeologist guild. Damn, they open from 11, so nine minutes till the Archaeologist Guild open. I'm not ready to do that Divine Taverns, yes. The Divine Taverns are serious business. My cart was there. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the name of that, that store. Hold on. Uh, remove the cart here because we don't have a cart there anymore. We're going to go check out the first class supply store, the cheapy place. And we're going to get uh, some stuff sold. I figure our we're, we're done delving privateers hold. We've got everything we needed. Um, gonna say that that's the the gear store is not where I want to go. So, uh, for those who are unaware, when you go into a store, it says it gives you a message when you go in there, right? This one says better appointed than many, so it's about average, right? If you find something with like candles and incense and stuff, that one is a high quality store. And then if we go over to this store over here, we can see rusty relics uh, where they're last tossed. The wares show cracks and shoddy worksmanship. These are where you want to sell because the owner of the shop has like 
no bartering skill whatsoever. They are terrible at selling things. Um, you generally find better wares in a more expensive store, but you have to spend more for them. So if we're just looking for like the lowest grade stuff, we go talk to this guy and we can buy things for like half of their normal cost. Because again, his mercantile skill is awful. We're gonna get wagon parts, epoxy glue, we're gonna get all kinds of stuff. But first we're gonna talk to this guy and um, we're going to sell him like as much junk as we can. Like these tall boots, they suck. This long shirt is also terrible. So yeah, sell him all the weapons. We don't, we don't really need any of this stuff at all other than our staff. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything else there. I just have my extra staves. I'm gonna sell this used staff as well. So if we sell to him, you see it's 448 gold. That's not uh, not terrible at all. Yeah, thankfully in Daggerfall Unity, you don't fall through the ground really. But um, that is definitely a uh, serious problem in uh, the vanilla engine. Let's see, you can sell the shirt as well. These casual pants are alas, not for us. Uh, let's sell that, five gold. And now we can go purchase stuff, so. We should go purchase some bread and uh, some epoxy glue. Now these tights are uh, netted there, so don't want that. Uh, but I would like these wagon parts. So if we buy that for uh, 294 there, we have basically everything we need from them. Check the other one over here. My goodness. Uh, tedious tra- Oh, yeah, yeah, you need to slow down the uh, speed. Uh, then yeah also don't use a grass mod grass mods are frightening my goodness ahem <clears throat> and uh, he's gonna slay a northern berserker thanks for the uh the the 699 canadian dollar eh? uh ahem there's uh, trinkets odds and ends that sort of thing uh yes uh bellathor um, some may call this junk me i call them treasures there you go. That that's Bellathor speak. Um, now what do we got? Uh, bu 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 bum. Uh, yes, uh, C Canadian dollar. Eh? <laughs> indeed, indeed. I'm double checking to make sure there isn't anything else we need here. We need to get an extra cloak, specifically this formal cloak. That's that's a heavy cloak will protect me in the bad times. And then we need something that's a little less priestess roby. Um, the string is nice, but I think we need to get our hands on a dress. You should have one. Yes, you have a dress. Good. So wear that. Bam, for now. Um, wait, hold on. What else? It's true. It's true. It's this top quality content there. Casual pants. When you take off the casual pants, you get normal outfits. It's very silly. I'm going to buy the bandages. Yes. Let me keep looking. I need to keep an eye on what we got here. Okay, first things first. I say we go with the loincloth. Um, we need something in each slot, basically. So, uh, I need a shirt as well. Something that's... Let's see, this this one's pretty good. Yeah, that, that one's green. Let's see, that one's a uh, nice red combo. Let, let's go with the red combo. Hell yeah. And said... Uh, Indeed, indeed. Mm-hmm. The, the casual pants. Uh, Strat, like, if they made such a mod, I would be uh, playing a male character right now. See, um, like, when you go to clothing stores, they straight up have, like, the most amazing selection for female characters. But male characters get jack shit. And so I, uh, I looked at that reality and I said I know my last character was a female character but if you ain't gonna give me good clothes to choose from I, I have to pick a female character again there's like the, that's the state of Daggerfall modding no one's willing to pixel art some good male clothes so you know I'm just kind of stuck with this yep uh, anyway let's uh, see here do, 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 do. Um, all right, we need, uh, we need all these rations. Yep. 
Give me the ration packs. So the ration packs are good. We'll be able to survive on those in case uh, we run out of food for any reason. Buy some bread. No big deal. Yes. But but this is good. This is good. I'm uh, I'm very happy we... Uh, yeah, oh, there we go. More rations. Perfect. I suppose we're ready to go proper adventuring at this point. We got everything we need. I just was going to grab some more ration packs. So, uh, you know how it is. Uh, no, no big deal there. Yes. Um, I mean, right now we got our Princess Zelda, but... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, worst case scenario, we can always go with Rathion from, um, you know, World of Warcraft. Or, um, I I'd say uh, Al Alucard's also pretty good. You know, Alucard is good as well. Um, but I'd say if, if we had to pick uh, the best one, it's probably Fallout New Vegas. You, you know, no, no big deal there. So, um, is what it is. <clears throat> there you go. Yep. Okay. What were we saying? Yep. I'm gonna say sewing kit, casual pants, shoes, leather helm. Intri oh, we can make things. We can straight up make things using the sewing kit. I didn't realize that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. That's pretty cool. Uh, cool. Let's, let's see what else. What, what's the wagon parts do? The wagon is too far away. I get that. Epoxy glue is... Oh! To repair your, your silver staff. That's crazy. You glue and reinforce the cracks in the silver staff's frame. So it's almost new. It's in good condition. You're kidding me. So that's what the epoxy glue is used for. Steel staff there. And yes, almost new. Crazy. That is great. That there's a mod out there that lets you commission uh, armorers. Yes, I've seen that. I chose not to use it, but that's fine. Um... Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Let me see here. All right, I think we are otherwise good to go. I just wanted to make sure everything was set here. I'm going to go check some of the more expensive stores. This one here is practical. So this is just, yeah, dog days of winter are certainly here. You were hoping for a deal or two on essential wares. Several things immediately attract your attention. Okay. So let's see what else. We want to buy some more bandages. That's five gold. That's worth it. I, uh, good. What else? Um, we can get more epoxy glue if we want. Not a big deal. Oh, neat. We can get a gray loincloth. Ah, I don't care about the gray loincloth. But, um, oh, a Khajiit suit, of course. I see. So, suddenly, top quality content has come to the video game. This is where all our money goes, is in the fashion scrolls here. I need that skillet. Holy crap, I don't have enough gold for that. Wait, charging powder? Char uh, charging powder to rest... I think that's to restore a magical item. I think it is. Um, well, now. This is quite interesting. Okay. What else? Fashion is the true end game. It is. It really is, yes. Um... Let's see, a whetstone for repairing, like, conventional weapons. Jeweler's pliers to get your other stuff fixed. These tights are... Oh, wow. A, a spiked brassiere. That's, uh... That's something. Let's go look at his back stock upstairs. That, that's what this game is all about, you know? Um... <clears throat> nothing. Damn, it's cool. You can see outside, like, the store itself. It's really fancy. I don't think there's a, no, there's nothing else here. Oh, well. Let's go. Wait, we don't need that. Wait, we don't need any of that. We're going to go back to the, uh, the loincloth and the, um, what do you call it? The shirt, short shirt there. Yeah. 
Very good. That's only the casual, um, the casual, what do you call it, uh, walking around town outfits. I want to see what's up with this charging powder, though. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, first things first. We put on a, a cloak and then another cloak. Two cloaks. Keep us nice and uh, safe. Okay, we have to go get our horse. There we go. Win R E R. Good. We're gonna go over to the bank of Daggerfall and withdraw enough to get that like charging powder and stuff. That looks kind of amazing. I want to see what it does. Probably nothing. These are all like repair items. They're super interesting. Let me see here. Uh, hello, sir. Banking. I need to withdraw 5,000 golds, which means I have uh, 13,000 left in the bank, which is not a problem. Let's go back over to the store and buy um, some more repair items. That should be fine. Superior supply store. Before I go anywhere else, I just want to make sure I'm good to go. I've got a year to repay the loan, so... Um, yeah, let's see. Based on this, if we want the charging powder, that's expensive as hell, but I'm taking it. Jeweler's pliers. Um, need a whetstone. Need a skillet. Okay, so 1,600. The skillet's going to help us cook things in like half the time. Uh, sugar lumps. That summons our horse. It's, yeah. Sugar lumps summon our horse. Whetstone is good for, uh, Normal content there. What else? Hmm. It, yep. My goodness. Okay. You're glad charging uh, powder is a high cost? Yeah. It's ex uh, magic items aren't really supposed to be repaired. Which I have uh, repair magic items turned off. So the fact I can do that at all is kind of overpowered. And I'll consider not using it maybe. But, um, I just want to try all these new things out. That's why I'm here, mostly, is to look at all the fancy new items and go, ooh la la, like, what what, what do these new, uh, functions do? Alright, well, we've got everything we need, so let's go over to the Mages Guild, and, um, I guess we don't really need to buy into a new, um, new spells. We would need to get the open spell, the proper open spell. And we need to get uh, sleep. Yeah. Okay. We also probably need to spend the night here as opposed to going anywhere else. Recall. We need mark and recall. That's what we need. So yeah, we're going to the Mage's Guild. Pretty sure Gothway Garden uh, has a Temple of Kinnereth? Fighter's Guild, Mage's Guild's up north. My bad. Mm hmm. You always get a big Skyrim mod list and then you play less than an hour. That's sad. I, uh... I get Legacy the Dragonborn mod lists and I play for like 500 plus hours. Kind of nuts. Alright. Let's go. That's the Dwarf and Huntsman Tavern. We're going to the Mage's Guild. No big deal. It's around the corner. Hmm... Almost lair. The Mage's Guild is open right now. They, they're they almost always closed whenever I want to, you know, mess with stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect day for those who practice the arts of the guild. The Mage's Guild is uh, the most alive on cold, dark winter days. I see. Uh, hello, sir. I'd like to join your guild. Ah, you are worthy to join the Mage's Guild. It's an apprentice. You can use a spellmaker, get training from any of the guild skills. Later, you'll be eligible to use library, buy magical items, um, and even make your own. Would you be interested in joining? Yes. Henceforth, you'll be known as uh, Elona uh, Hearthsmith, uh, apprentice of the Mage's Guild. Yes. Very good, very good. First things first, we go buy spells. So, we purchase spells. She's the identify. No, she's the spellmaker. Thought she was the identify. Per what the hell? I could take that. I could hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it under uh, 
a a, a, uh, a guild for mangy mages. Yes. So, I'm planning on doing more Baldur's Gate uh, 1 on uh, probably Tuesday. I think that Monday is going to be Pal World. I think it's going to be Pal World, then more Baldur's Gate. That's probably what's going to happen based on everything there. Uh, let me see here. Mm -hmm. Someone said a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Interesting. It looked, some, someone said that uh, VX and FX Twitter uh, links for uh, Discord embedding have been hijacked and now um, now steal people's account details or something. Kind of weird. All right. Mm -hmm. You said you hate so much about Power World, but it's fun. That's the reason I've been playing it, is it's fun. Like, there's... I, I've got a video there. All right. Anyway, I've got a video I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take this. Mage's Guild disapproves of the transgression. So in other words, we, uh, in order, it, what, what, the candelabra here is worth 75 gold, but then we lost reputation with the Mage's Guild. In other, in other words, if your reputation goes down, you can get kicked out if it goes below zero. So I, I'm obviously not gonna do that. Interesting though. Like, uh, that, that things can be taken. Uh, hello. Uh, he's a magic item seller. I can't do that. What else? Hello there. You sell spells. All right. Uh, based on all this, I need the open spell. I need the recall spell. Jeez, how much money? I only have 500 gold. I might... Yeah, okay. I can, I can afford the open spell, but let's go with recall first. Buy recall, yes. 219? Sure. Yep, yep. You said, uh... uh da, 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 da. FX DeviantArt? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, we got recall. We're gonna buy open. And now I need to buy sleep. Uh, stam uh, stamina. Stamina. We need stamina badly. Okay. I don't think I have enough money. Money. Maybe I do. Toxic Cloud, Tame. Toxic Cloud is an AoE, right? Jeez, th these formula are so amazing. Yeah, d Recall itself um, is a two-step spell. It's it's not two different spells. It's just one. It's just a single two-step spell. Anyway, let me see here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm hmm. Or Skyrim mods for one run? No, you just have to look at the previous mod lists on my web, my webby site. Yes. Um, if you go back, you can kind of pair them up, like the YouTube video, sorry, the, the YouTube uh, series to the uh, mod in particular. Okay, let's get going. So, we have to focus on not tame tongues. Fear of Negete. Let's see. Uh, spell reflection. Spell reflect. It's not spell reflection. Spell absorption. I already have that. Like it, it works. But um, is this cold? Arc strength paralysis. I, I. It needs to be this. The normal sleep spell. Nothing. Nothing else to it. Yeah. Okay. So I. I do have. Everything I need, then. Uh, I've got the standard open spell. I've got um, Ice Storm. Ooh, that looks amazing. What about a Holy Word? Is that Dispel Undead? Yeah, it just destroys Undead outright. That's hilarious. End of Decay, God's Fire. I think, uh, let's just have a look. God, yeah, God's Fire will lose 1 to 50 points plus another 10 to 10 so it's 10 points per one level of the caster the new elden ring dlc as you hyped yeah yeah i think so too i um i'm not usually the first to try first to buy but um 
I think Elden Ring was actually one of those games where it was worth buying new and not just waiting, you know, until it got cheap, which is what I do with most games. Um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of excited. But, uh, okay, Firestorm. That looks like a thing I can go with. Yeah, 1 to 20 points um, of health every round for um, plus 1 to 5 points. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's, let's get Firestorm and a Fireball. But Fireball's an AoE, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. We have a good amount of magic now. Wait, wait. Cure poison, cure disease. Need both. Can you imagine not being able to cure poison or disease? All right, I think we're good. Yeah, a lot of people use the old version of Skyrim these days. Like, they, the pre-anniversary edition. Like, they've locked that in. The community has basically said... We use either the latest version or we use the pre-anniversary edition update. And they build their mod lists around that in a um, in a kind of Minecraft style, you know. Uh, the way it's like, w which version the, mo the mod list is built around. It's kind of uh, nuts how uh, Bethesda has kind of ruined the, uh, the situation there. Making you want to boot up Daggerfall Unity. Daggerfall Unity is a lot of fun. Um... But, yeah, it's, whoops. Oh, yeah, th th oh, this is uh, the original Shang Tsung from uh, Mortal Kombat, the original, yeah. It, he can uh, train me in um, mysticism, destruction, impish. You know what? Yeah, yeah, train me in destruction, please. Thanks. For a session of destruction, it'll co yeah, it's because I'm that good. You got it. Uh, and this lady, uh, with her uh, her bouncing orb, you can see uh, she te uh, identifies your stuff. Speaking of which, let's go let's go buy the identify spell. <laughs> I uh, I realize like all the all the services they provide. It's like, but I could have those myself. Uh, I I for identify, please. That's invisibility. Mm, ID ten T right. So they don't teach identify apparently. I I don't know. Uh, maybe I passed it and, you know, couldn't see it there. Wizard's Fire, Vampire Touch. Uh, Sphere of Negation can instantly uh, disintegrate. It can just instantly destroy something. The issue with Obliteration is you don't get loot, you know? You have to be careful about that. All right. Now then. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Spell, Shield, Spell, Drain... I don't know. I'm, I'm looking for identify. I'm looking for it. Open. No magicka. Dispel magic. Okay, see so if you get a bad effect on you. Uh, wisdom, you said? Hmm. Wisdom. Fortify intelligence. Yeah, definitely not. Wizard's lock. But wizard lock is kind of cool. You can just lo lock a door. The enemy can't open it while it's in effect. It's funny. Alright, light is good. We'll grab that. That's illusion uh, magic. Yep, I'll take it. More importantly, though, levitation. Please do, just in case. Um, let's see. Holy word, hand asleep. Free action is good. Absolutely. Hmm. I might just have to go get a, um, uh, buoyancy. Yeah, buoyancy is nice. But no, no, I'm gonna have to go ahead and make a custom one. Yeah, levitation is very useful. There are a lot of dungeons. The final dungeon in the game actually requires that you levitate. People are like, but I don't want to play a magical character! Because they forget that the, the game world is littered with magical items, and if you've been playing the game normally, you should have, like, a brassiere of, uh, of levitation. It lifts and supports. But, um, yeah, we're gonna save the game here. And we're getting out. We're, we're leaving. We're, we're, we're running away. So, um, wait. Who's the spell? Who's the spell? Damn. Spellmaker. Spellmaker. Upstairs? You're, you're a spellmaker, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I miss uh, Woodham here. Okay, this is the person, yes. All right. Um, make spells. Give, give, just give me identify, please. Thanks. Uh, identify, yes. Teach me to identify. It's the cheapest, cheapest. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the, the weakest, most pathetic identify spell possible. So that's it, yeah. Uh, least ident. Very good. That should do it. Yeah, least ident. And uh, we'll go for one more. If we go over here, should be... Create, create item is such an awesome little spell. Uh, yeah. Was Daggerfall compatible with mods? Not really, no. Alright. Why do you keep missing your spells on enemies? Um, it's a dice roll. And you have a... It's your skill and your governing stat for that skill versus their saving throw. And, um... Yeah, it's a pain. Illusionary decoy. Hold on. I'm gonna see what other things they can make. Summon imp. I forgot. I forgot about the su the yeah conjuration. I, I forgot about conjuration. That's this is cool. Yeah. Do you want to alter it? Delete that spell. Um. Let's just let's just make a better identify now. Ch chance up. Yes. It's uh, it costs a lot more. Ten plus one per level. Actually, hold on a second. That's one per level, right? So, per 10 levels. Okay, that makes it cheaper, actually. It should be plus... There we go. It should, it should be 5 per level. It should be better. Yes. Uh, destruction cheapens both the ca casting cost and the two hit. I believe so. I, I believe so. It's a, That's per... Yeah, and it makes it cheaper per, per level, so... In other words, it would be uh, a one chance per levels, and the, the higher your level, the better. So, because I have, because I'm level two, it should have a higher chance of success. So, um, we weirdo ident, got it. Okay, we're gonna buy that spell, and there we go. We should have two now. So if we go over here, we we can yeah least ident and weirdo ident are are um. Weirdo ident is more expensive, but has a much higher chance of successfully identifying the item. Yep. Okay. It does make you feel like a wizard. It really does. Okay, we're done here. We're going to... I guess go to the Fighters Guild and go uh, pick up a job. What time is it? Uh, it's getting late, actually. The Fighters Guild closes at, um, oh, I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. We're going to uh, place a mark inside the Fighters Guild Hall, and that way we can teleport back and go to sleep without having to uh, rent an inn for the night. I think that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, go over here to the Fighters Guilds. That should be fine. He said it stays open till midnight. I thought it closed at 15. Oh, well. It should be fine. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, it should It should be... Uh, I should have... Uh, my Identify, as I built it, should be... One base level. Then another 10 levels. Because it's 5 per uh, level and I'm level 2. So it should come out to be, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, should come out to be about, um, uh, uh, yeah, it was going to say it's a 11% chance. Yeah, so, something like that. Lol. Point is that uh, it's much better than, um, then setting as one plus one because at that point you would end up with um, uh, what do you call it? You'd end up at level three uh, for your spell cast, and that would suck. So, um, 
Let's go a guild for fights. Actually, before we talk to the man, we're gonna cast recall. Set an anchor here. Yes. Then um, a guild for fights. Yes. Good. Then uh, give me a quest. Um, uh, oh, you need some muscle up in Gothway Garden. Yeah. Don't know what the fight's about. Not our business anyway. Just need to go there, look tough, and scare the guy. Okay, uh, no killing. Four days. All right, so wh wh where do we need to go then? Uh, ooh, there's all kinds of stuff here. All fa fancy pa pants items that the Fighters Guild could probably notice and get pissed at me for doing. All right, I uh, need to ask where we're going now. If I hit the uh, journal here, it should be... And Gothway Garden has been harassing citizens, Fighters Guild. So, I need to find uh, Elena Hearth House. That's, that's fine. Yes. Mm-hmm. My goodness. You still owe uh, money on your house loan? That sucks. Uh, Ultima 8 is kind of my favorite Ultima, but I'd say, like, the first... Uh, like, uh, I, I'd say Ultima... F Four, five, and six are probably the best, based on what I what vague memories I have of them. Do, do, do weapons you don't pay or loan, your regional reputation uh, tanks. Gets to like negative 100, and then everyone hates you. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Papal. I'm gonna ask politely. Ahem. Hail to thee! Are you familiar with the whereabouts of Elena Hearthhouse? Why the hell would I want to give you directions? I don't give directions to people who talk like that. Okay, normal then. Uh, hey, uh, what's the best direction? Well, uh, you should go right there to the, the pig and cat on your map. Okay. There you go. So we just got to go to the pig and cat. Pig and cat tavern. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to leave my wagon behind here for now. I think it's there. Yeah, I can call my horse to me using uh, the magical sugar cubes. Do I have those? Yeah, I have the sugar lumps. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, let's figure out uh, pig and cat corner there. Can I beat someone up? Hell divers? No. Every time I watched a friend try to play hell divers, um. There was, um, what do you call it? Uh, they couldn't get into the game. And so I just shrugged and said, uh, may maybe when they fixed up the service, kind of, sort of, maybe. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Guild for fights one. Let's go. Now, patron serving, cold day. Excuse me there. Huh, another one you want a real fight, huh? Drive that Breton to the ground, come on! Whoa, that's a powerful hit. You got me. I'll stop bothering the fools. Okay. That's what I thought. Nah. I'm stupid. Okay, we can just go back now. That is ridiculous. Okay. Honestly, though... Uh, between Warframe and Final Fantasy XIV, I don't really have time for any other live services. You feel somewhat... You've been poisoned! They poisoned me! Fuck. Okay, cure poison. I'm healthy. Uh, this is... I have no magic left. I can't do any more jobs today, but, uh... Yeah. You feel somewhat poisoned. Yeah, that's that's terrible. You feel somewhat poisoned. Jeez. Get my wagon there. That's uh, on the equivalent of uh, Skyrim's Radiant Quest. It's funny you, you mentioned that. Uh, um, because actually... Um, I think it was... Do, do, do. Yeah, it, it's it's funny that you you mentioned that because I'm looking at it right here. Hold on. Uh, what was his name? Trying to find it there. 
come on, Nexus mods. Mods, uh, Dagger, Fall, Unity, here we go. Um, all right, I got the, the thing right there. Now I just need to look and type in the word Skyrim into it. There you go. So are you by chance talking about the amazing Skyrim's adventures? Yes. Ahem. Check this shit out. Adds 13 new quests based on Skyrim's Radiant quests. That was one of them. <laughs> mm. Your retainer gave you a, um, uh, a, what do you call it, a summer dress? Uh, yes. Uh, you, you wanted to know about Astolfa, right? Let me see here. That was, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. uh, here. I, I think it was that, that right there, yes. Astolfo, also Astolfo. Estus. And Estulz is a fictional character in the Matter of France where he is one of Charlemagne's paladins. There you go. Okay. So, <clears throat> this way. But no, I think I'm uh, good on dresses. Uh, thank you, uh, Deathtron. I appreciate that. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, his name is Astolfo. Correct. Uh, hello. I figured you had it in you. Nicely done. There's the money. Okay, we need to just go take a nap now. Maybe she can give me some training. What can she train me in? Uh, she can train me in some critical striking. Maybe. Uh, how much would she charge for that? 291? That's not expensive. Let's see about uh, her other training. What, what else can she train? You know, blunt weapon? Uh, 340. You know what? Let's, let's train me in blunt weapon. And then, yeah, let's do it. Bam. Two hour training. Uh, out of stamina. Very tired. Gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna, gonna train up. Uh, sleep through the night. Yes. Okay. You can see my blunt weapon skill improved thanks to the training. That is perfect. That's uh, what we ended up doing. No issues there. Uh, let me see here. Oops. Uh, Stealth will be your companion in your next Skyrim adventure. I know that there is a... Um, what do you call it? Um, I know Kagura, like from like Senren Kagura, can be a... Um, that's, it's, it's not Sandra Kakura. What is it called then? Uh, fuck, I've forgotten the name. Oni Chambra. Yeah, Kagura from Oni Chambra can be a Skyrim follower. But, uh, um, I, like, everyone recommends Inago, uh, from Skyrim, and that, that'd be an option as well, I suppose. Uh, Inago would be, uh, let me see here. Trying to find it there. Okay. So I'm, I'm grabbing the Inago mod real quick. Uh, that everyone recommends. So yes. As you can see. Uh, this is a top quality Inago mod right here. Where they turn him into a cat boy from uh, the Final Fantasy game. Uh, he that That is referred to as a uh, Ohms Khajiit, by the way. If you're wondering. Uh, there you go. Ahem. <clears throat> I think it was, uh, yeah, it, it was the, uh, the Ohms Khajiit, according to this. Yeah, they're the, the cat-like people. Um, because the, the, uh, let's see. Yeah, let me, let me pull up UESP Khajiit. I'm going to go over here to the UESP Khajiit things, and there should be, like, sub-races around here. There you go. You got the Alfique, Alfique Rot, Cafe, Cafe Rot, Doggy, Doggy Rot, Ohms, Ohms Rot, Ohms Rot are the Daggerfall Khajiits, uh, Palmar, Palmar Rot, Sanch, 
Sanch Rot, Suthe, Suthe Rot. Uh, yeah, so all the different Khajiit types. Yeah, so you, what you'd want is a uh, an Ohm's Rot, which is basically just uh, the, 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 the cat boy shenanigans, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Khajiit subraces were a thing before ESO. It's just, uh, that was their way of explaining how uh, they were different in each game. Yep. Okay. Do, 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 do. What time is it? We should cast a couple spells really quick, a couple light spells. Then take a nap again. A couple more light spells. Take a nap again. And it's morning. Your stomach rumbles. You slept poorly. Really? Well, we should eat more meat. Eat more meat. It's fine. Mm hmm. Do, do, do. So, um, what was I gonna do here? Yeah, I was gonna request a new quest, and we we're gonna do a guild for fights. Take me there. Give me a quest. You got a free day, a few days killing. You do some uh, giant killing. Guy, I, I'm, I'm not good enough for giant killing yet. Not yet, sadly. Give me another quest. Uh, let's see, get rid of a member of the Thieves' Guild. You're not afraid of the Thieves' Guild, are you, Apprentice? Uh, look, uh, you're not used to killing Atronox. Uh, we've got to kill a job. We've got to kill one another town. No, I can't do Atronox yet. Uh, Mages go looking for someone to rescue one of their own who got stuck in a cave. Uh, I'd like, uh, it'll pay like any other job. Oh, let's, let's go. Let's go. Uh, the community of Vanusa. What? It's, um... Uh, 35 okay let's go let's go do that job um so the community of vanusa we, got, we gotta go put on our uh, cloak or we're gonna get uh cold so we put on our cloaks no problem there and i suppose we'll when we get to the dungeon we'll have to put on all our uh heavy equipment actually yeah that should do it the community of bad news yes absolutely uh, so let's have a look at our map and figure out where it's located. Looks like... Well, at least we got our graveyards marked on the map. Uh, community. Damn! No wonder they gave me 35 days to do it. Ever played Drakengard? Briefly. I've never finished it. Uh, I did watch the, uh, the ending that ties into Nier, and I thought that was kind of weird. But, uh, no, I've only played Drakengard very, very briefly. Let me see here. Checking something. Someone sent me shenanigans. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that nonsense. Okay. So, uh, ahem. Someone asked about our character's backstory. So let's have a look. We cl click on history. Uh, ahem. Your earliest memories are of a warm, unusual home. Your mother was a beautiful enchantress who would entertain you for hours with her tricks. Her favorite, uh, uh, sorry, your favorite was her sending sparks of flame and ice flying around the yard. Your father was a fearsome man. Many, uh, village uh, referred to him as that warlock, uh, but he was a loving and doting father. As you grew up, it became apparent that you had unusually strong magical powers. Soon, you were able to cast spells of destruction yourself. You remember your parents were talking about an evil battle mage, Jaeger Tharn, who was, um, no, how was known to their circle, how he usurped power. Uh, no one dared move against him. You marveled at the knowledge that Tharn must have accrued. One day on your tw uh, 20th year, a courier arrived with news that a powerful hero had killed Jaeger Tharn and restored the um, rightful emperor to the throne. Even your gruff uh, father wept with joy. Uh, let's see here. There was going to be a celebration at the Imperial City. All who had uh, worked secretly to dispose of Tharn were invited. Once Courier left, you asked your parents if you could go to the celebration. Your mother and father looked concerned. Explained there was not enough gold for all three of you to attend the trip. Downcast, you tried to hide your disappointment. However, your father turned to you and said that you would make your own way in the world gave you a marvelous book and unusual staff and uh, sent you to the imperial city celebration uh after many days of travel you approach the capital notice a small band of travelers 
Uh, as you're about to hail them, they were attacked by brigands. You rushed to help the travelers. As you approached, one of the brigands raised his uh, short sword to strike you. In a natural reflex, you tried to deflect the blow with your staff the father gave you. As the sword struck the staff, a great bolt of lightning erupted from it. Both weapons shattered. The brigands and travelers all stopped and stared at you. As the thunder subsided, the brigands ran back into the woods. You were mobbed by the travelers who thanked you profusely for saving them. Members of the Imperial family had been visiting the country, were returning to the Imperial city for celebrations. They uh, insisted you come to the... Uh, uh, to the palace, the audience with the emperor. The emperor was very impressed how you bravely, uh, uh, sorry, uh, impressed of your bravery. Knew your family were loyal supporters of the empire. He presented you with a silver staff. Celebrations continued for weeks. The emperor often called on you for informal talks. When you were not in audience, uh, you usually spent your time learning how to tell uh, the nobles what they wanted to hear. That's uh, etiquette. Uh, one night you were called to the emperor's presence in a manner you knew was serious business. Uh, he had a favor to ask, and that's, uh, yeah, that's how we ended up, uh, where we are now. Um, so what it, it, the story is generated, the character's story is generated based on your character responses, like, the, the, the answers you give during character creation, as well as your race and, um, you, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, no, j j just your race and the answers you give in character creation. And it's, it's kind of cool in that regard. I, I like it. Yep. Uh, pretty fancy. So, uh, anyway. Uh, yes, you, you are definitely chosen by the Emperor. It's crazy. Yep. Uh, hey, you're finally awake. Yes. Uh, but, but, yeah, those, them Tharns always up to shenanigans. If you have the opportunity strat, you should check out uh, the end quest of the Daggerfall Covenant. The Daggerfall Covenant sucks, by the way. But, um, they, um, uh, like, the, the final, uh, care, like, the final battle is against Septima Tharn, and she, um, she knows that you are the, the chosen one, and, and that you can, uh, that you, the player, can't die, so she has a plan to try to permanently kill you, um, by, like, uh, trapping your soul in the far shores. It doesn't work, but she, she tries. Because she knows that because you're basically a Daedra, uh, you're like you will you're like you will always just go back to Cold Harbor and reform. So um, yeah, she uh, she she tries. It's it's pretty cool. Anyway, like, we're going we're going uh, we're going up north. Uh, we are going uh, not in the north. We're going we're going. Uh, uh, going southeast. Yes. We're going southeast. Let's go. Fail to avoid an encounter. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. You! Oh, jeez, I'm blind. I can't see. Is ESO worth playing? Eh, uh, uh, like, I told this to someone earlier. But I recommend, um, I recommend buying ESO on the gray market for like, you know, cheap. And the reason for that is they already like, they treat it like a free to play game in the sense that they have, they have a subscription fee for added features. They have like loot boxes. And they have like FOMO, fear of missing out, like uh, cycles for for their loot boxes and stuff, right? So they monetize the shit out of it, like they like it's a free to play game. So you, if you buy the game, you should get it as cheap as you possibly can. Like get it on a key site or something. Don't uh, don't bother, don't spend like full price for a game that is basically trying to filch your. Uh, uh, try, trying to steal money from you at, like, every opportunity. It's over-monetized. Okay. Bastard. Bastard! Okay. Doesn't have a whole lot of pay to win, but it has a, a shit ton of pay to skip in certain situations. 
I just, uh, overall, be careful. That's, uh, you know, what I recommend. Okay. Let's get those bandages out. We have those, right? Nah, we don't need those. Okay. You enjoy it, but it's over my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to say. Definitely not a problem there. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to put away all the junk in the wagon. I say all the junk, but I actually have a fair amount of stuff I want to hold on to. Uh, better equip that Brigadine in case. I'm just going to equip all the loot. Fuck it. Just in case. Because there's issues. Um, Alright, we're going down the road. Fuck it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it's not pay to win, but it's pay to skip. And, uh... Again, they they really... They, they treat it like a free-to-play game. In regards to the, um... Uh... To the amount of, uh... Like, FOMO and, uh... Monetization systems. Yep. It, it, they treat it like a free-to-play game when it isn't. That's why I, I have absolutely... I feel no guilt in telling people to get it for as cheap as they can on some key site or something. You think about getting into Final Fantasy XIV? I have a stupidly huge uh, Final Fantasy XIV guide. My recommendation is spend zero dollars on that. You'll get like 200 hours out of the game uh, before you get to the point where you have to buy it. Um... But yeah, the, the, the quote-unquote free trial of Final Fantasy XIV is gigantic. It's huge. So, um, yeah. I, I have a, uh, a stupidly huge guide on, on the, the YouTubes there. Uh, he said, uh, th this isn't Meaner Monsters. This is Moex, which is Meaner Monsters, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, expansion... Shenanigans. You already own it? Damn. So you, you spend money on it anyway. Lol. Well, Strat, I'm on the uh, ferry server on the, what do you call it, uh, on the Ether data center. So if you ever want to play the video game, um, I am absolutely, uh, absolutely willing to uh, play the game. Yes. I going to say, uh, got friends who would be willing to play it too, so... You know, uh, unlike ESO, they haven't all evaporated. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me see here. I need to set up a tent. Um, here we go. Boom. Okay. I accidentally created that candle there. Cook. I have nothing to cook. Doesn't matter. Rest. Good. We're set. Pack up. We're traveling. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. The AI anime overhaul. Yeah, I, I tried it. Um, for shits and giggles, I was gonna make this a, a the weeb playthrough, and it was awful. Just awful. Yes. You played the Arkham games? Yes, I actually. Um, I think I tweeted in response to what you were saying about it, and I said, uh, I said that Arkham Asylum is an awesome game, and that Arkham City sacrificed much of what made, um, what made Arkham Asylum great in order to become open world, but it's still a pretty good game. And it's a damn shame, a damn shame they never made any other games after that. Kind of like Deus Ex, right? A lot of people have this delusion that they made more Deus Ex games. In Mortal Kombat, they they made they made Mortal Kombat trilogy, you know, a combination of the first three games, and they never made another Mortal Kombat game afterward. It's crazy. All these franchises where people assume that um, um, that they made more games in those series, it's, it's nuts. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, um, no, no, they, they only, like, the Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, that those are the only games they made in that series. For, and, yeah. Mm. 
Okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Anyway. Moving along. Man, at, at some point I should, uh... I should really consider playing, uh... Jeez, which way do I have to go? I have to go this way. Um... At some point, I should consider um, uh, doing uh, Jedi Academy. Uh, sorry, Je Jedi Outcast, Jedi Academy. Those games again. Cool. What do we got? Superior wares and merchandise. This is sturdy shelves. This is a normal grade store. How much do you want for bandages? One gold? Sure. Not, not much else. I need to find a low-grade store. Diablo, yeah. Oddly enough, like, Diablo 3 is a horrible story, but the actual game leading up to... Um... Leading up to the, uh... The whole Greater Rift spam is actually pretty good. Um... Which is your favorite RPG? Well, I wouldn't call it an RPG so much as I'd call it, like, an adventure game. But, um... I am a huge fan of, um... Chrono Trigger. It's my favorite video game. Period. My goodness. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Um... thing Diablo 3 way more after they release those unique items that change the way the skills work yes but I'm gonna be honest with you like every four to six months I play Path of Exile and that's my live service Diablo um, outside of that I go back to Diablo 1 for the hell 2 or for Beelzebub and um, Diablo 2 has the Median XL mod. I don't really play, um, like, I'm kind of done with Diablo 3, and I'm never going to play Diablo 4 at this point. What do you think of Chrono Cross? Chrono Cross is beautiful as a standalone game. It is a garbage sequel. Like, everything about Chrono Cross would be better without any attempts to tie it to Trigger. But the actual music, um, like, uh, visual art, the graphics, uh, all of it is beautiful. Yes. Um, <laughs> have you played the Diablo 2 mod that makes, uh, is it Path of Exile? No, I haven't. That sounds fun. Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, yeah. Um, my goodness. I won't be playing Baldur's Gate 3 for months. I'm going to be playing Baldur's Gate. I'm going to be playing the Siege of Dragons something or other. Uh, whatever Beamdog fan fiction. I'm going to be playing that. And then I'm going to be playing Baldur's Gate 2. And anything else associated with that. And then, after that, I'll do Baldur's Gate 3. But, uh, you know. Um... Tis what it is. Yeah. I, uh... The, the, the best way to do things is to, to play games after their relevancy within the YouTube algorithm has expired. That's, that's the best way to do content. Alright, let me see here. Yeah, all, all this stuff is terrible. I don't like any of it. Uh... Yeah, they... They, they, they want to charge me... This. I don't care about that. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Wait, there's my horsey. Yes. Best horse. Win RAR. Let, let's see. We're going to go check out the temples around here. But we're probably going to move on soon. My goal is to get to the other side of the kingdom. I could use fast travel. Like, what you do for fast travel is you click on the, the target you want. You go recklessly. And uh, then it, it's a travel time four days, right? But we're going cautiously. Um, 
Uh, sorry, recklessly camp out in the 71 hours if you want to go directly there. We're, we're casually going around there. Yes. Uh, um, too much competition. I've had um, I've had YouTube feed me uh, huge amounts of views when something is quote unquote relevant, and I hated like all the people who hopped into the comment section. Like, um, <laughs> you know, tourists. Mm. Okay. We're talking about Me Median XL? Yes. I, I absolutely enjoyed Median XL. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not horribly keen on uh, on the kind of tourism that, uh, uh, that, that, that shows up there. Yep. Okay. 110 gold. I'm buying it. I got an armor or hammer. Hell yeah. Happy with this. They're still patching the hell out of Baldur's Gate 3. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I I'm I'm incentivized to wait so until, um, what is it called? The third one, um, until season three, season three, cha chapter, th chapter three season, holy shit. Uh, until, uh, see, uh, what do you call it? Um, until chapter three is done. They also straight up said, I I'm, I'm not joking. They straight up said, um, uh, they're adding mods. They're adding a, a whole ass, um, like modding system to Baldur's Gate 3. They flat out said they were doing that. And so I'm looking at it right now going... Hell yeah. By the time I'm ready to play Baldur's Gate 3, there's going to be mo uh, like a modding platform. That's uh, apparently the mods are going to be cross platform. So you're going to be able to play like a. You're going to be able to make a mod on the con on the PC and play it on the console and shit. They, they straight up said that. Um, here, hold on. Let me, let me pull up the Twitter tweet because like they, they actually said it. And uh, let me pull it up here. Uh, bu 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 bu. here we go. There it is. Right, right there. Right freaking there. We generally don't talk about things till they're ready. But as you may have read, we're making an exception. We've been working on a robust cross-platform plan for mod support to be released later in year. We love our modding community and we want to support them. It's coming. Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, what do you call it? The director of publishing for Larian Studios. He said that. So, uh, mod support, cro sorry, cross platform mod support has been confirmed for, uh, yeah. I mean, lewd mods already exist. That's, that's not new at all. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, hopefully it's better than the tool set they released with Divinity the Original Sin. I hope so. I really hope so. I keep walking around in circles. Yes, um. My goodness. Get, getting distracted. I need to go. Let me check this. Am I, am I facing the right direction? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm going east. Always to the east. Oh, what are we saying though? Yes. Okay. Mm anyway, Neverwinter Nights has the most robust mod set for like a CRPG that I've seen. Unfortunately, we can go this way. Yeah, we're we're clear. I got distracted by the town. It's no big deal. Just kick back, relax, and zoom, zoom. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Our goal is to reach the other side in a few game days, but uh, we're taking the roads to do it. No big deal. Uh, 
Black Fort in the Daggerfall region. Okay. Interesting. Clarence Sale, Temple of Kinnereth, needs has no further need of these goods. Some trinkets, a common symbol. Um, no, I'm not buying it. Sometimes you can get magical items, but in this case, it's no big deal. Like, there's a giant pile of snow here. That's funny. All right. Turns all the trees into 3D animated and adds more... Who the hell are you guys? Hold on a second. Hello, hello, Mr. Gearcroft. Uh, that portrait does not match. What's the bit rate of your streams? Has to be 6,000 because of Twitch. I may think to increase it later, but... Uh, uh, Twitch currently throws a little temper tantrum if you're running it over 6,000. I am easily capable of going over 10,000 to have a nice, you know, crisp stream, but, uh, alas, um, Twitch has been thrown a little fit for a while. Yes, I, I don't need the, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, graphics are the lowest level of consideration I have. In other words, if, if let's just say a graphic mod were to slow down the rate at which I'm able to travel because you fall through the world or whatever problems might happen, I would be, um, I will always prioritize. Um, so do you stream both platforms? Yes. Yes, I stream on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously using a, uh, a restreaming service. Oh boy. Let's see. Superior provisions. Gonna check that area out. Hold on. Straightforward manner. No big deal. Yes. But the biggest reason I don't use. Um, what do you call it? Um. The biggest reason I don't use Dream is because I have mods that add new content. And that new content would not be um, using Dream's art style. So there would be an inconsistent art style between objects. Yes. Okay. John, I have a, I have a special move to show you. Check, check this shit out. Watch. Okay. That's, uh, that's my approach. Okay. Let's get going. So, ahem. No, no, no. Graphics really don't matter. As in, I play text based games. Seriously. Like, I really um, prioritize gameplay. Yes. True. Mud streams. I did that before. Yeah, we were we were playing Sanctuary RPG. I can I can do that right now. You said graphics matter. Let's uh, let's let's pull up the stream real quick of uh, Sanctuary RPG. I got it right here under my videos, live, and then uh, one of the best ones. Here, hold on. Do, 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 do. There we go. Sanctuary RPG Black. Let's go for the third one there. Uh, here you go. And th this is an example of one of the other games I play. Uh, here we go. Hold on. It was just a crafting ingredient. Here. Hey. Yeah. So yeah, we anyway. go go back a little bit. Yeah, it, it used to be normal yeah. memes. Right. I mean, that thing looks um, great. Intelligence. Uh, there you go. This you is bet. this is a level up screen. Say. There we go. Uh, let, let me actually find uh, the combat. And there you go. This is combat. Say. Dig. In other words, uh, you're talking to a crazy Barrel person who doesn't have the same values as you. Damn right. And that's important to understand. Item drops. Don't want that. Thank you. I can craft better gear now. Mm. We're heading further into the old workshop. The skeleton is unaware of its surroundings. Yep. The level cap is currently 200. Have fun. 
By the way, we do 25% more damage against skeletons as a paladin. The Smite Fury, Divine Justice, Final Blast. We're gonna heal ourselves. Yeah, so, uh... Yep, yep. Okay, what were we saying? Uh, Sanctuary RPG, though. Like, uh, Strat, if you have the opportunity to, um... To play this one, it's uh, seven dollars right now. It uh, on a Steam sale, it drops to about ninety nine cents. Yeah, how's the sound quality in the headphones? It's great when it's plugged in. It's decent when it's not, because these are Bluetooth as well. Like they plug directly into the computer and they sound great as long as they are plugged in. Yeah. But yeah, you you can get this for uh, ninety nine cents on a big Steam sale. I, I linked it in uh, in chat there, so it, it's seven uh, it's seven ninety nine right now. Um, but yeah, just just put on your wish list and wait for a Steam sale because it it gets um, what do you call it? Uh, <clears throat> yep. Let me see here. Well, oh boy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep. Anyway, uh, War Sim. I bought War Sim. I've not played it yet. It's one of the many, many games that sits in my Steam library unplayed. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. G gonna really quick go over to uh, my Steam profile, because I can. Okay, so let let's, let's look at my Steam profile, which I'm sure is completely and totally free of any degeneracy there we go okay what's my current uh what's my current games number for steam this this does not count for um this does not count for all of my physical games which i have tons of and my gog games and other things oof oof so yeah yeah i, I may have uh I may have a few Steam games that are sitting unplayed. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Just, just, a, just a teeny little backlog, yeah. Now, I absolutely do not regret, like, buy... Like, I normally don't want to buy games when they initially come out. I usually wait. Um... But as far as, um, like, Elden Ring goes, that's an example of a game I'm super happy that I just got on release. I need to go up this way. There's a path over here. Yeah. I need to make a turn immediately. So, yes. <laughs> it's uh, pretty funny. Is it KDE Desktop? Uh, yes. Yeah, I run... Uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, let me see here. Chase. Okay. Uh, um, let me pull up the desktop for you. There it is. KD Neon. K uh, K for those who don't know, uh, the Steam Deck runs uh, KD Plasma, which is the, um, you know, it's the same desktop environment. It's just that uh, I'm running Ubuntu long-term support underneath it. It's kind of like a rolling release update kind of deal there. Yeah. Okay. So. Doo -doo -doo -doo, what else we got? Yeah, that Kingmaker trailer looked a lot like... Um, like someone was aping Evil Dead. And I don't know what to think about it. Good, bad, or otherwise. Yep. Let me see here. We're going to go check out the shops in this local town. Then we're going to move on. I can teleport back to the, uh, what do you call it, to the Fighters Guild, where I picked up the quest from, so I don't have to worry too much uh, about uh, any issues. Let me see here. So there's two, there's bargain equipment, which is up, laid out and practical. A shame. Don't think I want anything here, because, yeah, they'll, they'll charge it. Really? A golden brazier. Uh, golden spiked brazier. That's pretty funny. Oh, that okay. I'm buying that that dress. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. Do not dislike that. That is absolutely perfect. Yes, li like the dress a lot. What else we get? 
Uh, don't need red sandals, but I would like... Let's see if they've got anything else. I guess it's the shoes will do if we uh, equip those. Yeah, there you go. For now. Let's check... Uh, oh. I forgot that I can peek through the door, uh, like the door frame. Like you, you kind of like look at the crack in the door, and you can like peek through that. If I remember correctly, like there's, there's a way to do it. It's like forgot exactly how you you do it. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's see. Mm hmm. The worst parts of Daggerfall and Marwin for you are when you get to the high level too fast and it gets boring. I understand that. I really do. Okay. Let's see. All right. We, we got everything we needed. That is awesome. Uh, we got an extra cloak. You will need to put on a second cloak so we don't freeze, but that's neither here nor there. Where's the second cloak anyway? There it is. Formal cloak. That's good. Put on the... Yeah, that's pretty... That's really fancy. The cloaks clipping through each other is kind of weird, but hey. Trying to see what... Or, or There you go. That's that's it right there. That is fancy. Mm -hmm. You spaced out your Marwin playing so that there's uh, new content for you to discover and play. I, I was going to say, um, Tamriel Rebuilt has been doing wonderfully. Like, Every few months, I'll do a new playthrough, and there's always something new to go check out. Okay. We're going to take the dirt road. Dirt path, go. We're going to play the Elden Ring DLC when it comes out. I don't know if I'm going to play it right when it comes out, but pretty soon after its release. Yeah. I'm, um... I really love the original... Um, what do you call it? Uh, whoop, the Weeping Martyr of Kinnereth. This is... Oh, it's a Kinnereth temple. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I beat Marwyn twice. Uh, I, I played it entirely vanilla the first time. Then I got a silly little cloak mod. Yeah, I got my, got my character a cape. And um, played it vanilla the second time. And then I'm, uh, what do you call it? Afterward, I did some silly things. Let me see. What's my character? Okay, it looks like we have, uh, we need to eat. That explains everything. Horse! No, eat. Meat and, yeah. Meat and meat. Good. Uh, I played a little bit of Arcanum. Arcanum's another game where I need to actually play it all the way through someday. I think um, one of the newer, uh, not newer, but newer than Arcanum anyway, is, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, I, I need to finish, what, what is that, dan that, that action RPG, uh, Grim Dawn. I need to do a new Grim Dawn playthrough and actually finish it. Because, like, Grim Dawn was enjoyable. Silver Castle. Let's find out where um, Brazinia wants us. M Miss Magnuson. She wants me to go to the Pig and Skull in the Pig and Skull pub. I see. Where is the Pig and Skull? Maybe I can go there along the way. Let's, let's find out if it's along the way to my dungeon. Pig and Skull. Oh, yeah. That's along the way. Hell, yeah. Let's, uh... Yeah, it's, it's right down that way. So we just need to start heading south at the next major juncture. It's gonna go east along the road and then uh, as soon as it goes down south, I'll head there. Let's save the game first. Yeah. I remember, yeah, you mentioned Titan's Quest. I'm just thinking about how this one uh, uh, like, this one guy I know is, like, super obsessed, um, with, um, Titan's Quest 2 potentially coming out someday, and I'm like, but the original team who made it's gone, so, unless you're very, very, very confident in the people who are making it right now, 
Uh, it's best not to get excited. And uh, they can't help themselves. And, you know, they're, they're going to consume with two O's. Most likely. Ahem. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. It's kind of like uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Um, wait, wait, you said Tencent owns 20% of FromSoft, so you expect microtransactions? I think that Tencent, oh God, what we got? Fuck, run, run. What was I saying? Um, I I expect uh, Elden Ring mobile game. That's what I expect. I expect Elden Ring mobile game. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, Yarp. Here we go. You gotta be careful. These these are the guys who want to kill me, and I want them dead. Are you after me? Are, are you after me? Are, are, are you are you friend? Okay, I'm assuming this guy's uh, bad, so. Got him. You guys after me too? Or are you guys friendly? You, you guys are friendly, okay. Just kind of concerned there for a second. My silver staff? Yeah. Oh, jeez, look at the steel curious. It's amazing. Yes, Elden Ring Mobile is in the works, correct. I freaking love that one. It, uh, look look at this. It has frills, which means if we get a dress, the dress will spill out from underneath the steel cuirass. That is a glorious design. I freaking love it. Yeah. Amazing. Let's go talk to these people. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Info. You're a healthy knight. I wanted to talk to you, but you guys don't want to talk to me. That's fine. Okay. Um, no, I'm not posting my Daggerfall folder anywhere. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to do this here. We're traveling. Okay. Gotta figure out where we're going next. Everything looks better in red. Something like that, yes. And get fishnets. Uh yeah, but they wouldn't they wouldn't synergize well. I don't think so anyway. Okay. We're going south. We're following the road south. Let's do it. We can definitely get fish nets, but um, they wouldn't uh, synergize in the right way. Yep. The burning rebirth of Kinnereth. Everything is Kinnereth here. You think that Lawrence Schick is going to come and uh, sacrifice a mud crab? Okay. It's getting dark. We're probably going to have to sleep outside again. Not keen on that, so. Let's figure out where this road leads. Looks like we can go uh, this way. And then, yeah. N uh, that leads north. Okay. No, we, we gotta go south, it looks like. S southwest? Yeah. Southwest. Let's go. Mm hmm. Radio. Just following this dirt track. I see. We're going east. Through the night. Through the darkness. How are we doing? Uh, hold on. Uh, it says... We're healthy. Okay. I want to know if we were, like, freezing or something. And it's like, no, you're healthy. You're fine. I'm like, are you sure? Are you absolutely certain we're not going to freeze to death? Mm hmm. Okay. Good, good, good. That is a windmill. 
Grainsley Farmstead. Pretty sure um, farmsteads don't do a whole lot. This residence is locked. Interesting. Hmm. Let's try to steal our way in. Does not unlock. Yeah, if we try to steal our way in a second time, we'll get halt. Halt, halt. We don't want that to happen. <clears throat> it looks like my casual cloak offers little warmth. Water to drink, rations to keep me from starving. So I need to eat. I need to eat some food. Uh, let's have some meat. Not hungry enough. We can have some bread then. Um, we need a second formal cloak. That would have more uh, warmth. We'll go ahead and throw um, throw this robe on as well. Uh, equip the robe, yes. Just so we're extra protected, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and save Yarp, and then we'll go. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. When you learned Marwind had crossbows and Oblivion did it, uh, didn't you had to <laughs> get your hands on it? They sucked. Uh, well, I mean, they don't, they're not too bad if you're playing a wood elf with um, the, uh, what do you call it, the lover. Turns out uh, archery's pretty damn good then. But uh, yeah, I get what you mean. Do, 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 do. Mm hmm. We're here. More importantly, we can go to a tavern and sleep for the night. We don't have to camp out. That's awesome. That's the. Looks like the king's trading post is still open, even late at night. That's crazy. It's a practical, straightforward area. Looking at what's available. It's a green skirt. Looks pretty nice, but I don't need it. What else? I'm looking for a cat. Uh, not a casual. Um, looking for a heavy robe. By the way, this is a Khajiit suit. Right there. Khajiit suit is uh, a cat suit. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Going upstairs. See what the back stock is. Nothing. There's a whole lot of nothing here. This store was terrible. I was looking for a better cloak, something we could travel through the night in. But uh, alas, they're all terrible cloaks. Speaking of which, let's try to use the armorer hammer. Looks like we can repair our steel cuirass. Hell yeah. Awesome. Try again. Good. Looks like we can fin yeah, it looks like we can repair all our stuff using this. That's pretty neat. The hammer itself is doing pretty yeah, it hasn't broken yet. So all our steel stuff is nice and repaired. That's good. These jewelers, pliers can repair chain. Let me see. The whetstone is for the elven claymore. If we repair the elven claymore. Guards are being robbed! What? Um, what do you mean we're being robbed? Uh, you are under arrest for breaking and entering. Do you wish to bribe the guard? Yes. The guard is not interested in further attempts at to conversation. Hold! What? Hold! My bad. My bad. Hold! Uh, you are accused of the crime of breaking and entering. If you plead not guilty, you will, you will face the, the charge, yeah, uh, 122 gold pieces and 56 days in prison. A guilty plea will invoke the mercy of the court. I'm not guilty. I, uh, how will you convince the court? I wish to debate my case. You have been found guilty, fuck. I like how there's an Argonian prisoner here. That's pretty funny. Uh, okay. Good news, everybody. I am reloading the goddamn game. Because apparently the shop closed while I was there. And uh, that, that didn't turn out so well. I managed to crash the game somehow. I don't know how I managed to do that. 
Um, that that is my superior prowess. Uh, right there. Uh, let's see. What do we got? There we go. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Yes. That Argonian will never make it out. Yes. Yes, yes. Why debate when you can just turn back time? Well, I mean, yeah. But, um, I was hoping to win. Okay. Yep, I was a customer. Closing time. One last call for alcohol. So finish your whiskey or beer. What? Uh, yeah, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Something like that. I have no idea. Okay. What you do? So, when we get to the dungeon, we'll get to fight swarms. Swarms of enemies. It's going to be great. That's why I'm trying to get to my destination as quickly as possible. Alright. The town is this way. We head to the town. We settle in for the night. Yes. This is how fast the horse goes, by the way. For those who don't know, this is the horse's speed. I'm not joking about that. See, this is time dilation. Time dilation is amazing. Yep. Okay. Cross that bridge. We're going to the tavern. Okay. Rather than going into the different, uh, yeah. Rubbing your hands together, the fireplace, you almost start to feel warm. Great. Hello, sir. I need a room for the night. Thank you. 27 gold pieces. Sure. Give me, uh, yes. I'm not using World of Daggerfall. I'm using World of Daggerfall. It just doesn't seem to be, uh, present. We'll see. We'll see. Hello there. Yes. Definitely have it installed. Don't know. Seems off. Alright. So, we're gonna take a, a, an eight hour nap. We're gonna stop for a second. And we're gonna cast light. And then rest until fully healed. Should be fine. What time is it now? 3 a.m. Let me let me see if if it's on not on the mod list. I'll fix it. Let me look. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm curious enough. Huh. Uh, it's there. I looked. I I looked. It was there. So I don't know what to say. It's morning. We're going. We don't have any time to waste. I have a candle floating in front of me. Sir, I need... I, the kitchen's closed for the night, but it's 3 a.m. Why wouldn't the kitchen be open for breakfast at 3 a.m.? Okay. Two-hour nap. Got it. Let's go. C come on, kitchen. Be open. Give me food. Sorry, breakfast starts at dawn. So another hour then. Damn. Yes. Another hour. Okay. Well, hopefully we should be good to go now. Maybe. Possibly. Hello. Food. Bread and cheese. Drinks. Give me some herbal tea. We are invigorated. Damn right. Okay. Well, we should be good to go. I'm going to go check the uh, different stores real quick now that I won't be put in prison for, uh, yeah, going to the King's Trading Post. Uh, pr yeah, that, that purple cloak isn't what we need, unfortunately. That's not going to be, uh, not going to serve us in the way I want. I am going to do I have a day gown already? Let's find out. The answer is... 
No, I do not have a day gown. So I'm gonna need to pick up a day gown. I don't think I'll get one my color, unfortunately. But yeah, it's, it's, it's worth doing. Let's pick up that day gown right now. Hell yeah. Look at that. The way the frills in the dress um, like come out of the uh, frills in the metal. That is amazing. Freaking love it. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's my favorite uh, chess piece type. Rusty Relics. This is a, uh, a cheap old uh, place. Gonna say. We can uh, get free bandages here. Yeah, anytime we find a uh, an old rusty relics location, it's like free bandages. Hell yeah. What else? Boots. Don't care. Nope, but that won't get you. Oh no, the snow has clipped into the building. That's funny. Uh, ha 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 ha. I just, yeah, I saw this lovely young lady there. I see. I see. More bandages. That's good. I'm not seeing any heavy cloaks, though. I was trying to find uh, heavy cloaks. Let's see. Any new mods? Lots. Tons. Yes. Let's see. No, I, I don't see any heavy cloaks at all. This place sucks. That's unfortunate. Let's go. All right. Let's put on our uh, other equipment. I think that'll do it. Awesome. And yeah, that, that should do it. Okay. We're gonna... You don't own a wagon? What are you talking about? Of course I own a wagon. <clears throat> Chain helmet. I don't care about any of that. We should be a okay. We're gonna have a. Yeah, we don't need to eat anything. We just need to get out of here. Where the hell am I going? Uh, down southeast. Okay, yeah. Southeast is the direction we need to go. Cool. Hey, yep, yep. We're traveling. We're gonna make uh, yeah. Uh, gonna say we're heading to the big city probably nothing to do there maybe get a fighters guild quest for the day or something not sure mostly we just need to start heading toward the dungeon so I guess we'll just ride on past the town and to think of it east always to the east um, south will take us to the city it's the name of the city anyway Midbury. Freaking love Midbury. You walk through the gates of Midbury. Uh, everything seems quiet. Northmoor is being hunted down. Really? You're kidding me. Like, the Northmoor... Uh, yeah. Any person from Northmoor will be persecuted to the full, full extent of the law. Holy crap. My goodness. That is... Hilarious. Okay, I don't need anything in Midbury, so we're just gonna kind of go through the town on our way out. Yep. There's the palace. I don't need to talk to anyone there. I just need to get on through. Uh, um, let me see here. Let me, uh, we were, go we were going southeast, but let me, wait, what the hell? Dialogue notes there. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's what I was seeing. I was getting confused there. Active quests. Let's see. I need to check the note. Give me a sec. Where's the note? My goodness. Um, <clears throat> the note says the Pig and Skull Tavern. Where in relation to that are we? Pig and Skull. Um, okay, so... We're, we are here. Pig and Skull is down there. So we need to continue southeast, in other words. Yeah. 
So we're gonna just go south right now. Mm hmm. You wish they made newer uh, uh, version with HD sprites. There is a new. There, there are HD sprites. You can go get the Dream mod if HD sprites are what you want. There, they look a little bit watercolory, a little smudgy, but uh, it's a different art style. Not, not the same. I, uh, I will probably continue using the traditional art style mostly because I have content mods that add n new stuff. And the new stuff wouldn't be in the um, in the style of the new sprites. So I would prefer to just keep it all pretty consistent. Let me say here. If I have to choose between more content and a graphical upgrade, I'm always going to choose more content. Always, always, always. Graphics do not matter that much. Alright. I think that's the exit. Do, do, do. Gonna say. Um, yeah, there's the exit that way. When was the last time you went back and played Arena? I don't know, like two years ago. Not great. Honestly, the uh, the controls make me want to uh, die. Close the game. Open something else up. Oh, oh. We're heading out the gates in just a second. Yeah, these signs are like, any person from Northmore will be persecuted. Like, why? Because you came from Northmore? The traitors to the crown! I'm like, damn, you guys are crazy. We're going south. Mm -hmm. Save before we continue. Wave, hey. Yep, yep. Yep, a lot of loot and possible travel through, yes. I'm looking forward to the year that the, uh, Look how open Tess Arena gets finished. Yes. Dude, will there be Arena Unity? Never. No one in their right mind is going to make a, a a new thing in Unity. They'll use Godot or some other engine. Yep. Do you think an indie studio might be able to create a Daggerfall-like game? I mean, they're trying to with Wayward Realms. Like... It's possible they'll be successful. It'll take a number of years before anything comes out, though. But, uh... I mean, it's in production. Currently, though, there's... One, uh... Why wouldn't they make a new thing in Unity? Because Unity is bad. Everyone knows Unity is bad. Unity themselves have, uh, done bad things. And are, uh... Not good. They they are unreliable as a company. And they are trying to figure out ways to over-monetize. So people are jumping ship from Unity left and right. Unity is a sinking ship. In terms of the company. Yes. Do, 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 do. Have I played uh, uh, the new Cyberpunk DLC? No. I haven't played Cyberpunk yet. Yes. Rent-seeking behavior, yes. Well, the problem is the company needs to make more money. Um, that, um... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll get a, a direct donations thing up for the next stream. Um, mostly it's just YouTube right now. YouTube or Twitch, but uh, I'll, I'll get something up. Let's see here. Um, uh, let me check something. Are the headphones enchanted? Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, 
let me check something. Someone asked about it. I think I might have a shenanigan here. But look. Uh, ba -ba -ba. No. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, um. But yeah. Said Unity CEO is an EA exec who uh, wants to make him pay to reload. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. The point is that they are they are well on their way to uh, tanking the company. Uh, how difficult is the old meaner monsters mod? It's a little more difficult. Um, definitely not something you want to do without an optimal build. Um, but the the new one is uh, well. I haven't done anything extreme yet, so we'll find out very soon. We may die a horrible death. Who knows? I, I can't tell you how the how Muex is going to uh, uh, work. Uh, so it's the the pig, the pig and skull. Okay, pig and skull. Yes. So it's down here. Hmm. The best way to get there is going east, and yeah, I see, I see, so it's, yeah, east. Good, good. Our goal is to reach the, um, what do you call it, the, the, the tavern there. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh... I don't know acronyms. Sorry, Tank. Acronyms uh, uh, are something you need to avoid using if you want a proper response from me. Okay. The stomach rumbles. We must eat. We must eat the... Uh, the yeah. Eat the meat. No bread for us. That's fine. <clears throat> patch for purist should be at the very top. Optimization patch should be next. Plugins net naturalized should be after that. Yeah. We go this way. We're still heading down south. Our goal is to uh, talk to Lady Brazinia uh, about the uh, whole uh, main quest shenanigan. Then we're gonna peel over. What happens if you eat the old bread? Wait, it, where's where's the, the it, where's the bread that's old? This is regular bread. We're not hungry enough. Is uh, it, it, sometimes there's rotten bread, like really really bad bread, but we don't have to worry about that. I mean, you can get stomach rot. It's a disease that'll slowly lower your max health. But, uh... It's not that big a deal. Um, you can get it cured pretty easily. It also won't murder you during travel. The Queen's Dog. What a place. Oh, Incunabula. I think that's a bookshop. Yeah, it's a bookshop. Okay. Well, we're just going to go south through the town. No big deal. But yeah, it doesn't do a whole... Like, stomach rot won't kill you like the other diseases will. The plague will reduce your max health and all your stats progressively. And over, like, a couple weeks will just murder you. You will die. And that'll be it. Uh, let me uh, see here. Asked about a thing. Hmm. No. Nothing I have to worry about. Okay. Closing that up. We're back. Further south. What the heck is this? Did what if Weird Realms hires Jeremy Soul? I don't know. Interesting. Look at these guys. Hello there. The Argonian man ain't talking to me. 
What a shame. Probably a language barrier. Alright. Mm -hmm. What's that sign say? Bulletin board. Cromwell! Yes, yes, yes. He was, uh... He was saying anyone from Northmoor get, get fucked. Uh, yeah. We, we continue down south, then we go across to the Pig and Skull. We're almost there. Hopefully I don't get waylaid by bandits again, but that might happen. Who really knows? It's, uh... We aren't anywhere near our ultimate destination, but we're dipping down to get the main quest. He said, uh, Joe's asking any new mods. Lots. Tons. Muix is not the old meaner monsters, for example. It's something completely different. It's, it's still called meaner monsters, but, uh, it's Muix. You'll find out why when you check the mod list. Oh boy. Let's go. Uh, pause for just a second. Save the game. Continue. I do that all the time. Because I don't want to die. We've arrived at a junction. We're going east. Yep. Always to the east. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, this should be the world of Daggerfall. Um, I just haven't seen any uh, large uh, signs, you know, like giant uh, hills or whatever. Kind of strange. Feels, uh... Well, what's this? W worried uh, youth approaches you. Excuse me. A bit of a problem in our tavern. Some barbarian is making a mess. Could you pit, uh, pitch out? Yeah, pitch this fellow out? Sure. All right. I thought no one would help us. Head over to the Devil's Priest to the southeast. That bipedal monster's inside. Oof. The Devil... We have to go to the Devil's Priest. And we gotta kick out a barbarian. They, they saw me ride in. And they said, This looks like someone who can kick out a barbarian. You know? Okay. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Save here. Uh, okay, so... Ahem. Am I... Hmm. Let me check this. I need to fix this up. Uh, hit, hit some buttons. Okay. Should do it. So, yeah. Um, am I a fan of... Uh, of tabletop? Hmm. Mm. Nah, yeah. I'd say so. Kinda. So even though the world is huge, you can select anywhere you know about in the map and instantly fast travel there. This gets you right to the fun. Fast travel. Fast. Alright. Let's see what else we got. Checking a couple more things. Hmm. Not a huge deal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, skill check failed streetwise. The buffoon is not hard to find. However, no amount of talking will help alleviate the situation. Your attempts only provoke the fool and anger. Soon his weapon is drawn. Uh, pleasant day in winter. Oh, boy. Excuse me, Mr. Barbarian. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow, you're not worth it anyway. The barbarian storms out. Worthless city guard, ain't they? Makes us talk about withholding our taxes. Hey, this is yours. Bam. Money. 
cool. So yeah, the, the, the town guard did nothing to stop that man. Nuts. We saved him, though. Doo -doo. Uh, UES RPG, unofficial Elder Scrolls role-playing game, is the best you're going to get. The official content is um, not great. Let's put it like that. Okay, let's get back on our horse. Very good. This way. Yeah, I'm probably just going to use, like, I normally build my mod uh, loadouts myself or with the help of somebody else. I usually, you know, assemble them. I think I'm going to probably uh, make an exception. I'm probably going to, um, uh, like, for Oblivion, going to get, like, a, a loadout. Get, give me a second. I'm going to poke at something. Um, I'm still here, but uh, give me a sec. Um... I'm probably going to make an exception and just get like a pre-made loadout online. It's, uh, it's not something I normally do, but um, Oblivion is such a pain in the ass that I'm just looking at it going like, there, there's just, uh, I can't, I can't even, you know, uh, try to assemble another loadout and have it be, uh, well, garbage due to uh, how Oblivion operates most of the time. Unfortunate. But tis, tis what it is, you know? Um, let me see here. Is it, it, I, I only play Daggerfall Unity. I'll never be playing the original Daggerfall again, most likely. That's, that's just the reality of it. Yeah. Ahem. <clears throat> I, I really like putting my mod loadouts together a lot. But uh, for one reason or another, I just cannot, cannot be asked to do, um, uh, to do Oblivion um, again. It is just so much of a pain. That's the best way to put it. Okay. Anyway. Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna move some stuff around. So, someone asked me a question. I have to, and I have to help them out really quick. And then we can get back to the video game. Okay, I, th I think uh, I think we're good. Give me a sec. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, Ken Ralston did a good job on. Um, on Morrowind, but um, he was hands off for Oblivion, like really hands off. Just let people do what they wanted. He he did not embrace the creative lead too much. Do mm -hmm. you do manual setup for your mods? Yeah, I I, I manually um, set up my um, my Daggerfall loadouts for oh, um. What do you call it? Um, for Oblivion um, or Skyrim, I would use uh, Mod Organizer too. But that's a different matter. Hold on. This is a rusty relic store. It means we can get stuff on the cheap. Like th these bandages we get for free. Like literally, the, the, uh, the rusty relic store always gives you bandages for free. Which is great. Anytime I find one, uh, immediately. I'm looking for heavy cloaks. Uh, if they have any. I'm, I'm finding light cloaks, unfortunately. Like, this is a light cloak there. Not quite what I was looking for. Let's go upstairs. Mm, nope. No cloaks at all, basically. Unfortunate. As Kevin Sorbo would say, disappointed. For Daggerfall, I straight up do a new install with a new run, new folder, and everything. Well, yeah, because... Here, I'll, I'll show you what my Daggerfall folder... My, uh... uh good call it. Okay, it's Games and Test 2 Daggerfall. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um... Maybe. Maybe. I, I messed something up. 
by games. Uh, test to Daggerfall. And I'll just pull it up here. Okay, so here's what my um, my test to Daggerfall folder looks like. You'll notice that there's uh, Daggerfall Unity 0 0.45. Then there's Daggerfall Unity 1.0. This is the one we're using. This is Daggerfall Unity 1.0 BK1, which is backup before I installed any mods. And this is Daggerfall Unity uh, BK2, which is when I tried to use the Japanese cartoon loadout and it, the, 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 the weeb loadout and it looked horrible. It was awful on like several levels, not just the nudity, but um, like the the artistic style and the clipping and everything it was it's just a horrible horrible loadout um and i i despised it so uh it it did not get created sadly all right let's see yeah oblivion crashes way too much you've used the wee loadout and it's rough yeah that's what i'm saying though i i can't i can't do that Nudity, where Daggerfall is full of nudity. Like, vanilla Daggerfall is full of nudity, but, uh, they, um, they very much, the, the wee bloatout just says, oh, hey, let's, let's detail those genitalia. Like, oh, I see. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, vanilla Daggerfall has boobies. All right. Okay. First uh, Daggerfall mod setup. I mean, you to be fair, you don't really no, I don't I don't use any graphics mods. There are a lot of other people who do. Actually, I the, the graphics mod I'm using is the Skybox. The Skybox is a graphics mod. But nothing else. There, there are tons of graphics mods. If you are interested in graphics, um Go check out Dream by King of Worms. All kinds of good stuff there. Yeah. Not for me, but it is good. If that's your concern. Uh, b -b 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 let's see here. You said H Doom. Well, I mean, we have the uh, the Red Lantern Guild, which is um, yeah special. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a lake don't recognize this type of town the pagans this is the pig and skull cool yeah th th this is where we need to go okay where's our friend ah Alona I am uh, lady Brazini I uh, heard about the accent sea fared the worst I uh, am glad you're alive and well I'd like the opportunity to discuss um, our beloved Emperor's mission, the Iliac Bay. Let me bring you to date on affairs. The spectacle, the, sorry, the specter of King Lysandus haunts the streets of Daggerfall at night. By the way, he really does now. I'm serious. Like, he actually does. Like, that, that you, we, we can actually find King Lysandus as like a boss battle in Daggerfall if we go there. Ahem. <clears throat> Trying to communicate with him is futile. He will occasionally moan the word, Vengeance! But that's the only coherent word I've heard him utter. Um, if you are in Daggerfall, do not wander the city at night. You are certain to be attacked by his legion of ghosts. It would uh, probably be more gainful to investigate who may have wronged Lysandus in the past. Um, I do not know if the fam royal family of Daggerfall or some other persons merit more suspicion. The major powers of the Iliac Bay, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall are a good place to start. Continued. Uh, as for the matter of the letter, uh, the Emperor's agent was unable to hand deliver it to the Queen because of the war. He hired a courier who was supposed to deliver it, and instead we don't even know the name of the courier. Obviously, the information would be of little use, uh, but it'd be worthwhile to see whether the uh, letter arrived at Castle Daggerfall at all. How you decide to do this is entirely at your discretion. I will contact you if any new information should surface. Uh, I am leaving Daggerfall soon. My position here has been compromised and my life is in danger. Uh, do not mention my name at court. It is more likely to harm than help. Watch your back. That There she is. Pixel. Pixel lady. 
Yes. I got distracted because it's like the, the world. Oh God, look at look at that building. It's cl clipping. Can't see that that way. Yes. Do, 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 do. Anyway, anything else? No, I can't talk to her anymore. That's fine. In all her glory, yes, exactly. All right, we're ready to go. My trusty steed, when are I are? Very important. Okay. Uh, we can now travel. Uh, yeah, guild for fights. Uh, sorry. Uh, the main quest, con. Oops. Con. Tin. Uh, you. Good. That should do it. Let's go. Um, we are going to head down into Whitewood Borough, but our main goal is to get over here to this side where the community of Vanusa. That is, if we traveled directly, it'd take 55 hours to get there. But uh, we're going to be very casually heading on over there through other shenanigans. So, yeah. We're going to head east. Uh, and there we go. Mm hmm. Good, good. We got some things to do. Medieval travel sim? You can do that. I mean, I'm certainly doing that a lot myself. I and the temperature shifted. Fuck. Hold on. We need to stop. We need to wear cloaks. My casual cloak. Um. Yeah, the temperature shifted, so we need to be careful. We're going to put on our, um, whatchamacallit, our heavy cloak as well. Formal cloak. Yes. There we go. That should do it. We should be A-okay. Yeah. Let me stop for a moment. Check everything out. Uh, we, we need to eat. Let's have that uh, smelly meat and that cooked fish. We'll have bread later. Still have that sursum. That's a drug. You don't own a wagon. Fuck. I go back. I might have to sleep in the inn after all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. I hitched my wagon. Don't know why my wagon got left behind there when I took a break. Hold on. What was that? I saw something. Must have been my imagination. Okay. Let's stop for a moment. Yeah, we still have the wagon. We're good. Good, 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 good. Do, do, do. Are you planning long through, uh, uh, long form playthroughs? I mean, you, you've seen my, um, um, uh, Whispers and Shadow? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long we'll play this, but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the mod loadout thus far, so I'm not really complaining. Okay, this is west. This is where we left off. Yeah, we, we gotta go take a nap. We're gonna, we're gonna go sleep in the tavern for tonight. We'll be back later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, room for the night. Thank you. 13 gold. That's fine. I'm out. I'm out. I like how she's still here. I just need to, uh... jeez, where's the beds? Okay, there's a bed, there's another bed. Is that it, and this looks like a coat closet? Yeah, that's like a closet, okay. Must have been the wind. Must have been my imagination. Okay, uh, before we go, let's cast a bunch of light spells. And then maybe some stamina. That should do it. Rest until fully healed. No problem. It's still 1 a.m., so we're going to cast some more stamina. Rest a bit. 5 a.m. We can go now. Uh, you stifle a yawn. Yes. Uh, breakfast starts at dawn. Just give me, um, give me some spruce tea. And, uh... Any advice for making your own games? Oh, easy, easy. So, um, don't try to make your dream game first. 
make, um, like, go look up, uh, guides, look up, uh, resources, um, any kind of, you know, like, free, free assets, whatever. Um, what I'm trying to say is make little games first. Yes, make something, make something that works. That's what we're trying to say, what I'm trying to say is make, uh, like, practice first. In other words, try to make something that's fun and small and simple. And if you can then leverage those skills that you built up, making the, that, that little game that works um, to make something bigger and better, you're going to appreciate that more. Uh, like, at the end of the day, you're not going to get bogged down in something that, that, that you know, is um, an unobtainable dream, as it were. That, that you said, yeah. You said, uh, work on something that, yeah. It, basically. Just, um... You said, earn some money first. Well, yes, of course. But no, what I'm trying to say is, like, make make some fun little games first. Like, don't be overly ambitious. Just make something that works. And then for your second or third game, consider, you know, then you can consider your quote-unquote dream game, as it were. But uh, don't, try, don't try to make it uh, first, because whatever you make first is going to be shit. And you're going to hate it eventually, probably. That's just the reality of it. You know, you're think of it as skill building, right? That that's that's my advice. Yes. All right. ZDL guide. You mean modding Doom? That's a very good question. All right. Do, 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 do. The first one has to be shit or you'll never learn. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Notch. Uh, Minecraft was not Notch's first game. Alright. Let me see here. Picking a couple more things. How am I doing? Doing alright. Uh, I lost most of yesterday due to uh, real life shenanigans. And so, kind of a weird place. Like I'm, I'm playing Daggerfall instead of Baldur's Gate, even though I wanted to play Baldur's Gate today. Um, I wanted to play Daggerfall yesterday. So yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Let me see here. We're traveling. Why not play Baldur's Gate today? Because I wanted to get the Daggerfall run started. That's why. Yes. Or half and half? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna go take a nap when I'm done with this. That's for sure. Okay. Yes, this is a brand new character. Yep. It's only been 4.5 hours. Yeah, it's almost like all of yesterday got consumed and I didn't sleep. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's see here. I even consider uh, Baldur's Gate when you have Daggerfall in the first place. I like them both, and I want to play. I want to play old Baldur's Gate one, uh, Siege of Beam Dog. Um, what do you call it? A Siege of Beam Dog fan fiction, and Baldur's Gate two. I want to play all three of the uh, all three of those little games, and then uh, by then Baldur's Gate three will have been uh, updated, and uh, yeah, exactly. Yes, Siege of. Um, uh, Siege of Beam Dog fan fiction. Correct. You, 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 dr uh, D R A G O N S P A R. Uh, that, that's how you spell uh, Beam Dog fan fiction. All right. Let me see here. Where are we going? 
We need to go. We need to go up. We need to go north. Yeah, north east there. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba. have you heard of the Wayward Realms? Uh, yes. And uh, while I am not, I'm not allowed to talk about it outside of what they've released. Um, I will say that I am super um, excited for uh, what will eventually get made. Yes. Bup, 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 bup. Okay. Let me see here. Why aren't you allow not allowed? I signed a non-disclosure agreement. Yes. I, I told everyone that. You're just you're the only one who doesn't know. Okay, moving along. Okay. Let's go this way. I can tell you that I'm excited for it. That's all I can tell you. Yes. Okay. Let me see here. This way. <laughs> yes, but we're just poking fun. Don't worry about it. The dog, uh, dog of days, winter's here. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh wow, this formal brazier has is like a Daedric quality. It's red spikes. I'm buying that right now. Hell yeah, that's glorious. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at the look at those red spikes on that formal brazier. That's incredible. Now. Um, Let's see what else. Ah, nothing we have to worry about. Yes, the spiked bra. Correct. Daedric quality. Little boy. Why so tanned? I know. The face definitely doesn't uh, match. I'm peeking in through the uh, through the keyhole. You can see this guy there. Crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. Mm-hmm. You have my bandages? That's five gold. I don't think so. Yes! A yellow formal cloak. I hate this. I'm buying it, though, because I needed two formal cloaks. Yes. Didn't look like he was writing with a quill. <laughs> yeah. Definitely looked a little bit different there. To quote Bender. Hey, baby. Want to kill all humans? Alright. Let's get going. So. Equip everything. We need to put on the dress. Then we need to put on the uh, other cloak uh let's see here yeah the yellow cloak is not great but uh screw it we got two heavy cloaks now uh let's use our sewing kit uh, let's see hmm gonna try to uh repair the camping equipment let's see Sew together some loose seams in your camping equipment. Interesting. How's my camping equipment even doing? It's worn. It's on, it's on the verge of breaking. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. So we're just really quick uh, getting our camping equipment repaired. Yeah, our basic camping equipment was almost busted. So I uh, used up a lot of my fatigue uh, fixing that. It's no big deal. Actually, let's see what this one's like. Okay, this one is incense. Uh, th this shop is, like, the highest quality, most expensive shit, so I'm not getting involved in that. And this one is laid out and practical. I don't want any of these. I'm getting out of here. 
Horseman, lead me. So, let's go. Let's go ahead and save here. And we are, no, we're not going west, we're going east. My bad. We can travel, no problem. Yep. I uh, made sure the mod list there. Can actually saddle horses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Plate trousers and the dress are cool. They actually go over the uh, the clothing there. Yeah. See, see, look at the name of the horse. It's it's uh, Win R A R. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, identify. See that? You see Win R A R. That's the name of the horse. And this is my my wagon here. That's my wagon. That's Win R A R. A rather eccentric preacher ambles about and shouts. Behold, we, the cult of Amber, knew this. We foretold it. Uh, far from the eyes of the courts, we preached of the Old One, the ancient spirit of tainted frost. Uh, to mortal eye, it may be an ice atronach, but it will animate the bodies of its victims. Uh, the, the, the mortal shell be attacked. The uh, cult of Amber will flee from Daggerfall. Ye who remain will be known forever as fools. May you and your posterity forever flee the uh, Shalosh Web. You hear idle chatter about the Shalosh Web location. You mark it down your map. You decide in case you decide to investigate the old one. Yes. There you go. Okay. In case we decide to investigate the old one. Don't worry about it. Yes. Atronox aren't Daedra in this. Atronox are golems made by um made by wizards. Oh boy. That got retconned later. We're going this so He's uh, white uh, are yeah, we gotta eat something. Eat this bread. Yep. Mmm. Yes. The thing under the college. Tamwood. Very good. Investigating any dungeon in Daggerfall for fun is a bad idea. It depends on what you're trying to get, but uh, in the beginning, definitely. Some neighbors are laughing together. The dirty porcupine. All right, we've arrived at the dirty porcupine. We're gonna get some tea real quick. Hello, sir. I need some tea. G give me, give me some herbal tea. Very good. And then, uh, give me some bread and cheese as well. Some of the meal goes to waste. No big deal. We're ready to go. Wait, I thought we were ready to go. Where's my? My horsey. I went in through the... There's a different entrance, isn't there? Yes. Elder Kings. Correct. Elder Kings is a, a good time. I would uh, recommend Elder Kings or... Um, whatchamacallit? Whoops. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm looking at a thing. Okay. There we go. Cats. Yes. The wife sent me a picture of uh, the cats on top, um, on her chair. So she's on her chair, and the cats are on top of her, and so there's no, um, there's no escape. She might need help soon. Need to go east. Yep. You tried unleveled enemies, destroyed the intended balance of the game, made it almost impossible. Correct. We're using unleveled enemies right now. Absolutely. That's great. And Oliver and Mr. Sir getting along? Yes, they are cuddling. Right now. Together. Uh, here we go. Almost like in the beginning of the game, some dungeons are impossible. And it's not a good idea to, uh, 
accept quests willy-nilly that you aren't willing to fail. All right, we're not gonna actually let's yeah let's send some birds. Uh, you collect uh, the dead bird and spend some time preparing it. Cool, we got some raw meat. Very good. Uh, let's get going. Let's see. I'm gonna continue this way, but we're gonna stop for just a second. And we're going to place a camp for a moment. So use our camping kit. And then we're gonna cook that raw meat. And uh, we can go ahead. Did you pick up roadkill? No, I hunted birds. They said there were some birds, so I hunted them. Yep, yep. Okay, people assume this is procedural generation. Uh, and assume it level scales. Uh, the dungeons do scale. Um, like the, the encounters you um, attack. Um, sorry, sorry, the dungeons you go through have level brackets. Just, just the same as Morrowind has level brackets. People assume that uh, Morrowind doesn't have level scaling, and it does. It's just, um, it's a bracketed one where there's like three brackets, and uh, it depends. Anyway, let's see. But the what version I'm using does not have level brackets. The monsters I encounter will be based on the dungeon we're going to. I'm going to pack this up. Okay, we're going to eat that uh, cooked meat there. Bam. The fish is next. But uh, we need to go. It's our wagon. We go to the east. Save first. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Not the same way Oblivion Skyrim. Correct. But, yeah. Uh, it, well, what happens is Oblivion and Skyrim have, like, every two levels there's a new bracket. Whereas Morrowind has three brackets total. Like, uh, normal, uh, diseased, and blighted. Where, you know, like, there's a huge difference between having three brackets versus having, like, a bracket every two levels. Which is what Oblivion and Skyrim basically do. Oh, boy. This way... Distractions. Okay. We're still heading off. No big deal. Okay. Let me see. Oh, School of Juliana's cool, cool, cool. Maybe five brackets would be better, perhaps. Depends on uh, how everything's set up. Uh, Mahorsi, what happened? Let's go. Oh, jeez. Did I break it? Apparently not. This is fine. What What a weird, like, school of Julianos there. Yep. What else? The school of Julianus is up that little hill there. What a weird place for that. Doesn't matter a whole lot. Let's keep exploring. Adventures question mark. Okay. Vintage merchandise. <clears throat> when Arya refuses to go down a hill unless there's stairs, yes. I'm given a cup of cider. I'm told, check out this vintage, vintage merchandise. Those bandages especially. Ooh, those are some casual pants. Let me, let me see those. Oh, hell yeah. Those are worth grabbing. Absolutely. I'm going to show you. Ch check these out. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm... I'm, I'm yeah, these are casual pants. <laughs> Casual pants. Of course. Not those. Hold on. Yes. Mm hmm. 
You went to a channel's video because it looked like a video that had 9 million views. You wanted to see what's up. Turns out it was written by AI and acted horribly. That, that's happening more and more. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see. You found out the name of the channel is 9 million views. <laughs> oh, shit. That's pretty hilarious. Oh, my. My, my. Okay, so, yeah. This is a little ridiculous. Perfect. It only had 600 views? Yeah, it's that's special. The de dead internet theory is becoming real. Yeah, the d dead internet theory is, uh... Well, it wasn't the case until now. It's, uh, pretty damn funny. Hmm. My goodness. Everyone's a bot. Okay. Charge and powder. No valid magic items need repair. Got it. Just gonna repair all these items real quick. Yep. My uh, steel greaves are pretty damaged. I can repair my own stuff. Takes a bit. There we go. Yeah, let's equip everything. Yeah, everything's almost new. Glorious. That works. Yeah, yeah, we, we've been, um... She has a mace for a bra. Something like that, yeah. I'm on the verge of passing out because I went and repaired all my stuff. I'm gonna go uh, to a tavern and take a nap. Uh, yeah, win RER, take me there. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you're working on the ESO DLC uh, video. I look forward to seeing it. I got uh, I got a video about ESO that's going to be really short. It's mostly about, um, what do you call it? Uh, it it's mostly about uh, Lawrence Schick and not really about the... Uh, the, the game as a whole. It's going to be about uh, ZeniMax Online Studios. Gonna, just a really quick talkie video. Um, because I do owe the man an apology. He uh, He's um, much better than I gave him credit for. And I need to put that into a proper video for him, not just a live stream. Um, let me say here... What ESO lore do you think has been good? Oof. That really quick ends up being two hours. Nah. It'll probably be like half the duration of my uh, uh, my most recent video, the uh, the Morrowind Guide. It'll probably be like half that duration, probably. Uh, let's see. Peasantry, wood, uh, fighters with wooden rapiers. They don't see any experts at the craft. No, I'm not enrolling. I'm not a swordsman. Sorry. Yeah, you let the peasants have their games. <laughs> I, I love that line. Like, let the peasants have their games. We obviously aren't one of them. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Leave this behind. Oh, hello, Mr. Masterford. I'm going to rent a room for the night. And I will see you in the morning. I'm going to cast spells. Spells, I say. Starting with light and stamina. Good. Du -du -du -du. You couldn't love ESO's combat. I understand that. I, um. I'd say Orsinium is really good. Yeah, my illusion just increased. Very, very good. Um. <laughs> he assassinated a lot of characters. Vanis Galerian, my god. He, like, they built him up as such, you know, of, of this, uh, you know, the founder of the Mages Guild. And he ends up being like this. I, Vanis Galerian, will lead our forces into Cold Harbor. Yes. 
And it's just like, oh my god, stop it. Okay. Mm hmm. Let me see here. Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and cast some more uh, restoration. Stamina. That should do it. Yes. What else? It is 5 a.m. We're leaving. Larger than life uh, characters banish uh, uh, felt like too much. He should have uh, preferred him to be more scholarly. Yes. Definitely. Breakfast starts at dawn. Give me herbal tea, you bastard. When does bre okay, breakfast yeah, we're we're not we're not getting breakfast at dawn. We're grabbing our horse. We're going to switch to our brigadine. Put our cloaks on. Uh, let's actually switch this up. Let's grab that. Let's put this cloak away. Along with where's the gray one? There's the gray one. Okay, grab both of them now. Good, now they're at the end where I can find them. Let's go, we're heading east. The best part is the dungeon I go to might kick my ass. It's gonna be amazing to find out whether or not we're even capable. Let's go. Yeah, I don't mind a larger-than-life character actually rising to their station. But he was just dumb. Like, it, it, I, I feel like at times... Um... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Devaith Fear is good. Um, highly recommend checking out uh, the Fargrave DLC. You, you, I think you'll enjoy Devaith Fear there as well. Um, Stotha Sill was great in Clockwork City, not so great in, um, what do you call it, in Somerset. Let me see here. Hmm, hmm. Still looking. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know, um, like, ESO feels like it has a big anti-intellectual streak at times. Where, you know, the, the characters who should be smart turn out to be wrong. Um. Yep, yep. You never played through Tribunal in Elder Scrolls 3? It's... Kind of fun. I, mean, I'm a, I am a fan of dungeon crawling, so it was fun for me. Like, Mournhold Sewers abhorred people. They hated it. Um, in the same way that people hated the, like, subway tunnels in Fallout 3. But for me, like, all of that is dungeon crawling, you know? Um, that's just for me. Okay, foggy weather, rations. I'm gonna eat this fish. Cool. It's daytime. We're traveling. Mm hmm. Now, the subbotons in Fallout 3. Well, they see Fallout 3, 4, and uh, Starfield, I don't consider for their um, storylines. Like I don't, uh, I don't appreciate them as stories. I appreciate them as sandboxes with dungeons. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm hmm. I failed to avoid an encounter. Crap. Who? Where? I'm getting shot at. Okay, this is fine. Wait. A guard. A town guard just came up and killed the rogue for me. That's funny. 
I'll take the cloaks. I'll take the gear. Thank you. Yeah, unfortunately, after Starfield's, um, like, we, okay, first of all, we don't know how Starfield is going to be received as far as, um, like, on Microsoft's end. We don't actually know how they consider, um, Games Pass to factor into profits, right? Uh, like that they keep that data to themselves so we like we don't know whether starfield was a financial success or a financial failure it all depends like if starfield was um uh what do you call it uh if starfield's profits all 100 percent came from like the steam and console releases it is a is a gigantic failure for the fact that they employed a thousand people to make this game right so um like it comes down to whether or not starfield um whether or not starfield's games pass user base factors into how profitable they feel the game was. That's the real issue. Yes, it's it only it only sold 10 million copies. That's what we're trying to say. We're uh like you have to understand that they spent an inordinate amount of time making the game and like it it definitely doesn't look like a thousand people worked on it. Yes, but multiple studios worked on it. And uh, it's it's absolutely bonkers the amount of money that got dumped into that game, like the, it's it's the the poster child for AAA bloat in terms of uh, like how much they put into it. You said Starfield sold 10 million how across all its platforms? Yes. Yep. But uh, what I'm trying to say, like you. At the end of the day, it really comes down to um, whether or not um, Games Pass is profitable. Like, and we don't know. But what I'm trying to say is, I'm not trying to make a, an argument for whether or not uh, Starfield was profitable. We we don't know. What I'm trying to say is, what Microsoft learns from this is going to be um, a big deal, right? Because either Microsoft will say, keep doing what you're doing, guys, or they will want Bethesda to return to their roots. And I use air quotes for that because their roots mean Skyrim because Skyrim was the last big profitable game that they made um in in the elder scrolls series i mean you know um like fallout 4 was less profitable than skyrim and um you know fallout 76 was much less profitable than skyrim so um looking at uh those shenanigans we're kind of like at the end of the day they're well, I, when I say they're going back to Skyrim, I'm not saying that they're going to physically set the game in Skyrim. What I'm saying is the core systems, the story, um, like structure, the the encounter design, like all, all the things that um, like would evoke the feeling of Skyrim, but in a new location. That's ultimately what I think that... So, like, expect... Uh, if they if they quote unquote go back to Skyrim, imagine they go to Hammerfell. Well, you're going to be the ancient sword singer, uh, incarnation of the Hoon Ding, uh, and you're going to uh, participate in a civil war between the crowns and the forebearers, with the looming threat of the Thalmor. You you see what I'm saying, like. If they decide to go back to to Skyrim, it'll it, yeah, 
<laughs> exactly. F Green Goblin, basically, yeah. Uh, that's what that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I'm not telling you that's what it's going to be. I'm telling you that is a very strong possibility if Microsoft says go back to Skyrim. Right? You said everyone in Hammerfell will be converted to the Imperial religion? I don't know about that. I really don't. But I'm just saying that if if Microsoft decides Skyrim was profitable, you guys need to be as profitable as Skyrim, that's the pivot that might happen. Like I, I'm I'm not a I'm not a prophet. I can't tell you the future. I can only tell you uh likely outcomes based on uh my interpretation of what's going on. So uh, there there could be curveballs. I have no um uh, no comprehension of so we'll see we'll see alrighty then you're asking how's the new character new character's great been enjoying it uh, you said uh yeah yeah this is the first time uh we played Daggerfall since the last time it's true yeah okay anyway the sun's coming up and we need to continue east so if we look at our current quest here um let me find it real quick um i'm hitting the wrong buttons i'm doing the wrong things hold on there it is okay we are here and we need to follow this road east all the way to here the 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 community of vanusa that's where we need to go and this is in the kingdom of daggerfall so that's that's where we're going east always to the east let's see here you think that skyrim's mechanics are badly tuned i somewhat agree i enjoy um playing skyrim uh as, as a collectathon kind of sandboxy uh deal but um i will not um I will probably never go back to vanilla at this point. What's my current build? So we are running, we're, we're using staves. So uh, we got our uh, destruction magic along with our uh, blunt weapon, critical strike. Uh, we got restoration, alteration, mysticism, illusion, thaumaturgy, medical etiquette, mercantile, and dodging. So, um,. But we got a little bit of social skills, all the magics, and we clunk people with uh, with staves. If we look at our character um, specifically, we are forbidden, forbidden from using any bladed weapons whatsoever. So no short blades, no long blades, no axes. Uh, we have three times our intelligence in spell points, and we have spell absorption in general. So, um, y you know, we, we shooty bang bang things. With, with our magic spells, and then we clunk things with our staves. I'm specifically not using flails or warhammers, despite being able to. I am only using different types of staffs. And that that's it. Yep. Do, 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 do. Okay. Residence here. A lion in dungeon. But yeah, we're we're a clunker. Clunk enemies. I'm gonna see what's over here. Hmm. You said the sure AI guys are making their own game. I thought they disbanded and whoever owned the company was making their own game. I, I thought that the like people who made Enderil kind of went their own separate ways, and that's why the the guy who wrote the novel die. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The guy who wrote the novel, uh, the Enderil novel, is now re uh, working the novel to be a not Enderil novel, so that he can make a sequel because he can't make the sequel without you know the intellectual property. So he's basically reworking the original novel he wrote to be legally distinct and not take place in the world of Vin. Um, I don't know for sure. Like, if, if, if you find out 
like what's actually going on correct me i like i'm i think we're both working off rumors i i i think that is very likely that we're both working off rumors simultaneously so uh yeah if, if you find something a little more concrete tell me i'm i'm absolutely a-ok -okay being wrong on this it's just what i heard all right i need to put some stuff away real quick give me a sec those way there. Stuff I don't need to worry about. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. Can use daggers? Nope. No ebony dagger for me. In fact, I, the silver staff is what I got from the emperor, not the ebony dagger. For those who don't know, um,. When you create a character in Daggerfall, you should get the Ebony Dagger. It's uh, a cheat that gets you through the progression tree of materials real quick. As in, you start with it. But I uh, purposefully built a character that is incapable of using it. And the Emperor gave me a Silver Staff instead of uh, the Ebony Dagger. Yes. Do -do -do -do. This way. Mm -hmm. Have I discussed the mod loadout yet? Nope. It's there at the top of the chat window. If you are interested. The main thing you need to know is that we're using mooks. Which is the um, meaner monsters. Unleveled uh, monsters. And enemy expansion monsters all in one. Along with another one called Horrible Hordes, which adds, which takes the monsters and brings them into swarms. So we get like five monsters all at once in a big pack instead of just one guy in a hallway. It's uh, terrifying and will probably murder the shit out of me when I get to my d dungeon destination. I managed to dominate um, Privateer's Hold pretty well, but I did that. Uh, I, I worked really hard to dominate Privateer's Hold. Let's put it like that. Um, let's go. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba. Yep. It probably won't be five ancient liches. It'll probably be an ancient lich and then like five, uh, sorry, four lesser liches or something like that. Uh, King's Retail Store. Let's go in here really quick and grab a bite to drink. Uh, bite to eat. Whoops. Uh, give me food. Leftovers is fine. And then, uh, some spruce tea. We're not hungry anymore. We just ate at the, uh, local tavern. Pretty cheap. Yep, yep. You think it's skeletons that spawn alongside liches? Sounds about right. Is School of Julianos up there on the hill? Or we're just heading east? Honestly, um, I could fast travel to my destination, but I figured, why not take the long journey? Kick back, relax, do some traveling. That's what Daggerfall is for me. It's a chill game. Where I, uh, you know, do a little bit of the medieval... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, travel simulator. And if I really want to go up to a place, I can always fast travel there. But otherwise, I just take the roads. It's uh, pretty fun stuff. At least for me. It's uh, nice relaxing. I, I It's uh, a lot more chill than... Um, what do you call it? Um, no Man's Sky, where you're basically always going somewhere. You're always doing something. You know, I'm, uh, I poke at social media at the same time as I ought to run through things. You said, um, <clears throat> chill as I turn it to 20 times speed? Well, yes, but let's be honest here. Um, that's still, like, downtime where we're kicking back and relaxing. Given a cup of hot water. I see. What a shame. Yes. Uh, ambient occlusion? What the what the hell is ambient occlusion? Why why would why would anyone use ambient occlusion? Turn the thickness up. 
No. Okay. Do, do, do. You, you like how the villages are bigger than some Skyrim cities? Yes. All right. I mean, the internet, like, we have to remember that the games industry is making games for Dark Side Phil. He's a pillar of the games industry. People just don't realize it yet. What was it? Uh, uh, yes, the the, uh, the the top quality uh, uh, dark dark side feel content. There we go. Here it is. Motivation to prioritize exploration. Here's a quick example. I want you to watch what the player does here as he boats around. The taste of Vanya magic led him to new forms of experimentation for them. New levels of depravity. Look where we are, we're back. Okay, so in this example, the player is exploring the hub. They've been correctly taught the shock arrow mechanic. And thanks to the design work done by Kai Zeng, they've also been told that shock arrows mean interesting themes and that there's a lot of different variety and a lot of different gameplay, right? So we've made a convincing promise to the player. So watch it one more time, and I want you to watch just what the camera behavior does. The taste of Vanya magic led him to new forms of experimentation for them. New levels of depravity. Look where we are, we're back. Boom, and there it is. He saw a shock crystal, right? He has been taught correctly. He has been promised interesting gameplay. And because he is returning to the hub, he is thinking, oh, I feel like doing one of those. I know how those work. I'm in the mood for one of those. Or he can just... So, yes, the games industry now makes games for Dark Side Phil. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it, the, the No Child Left Behind uh, game design is, um, like, that, that, you know, the, the, the absolute dumbest person needs to be able to complete the content. Um, I'll, I'll, like, think about it. If someone gets filtered off of your game, uh, that's someone who's not buying the game, right? Um, th think about it. No, se seriously. Um, like, if, if for any reason, um, like, that, like, that's one person who's not buying the game, right? And so they need to make sure that nobody gets filtered, that even the dumbest person possible can play your game. It's, um, that, that's it. So, um, yeah, like, the games industry makes games for Dark Side Phil now. They can't, they, they, they can't not make games for Dark Side Phil, because if they don't, then, um, like, that's a little bit less money. I mean, th think about it. Yeah. Like, that's a little bit less money. Okay, let's get going. Mm-hmm. Make a game for no one? Oh, like Pathologic. Pathologic, by the way, is true art. I recommend the game to absolutely nobody. Yes. Let me say here. No coin left on the table, correct. That's right. If someone doesn't buy your game, you're leaving cash on the table. What's your take on Path of Exile 2? It looks harder than Path of Exile 1. In several ways. And I think that's cool. I think that there are some people who are getting uh, a little bored of, you know, what, what? How many years of Path of Exile? Seven, eight now? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yep, yeah, th they added dodge roll to Path of Exile 2. They also added, um, what do you call it, um, 
Like, bosses are going to reset if you don't kill them. Like, they're going to get all their health back. And the fight's going to start over. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a watchtower back there. Hold on. I want to check this watchtower out. Yeah. Duh. Game for no one is actually just a game with a really niche audience. Well, yes. Obviously. Let me climb the tower there. Hey, guys. How you doing? They're, they're not talking to me. Uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and save. As I'm going to yoink this. Here we go. Give me your potion. Glass bottle filled with an unknown liquid. Okay. A loaf of bread. Yoink. You guys don't care. Uh, these guys are like... They, they are not active. At, so Yeah, they don't care. That's glorious. Okay. This is, this is fine. What did I get? I got a potion of healing and a loaf of bread. They just share? Yeah. There you go. Pick, pick their pockets. I don't think I can. Like, I can't interact with them. They just... They, they're, they're, they're cardboard cutouts, man. They, they, they're just cardboard cutouts. I, I don't know. P paid actors. <laughs> yep, yep. I don't think they're mobiles. Mobs. They're just, uh... There, yep. Sprites on screen. You got it. Guards from the Holy Grail. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Their pants don't have pockets. They haven't been invented yet. You know. Uh, hold on a second. Let me check something. Mm-hmm. Um... Okay. Sorry. Um uh, first class wares. Mm. Uh sun hidden behind a thick layer of clouds. Okay. Got distracted. Um, let me see here. Uh, I got, yeah. Uh, wife sending me messages on, on the discords. And so I'm getting distracted. Okay. That was casual pants. They're purple. Don't care about that. We're out of here. We're gonna continue east. Hmm. Okay, uh, bu 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 bu. something's wrong here. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no maid outfit. Uh, you were looking at the character, right? Uh, were you by chance thinking about the, uh, the long socks and the spiked bra? Or were you looking more at the, uh, uh, you know, th this particular outfit? Or, um, you know, of course, uh, there are other... Shenanigans, yes. Uh, there, there, there's no made outfit, sadly. There's all kinds of nonsense here. Red dress, yes. It's all high quality content, as you can see. But sadly, what we have to do is we actually have to put all our armor on. And then, once our armor's on, we throw the dress on. And two. Heavy cloaks. Yes. Lots of tan. Lots of tan. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Okay. Well. Wow, that, that is a hill. I like how I'm not on the road. I'm just, like, peeling off to the side. Um... Okay. Quite very steep. Very steep. Yes. What the hell is this place? This looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks pretty fancy. Are those uh, fishies? Those are fish. And that's a skillet. Damn. A bundle of fish. Those are all things that could be grabbed. I can't grab the sheep, though. Neat. Mm-hmm. What a strange place. Come in, they say. Really? I went into this wardrobe, and I found nothing. No one's here. Bloofies, yes. Lots of floofies. Okay, let's go back over there. I'm going to try to nab this and see if they uh, want to kill me. So I'm going to go ahead and do a save. Guild for Fights 4. Probably going to reload after this uh, fails and I uh, get uh, get attacked. But let's assume for a second. Hmm. I don't think... That, no, they didn't aggro. Crazy. So I'm just allowed to have it. I'm I'm not gonna question. I'm just gonna leave. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm a common citizen, so my reputation is zero. Uh, rep, uh, reputation can go from positive 100 to negative 100, but uh, common citizen just means that they don't have any opinion of me one way or the other. So I was just able to yoink the free fish, and uh, yeah, they don't care. Reminds me of like two thirds of the houses in Baldur's Gate One until you uh, um, suddenly have guards coming in and for the flaming fist. But yeah, you you could take anything you want until suddenly you couldn't. I spent like what nine hours straight just plundering things. And then all of a sudden, flaming fist time! Like, wait, what? Well, why now? Is there a gold limit before they get pissed in Baldur's Gate? I don't know. I think it was just like someone saw me and didn't see me previous times. That That's my only guess. I don't know. All right. Well, we've been at this for five hours. I intend on playing um, more, but I need to take a short break. I need to stand up. I need to stretch my legs, and uh, the wife wants something done, and I'm going to go do that. So see you all in like five, ten minutes, and we will be um, uh, finishing up getting to that dungeon, possibly getting our ass kicked in that dungeon, Maybe running away with our tail between our legs. Don't know. But, um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you all in like five, ten minutes.
I'm almost back. Almost. How many people out there are regularly subjected to one more thing? It's not horrible, it just throws my projections off, you know? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Said one more what exactly? Let me see here. All right. We are basically good to go. Hmm. Let's do it. So, onwards, <clears throat> onwards and sideways. We're just uh, kicking back, relaxing. We gotta go. Guess I need to figure out where on the map we need to be. Just straight east, I guess. North, yeah. Northeast it is. A <laughs> KFC bucket. Well, I mean, it's it's just just one cup, right? Just just one cup. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. A beaver and muskrat. Yeah. It's uh just shy of a full pot of coffee. Yeah. Let me see here. 
We're trying to get to over there as quickly as possible. <clears throat> What's happening? Okay. So, we consult the map. Pretty close to it. I kind of want to cut across the wilderness to the hold of Hawkcroft. Mm, that doesn't feel right either. Moorcroft Manor wouldn't be in an acceptable place. Warvale. Okay, that, yeah, let's, let's just try for that. We, if we cut across wilderness, we can probably get there fast. Any good mods? Ha, ah, ah. ha. You should check out uh, the link at the top of the chat window there. The uh, little pinned uh, post. You might be surprised a little bit, maybe, possibly. Okay. So let's see here. I think we should just go north. No northeast. Let's do it. Yeah. From here, we are as far, we're as far east as we're going to get without diving into the water. And I don't want to dive into the water, so I want to go north. <clears throat> yeah. Kind of annoying. Is what it is. No huge deal. Okay. Not there quite yet. So, uh, someone just pointed this out to me. If we unequip all our gear really quick, and we select this right here, uh, this outfit right here is in a whole ton of memes with, uh, Cloud Strife, specifically. Um... Um, the best way to put it would be uh, right there is is the the cloud strife memes. See what I'm saying? Like uh, be, because the of the uh, what you might call it. Um, trying to find the other one. Hold on. It, because of the uh, the skirt online. Yeah. <clears throat> The, uh, the, the, what I call it, uh, like, th this has hit a, a meme status online, and I'm just like, uh, that's, that's kind of funny. The, the, the skirt stocking combo, yes. Fa family friendly, exactly. V very, very family friendly. <laughs> but I was just looking at the, the, and they're called casual pants, Okay. Yeah. The steal his look exactly. <laughs> oh, that's funny shit. But no, someone pointed this out to me. And I was like, oh. Oh. Yeah. There, there's a lot of uh, cloud going on there. It was... Uh... Hey, here, you, you want one that's really family friendly? Here, hold on. This is uh this this is peak family friendly right there. Okay. There you go. Okay. So <clears throat> as I was saying, we are, we are moving on. <laughs> yep. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to eat a cooked fish, you bet. Then we need to get our equipment back on. The The, the skirt is funny, but uh, serves no purpose compared to, uh, you know, actual equipment. Dress is good. 
Um, trying to figure out where the other thing is. Okay, then we need the armor. Yep. That's better. Put on the uh, brigadine instead. The brigadine will keep us warm. Uh, missing... I guess I don't have gauntlets yet. I'm looking at this whole situation going, we're still missing out on gauntlets. Um, oh, well. There we go. Let's go. Enchant the casual pants. Oh, you haven't seen the real casual pants. We, uh... We stifle a yawn. Okay, what time is it? Oof, it is getting late. The cold is seeping into our bones. Let's go ahead and make a campfire there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Dunmer has, like, three different types of architecture, depending on which great house is in, uh, control of an area. But, uh, what was I doing? Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna use our campfire kit. Good, we set up camp. It's getting light. The cold is seeping into our bones. My two, uh, formal cloaks aren't doing enough. That's why I'm, uh, concerned... But this campfire will help us. I'm going to cook our raw fish real quick. And then I figure we'll rest for the night. I'm going to cast a couple light spells. Good, good, good. <clears throat> so. It is currently... It's, get, it's getting late. I should probably... Cast uh, a handful of, I, I guess, buoyancy. Buoyancy, go. Then we sleep some more. <clears throat> it's snowing now. That's incredible. Uh, okay, so it's currently midnight. You need more rest. That's fine. We're just going to rest for uh, six hours then. That should do it. Wake me up in the morning. Yeah, it's almost 7 a.m. Let's pack up. Have a fish for breakfast. And... Hmm. Equip the casual pants, of course. Good enough. We pack up. We're going northeast. <clears throat> the straw roof, yes. Skyrim is unfortunate, let's just say. The uh, the lore books that talk about them becoming more elemental the further north they go, the less need for shelter. Uh, and, and, you know, of course, being able to project their voice into a dragon shout. That was all very interesting shit. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What is this? Huh. This is a General Smith. They're closed. I hope nobody, uh... Nobody takes offense to our yoinking of the fish. You're unable to care anymore. What? What? How could this be? A loot po Oh, God, that's a lot of fish. I, uh... I didn't realize just how many fish there were. Okay. Change of plans. Yes. We're gonna use our wagon here. And put away some things. I think. Yeah. Wagon time. Put that stuff away. What else? Keep the bread. Wagon parts can go. Don't need that many rations. That is a uh, a lot of rations. I want to take a specific amount of rations. How do I do that? Control click. 
Got it. <clears throat> How much is the fish? We, uh... We yoinked the fish. We should be selling these lanterns soon. That's for sure. And yet, here we are. More lanterns. More torches. Still crazy, the sheer amount of nonsense going on. But we should be fine now. Yeah, I don't see a problem. We got, uh... Plenty of lantern. These are the casual pants, by the way. The, the, the string. Okay. This needs an outfit saver so bad. Uh, there was one, but it's outdated. And I don't think it's, uh, works with the current version. Unfortunate, but true. Hmm. Let me try to yoink these potions. Apparently we got, we definitely got heal true, healing. I like how they're not sending the guards after us right now. They could. They definitely could. <clears throat> I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. Before I'm caught for something. Hold on a second. What's this? What is this? You pet the cat. Crazy. Yeah, no halts yet. Believe it or not. Okay. Let's get out of here. No halts yet. Whether we're lucky or the uh, guards just aren't tied to uh, the yoinking of these items. Doesn't matter a whole lot. Yes. A 10 out of 10 game would let you steal the cat. Oof. Oof. Okay, yeah, we just need to go east. Not that way. Back this way. The path is in this direction. Cool. Very stealthily drop the uh, ten fish to the ground. I know. I know. It was very silly. Your inventory is full. You threw it all over the place. What are you going to do about it? I have no idea. Hmm. Okay. Nice. The horrible hordes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Been enjoying it when we were at Privateer's Hold a few hours ago. For now, we're crossing the land. <clears throat> Haven't had too many enemies to deal with. But we probably won't be getting into any major dungeon crawling until, like, the end of this stream, basically. Mm -hmm. Parks are wagging the in the middle of the market, steals your produce. That's a cat. And, and then leaves, yes. Absolutely. The absolute insanity of this run, exactly. I failed to avoid an encounter. Oh no. Tunley greets you. Know that you are welcome, but do not take advantage of our hospitality. Uh huh. What's going on here? You! Excuse me. Are you friendly? No, no, you're not friendly. You're not friendly. You are dead. As it should be, now and forever. That's magic. Magic, I say. Take all your stuff. Then we're going to put it in the wagon. Thank you, Mr. Town Guard. A knight. More importantly... Um, wagon. <clears throat> not need the yellow jacket. There's the armor stuff we don't need to worry about. We must, wait. 
Enemies nearby? Rogue just died? What? Why? Oh, interesting. Apparently, uh, yeah, I was getting attacked by the town guard. And they died. Will I consider streaming Dragon Age Origins this year? Probably not. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because between Daggerfall, Morrowind, uh, Baldur's Gate 1, Dra Dragon, uh, Dragon Spear, Siege, whatever, and, uh, 2, you know, then 3, like, uh, and then after that, maybe Neverwinter Nights. <clears throat> plus all the Pokemon nonsense, plus the Pal World. I'm looking at, uh, you, you know, like, probably not going to happen anytime soon. Amalur is a game you've been wanting to play for a while. I have a, uh, I have it. Um, I definitely want to play it again sometime. I just probably won't be able to get the opportunity to, you know. It's, um, I suspect that it'll be more short form games like the Mega Man, you know, where I can play a whole game in one day. Not not so much, uh, you know, multi-day campaigns that I, I can't see myself doing um, much, many more multi-day campaigns simultaneously. <laughs> it, it's going to be like one-offs or things like that. Oh, God, I, I need to finish up Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch as well. Holy crap. I uh, did it on Valentine's Day evening there. Ember Nights 1. Uh, specifically, Shadows of Undern Tide, Hordes of the Underdark, and all of the other big modules. Yep. Whoop. Great billows of wind follow you. Very good. As you can see, this nice lady here, Miss Buckingfield. How you doing, Miss Buckingfield? Tell me about... Oh, you don't know anything about the Thieves' Guild. I see. I see. Order of the Candle, House of Debeller, Crusaders. Uh, let's see. Order of the Hour. Jeez, there are so many factions on your list. Order of the Lamp. Uh, could be anywhere. Are you sure about that? Who gives a damn? Damn. Miss Buckingfield. YouTube is fine with nudity? Uh, mostly. Hmm. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Bread and cheese. Let's have a drink. Herbal tea. Mm hmm. Bride. Too pixelated for YouTube? Something like that. Yes. <clears throat> Alchemy store. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, th this might work. Do we have a. Uh, alchemy field alchemy kit. Oh jeez, that's that's a thousand. I'm not gonna be able to make a go of that. What a shame. I don't have the money. Oh well, maybe next time. Yep. The the algorithm doesn't really understand. Uh, the pixelated mess in front of it. Okay. Let's see here. There's no path, but there's always a path. I knew there was a path. Southeast, take me away. Not using Dream? Nope. Not even a bit. Don't need uh, graphical mods. I'm sure someone out there does, but that person isn't me. I mean, I do like the enhanced sky, though. The enhanced sky is pretty cool. All right. We're almost there. Can 
accelerate slightly to 20. Anytime speed is still very chill. When you're going across a realistically sized continent. <laughs> All right. Drink from your water skin. Will I play a new Dragon Age game if it ever comes out? I mean, Dragon Age Origins was my favorite. Dragon Age 2 I didn't like basically at all. And Dragon Age Inquisition um, I liked a little more than 2, but also thought that was bad. So It's one of those weird situations where I have to shrug and go, Oh well. Uh, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be terrible. But my expectations are basically none because... Yep. Couldn't continue Baldur's Gate 1. I'm gonna play it later. Um, probably Tuesday. How's it going? Uh, well, Kamer, I don't seem to be encountering too many enemies in the wilderness. They seem to be encountering enemies the moment I approach a town. And as soon as I approach the town, a town guard comes up and kills whatever, um, uh, whatever was, uh, you know, like, going to attack me. It's happened multiple times now. We're gonna hunt an animal. Oh no, you are not the hunter, but the hunted. I'm, it's a spwagon. It's a, it's a spwagon. I, I feel confident in my bonkening skills. Damn right. The bonkening is complete. The spagen. Okay, so that that is the first. Yeah, that that happened due to a hunting event, though. It's not a random enemy or anything. Uh, bam. Let's go northeast. Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> Did change the settings. No. I didn't see any settings that I remember. Very interesting. Oh well, we'll stop here. There's a windmill. Let me see here. I don't. I mean, I'm not entirely sure which settings you're talking about at this point. Well, I'm gonna hit the exit button and try to relaunch it. I mean, we've got had some really fun times in dungeons. Don't get me wrong. It's just, um, all right, give me a sec. It should be TES2, 1.0, lunch. Okay. So we're lunching the game. Uh, mods, and then it would be under what? Um, the bottom for... <clears throat> Yeah, World of Daggerfall Terrain. Windmills Patch. Hmm. Ba -ba -ba. World of Daggerfall. Power Struggle. Let's see here. I don't know. Let me see. Mm hmm. Do I have a mod list already? Yes. You just haven't checked it yet, or looked at the top of the chat window. Lol. Uh, um... I don't see it listed. It should be here. There's Beyond Ashes, but, uh... No, there's something wrong with this. Give me a sec. I don't see it there. Let me, let me, let me try to fix something. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Give me a, give me a sec to look. Download o. <clears throat> All right. Give me a second. Okay. 
should be these two. Now, I'm pretty sure the encounter... Yeah, yeah, War Mashes is active. Absolutely. Um, don't know. Well, we're going to keep going. Let me uh, relaunch the game now. I poked at it. I double-checked. It is running. All the quests are running. Everything's running. I, I don't... I haven't changed any settings, so... We're going. <clears throat> but no, uh, I have... Yeah, exactly. Zero faith in... Uh, uh, Dragon Age 4. Exactly. Uh, I Like, I can't imagine them making a good game at this point, so... I wouldn't buy it on release, that's for sure. You said it's strange that it's not showing up on the mod list? Yeah, because it, uh... Like... I know for a fact when I started the playthrough, the, um, what do you call them? The, um, um, like, it, it, it popped up, um, it, you know, it did all the pop-ups for the wilderness encounters and everything. Like, all the quests started already. Very strange. Hmm. Maybe I just zoomed past it and didn't see it. Being silly about it. Don't know. Let me see here. Um... Well, boar! Boar! It's a pig! I don't have any magic. I'm gonna die! The pig! Damn, that thing is tanky. Did I just get the one? I think I did. Where are the others? Whoa, boy. Goodbye, everybody. Pretty sure this is the end for me. I guess I... If I can get this one hit in... We got it. Board defeated. Victory is mine. I said, uh... Boars are uh, super weak in the enemy expansion. Uh, yes, but you have to remember that we're running the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the meaner monsters version of it, which is extra spooky. Okay. <clears throat> yes, this is our, our mount over here. Whoops. Uh, let me... Yeah, if I use... Info mode, it, it says right there. Yep. Okay. So, first things first, we need to put down a tent and uh, yeah, set up camp here. I mean, all the monsters, other than rats and bats, are pretty brutal. That's for sure. I'm gonna cook all the raw fish. Not the moldy raw fish, just the regular raw fish, I guess. Eh, what the hell. We'll, we'll, we'll spend time cooking all of it. For no reason other than it's gonna be, uh... Yeah. Dead otherwise. Rest! Good. Bull heals. Enemies nearby. What? What enemy? Uh-oh. Oh. No. What are you? It was a bat. That's fine. Does the horse compress? The horse is right here. The, uh... We don't actually have a horse in our inventory. Very silly. The... What we have is this wagon here. And, and the wagon holds all the stuff. 
And the horse just kind of sits here next to the wagon. Very silly. But, uh... Eat more food. Always eat more food. All the stinky meat. Yes. More importantly, we can use sugar lumps to summon the horse to us whenever we need to. So if we, like, teleport somewhere and the horse isn't around, uh, we can do that. Yes. No big deal. Do -do -do -do. If it wasn't for the, um, the sugar lump item, I wouldn't be using this mod at all. That's the honest truth of it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's use some epoxy glue and repair our staff. Yep. Steel flail, sure. We're not done yet, so I might as well... Nothing needs repair there. Steel pole, yeah. We're just getting some stuff repaired. Repair takes a while. I can see our stamina dropped like a rock. We're gonna equalize that. Heal myself. Where's the healing item? Where's the healing item? I don't know. I don't know. Buoyancy, levitate, free action. Knock, knock. Let me see here. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. Uh, Kamer, I'll install that. Um, what do you call it after this stream is done? We'll, we'll, uh, the next time we start, we'll have the wilderness encounters, I guess. <clears throat> That's cool. Now, let's figure out what we're going to do here. It's not stamina. It's, it's balm? Is it sal bruise? That's what I needed. And then we just take a rest. Enemies nearby again? Another boar? You kidding me? Holy crap. Okay. Arcane arrows. Here we go. Oh, that didn't do shit. Thankfully, I am, uh... Come on. Did a Daggerfall one? Eventually, maybe. But, uh... For now... Let's rest a bit more. We're set. Let's go. Packing up. And... Yeah, we're going. Hell yeah. That boar is dead. Okay. Northeast. A uh, Polish countryside, you say. Oof. Oof. Okay. Further to the east. Deathmatch with boars. Hmm. Hold on a second. Now I'm curious. Because Gadonia is currently 85% off. So, um, the real question is, um, should I pick up the game for $2.24. Is that what you're saying, Strat? For Deerbury. What a, what a name for a town. Deerbury. At least you have a general store I can check out. <clears throat> I'm peeking in through the lock there. That's funny. Alright. We're going to sell some stuff to the merchant. Yes. I'm not investing in your store, you bastard. Yes. Uh, when it releases, there's going to be another sale? Uh, okay. 
I'm selling all this junk to you, sir. The, the, the fish. Smelly fish. More importantly... Is that everything? Yeah. M moldy fish. And I'll sell three more. That's good. 56. You notice a book chained to a nearby wall of magical seals. Uh, bilingual dictionary. Target Daedric. Place 500 gold coins in the pouch. I'm not placing 500 gold coins in the pouch. I, I, you're, you're, you're gonna teach me Daedric? I don't think so. I, I uh, can't I imagine a Daedra Lord goes, ha, 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 with their normal voice actor. And uh, then, oh, oh look, you, you got pacified. I have never pacified a Daedra Lord anytime soon, so. Let me see here. Hmm. Okay. Not gonna happen. Trying to figure out where we're going exactly. Because there's no path. No path. There it is. We're heading that way. To the northeast. I believe the wagon squeaks and creaks. Is my wagon damaged? Is that something that's going on right now? It squeaks and creaks. So if we switch into the wagon, get out the wagon wheel parts, we repaired the wagon using the wagon wheel parts. Yes, that is part of the game now as well. What do you mean the wagon can break? Yeah, so it, it, the, the squeaking creak has been fixed. Going this way first. We're slowly working our way over to that uh, area there. Can't wait to see what happens. Oops. I'm gonna go down this way. I think it breaks off. Because I don't think these roads dead end. I think it actually ends up somewhere of value. I'm gonna go take it out and get that added to my map, maybe. It is okay. Shrine of Viril. Virgil. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this then. We unhitched the wagon. We're going over to the shrine master here. Mr. Buckingcroft, how ya doin'? Alright, let me ask you about any news. <clears throat> the Royal Guards cut a deal with the Crusaders. That is interesting. Well, do you know anything about the Necromancers by chance? Obvi you obviously confused me with someone who cares. Damn. You're wasting uh, time with me. I don't know anything about the necromancers. Got it. Oh, I'm able to refill my water here. Cool. Neat. Alrighty then. Let's uh, hop on here. And uh, that is quite terrifying. Let's, uh... Let's figure out where we're going now. Uh... My wagon's right there. Okay. I, I confused my wagon with something else for a second. Hitch the wagon, and... Hmm. Where are we going now? <laughs> you know the necromancers. Yes, exactly. Uh, we're going northwest again. Follow this road. Cool. We're following this track. I hope we get there.
And when it hits the crossroads, we immediately veer north. Or northeast, yes. This will do. We're getting there, bit by bit. Hmm. Your wagon wheel died of dysentery. <laughs> oh, jeez. I should play Oregon Trail again soon. Yeah. Um, Oregon Trail's a really fun game. Let me see here. Oh, we've, we've found the rebirth of Kinnereth. No, it's... Uh, I think it was. Let me see. Almost got it. I just need to go to Steam. A sec. I think it's that. Yeah, it's this one. Cool. I found the game. This this is the game I uh I want to play again soon. Yep. Here it is. Oregon Trail. Retro saw the apocalypse action on your desktop and mobile devices. With a ragtag group of survivors. An expedition across the United States. Face the perils of the shambling horde. Bandits. Mother Nature. Your friends. Your own body. And fate itself. As the world crumbles around you, will you be able to cling to your humanity? Will you survive? Can you do what must be done? Find out in Oregon Trail. It's a pretty good game, actually. It's heavily inspired by Oregon Trail, of course, but, uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Uh, plaque reads, Nature gifts wisely. Respect her power. Fear her fury. I see. Hey, those flowers are not for me. Not a single one of them. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Let me get my horse back and we're riding. Ahem. Perfect. Let's go. So, um, how far are we from our destination? Jeez, we're still how many days away if we... Okay, it's two days uh, fast travel. We go reckless, but... 20 hours? Yeah, so. It's gonna take a while, one way or the other. But we're gonna go northeast, I think. Let's see. There we go. Yep, we can go northeast this way. We may have to camp out again. There's nowhere to sleep in the, um, Kennereth Shrine, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Good stuff so far. Getting a bit tired, but we can deal with that by eating uh, fish. Let's keep going. And sleep at a Debella Shrine. Oh, hold on a second. I just saw, I saw, speaking of a shrine, look at this. What is this over here? Serious business. Hmm. Some sort of a uh, way shrine in the middle of the wilderness. What? Hold on a second. We're going to yoink this. 
serious business. What is that? That's a gem. That, that was just a gemstone. Is it in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, sapphire. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's gemstones. Emerald. Okay. Is that that it? Looks like we can sleep here at the campfire. Um That that does look like a Debeller shrine. I'm pretty sure uh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a Debeller Shrine there. Hmm, crazy. Okay. Interesting. Oh, either way, I think we can settle here for the night. Let's cast some spells. Spells and incantations. One levitate. Okay, let's just take a nap. Actually, hold on. Cook? No, nothing to cook. It's nap time. Good. What time is it now? 2 a.m. Let's cast two more levitates and rest again. Good. There are enemies nearby. What? No! Rat! That music. That's red guard music. The rat is dead. I have no idea. Okay, let's cook that meat. A heroic swashbuckling defense of a divine shrine from a rat. <laughs> it's true. Let's uh, rest some more. More? What? Harpy! Oh, crap. Uh, my, no, my material's ineffective against the Harpy. We're getting out of here. Not travel with enemies nearby. Ah! I don't recognize the way past here. I don't see the road. I'm concerned. I found the road. Okay. We just need to keep running from that harpy. I just got on my horse and ran. I cannot travel while enemies are nearby. We gotta do this manually for a bit. Crazy. Can't believe it came to this. At least I know we're on the right track. We got away. We failed to avoid an encounter. What? What? They'll do avoid an encounter again. What's happening? The harpy's still after me. You're kidding me. It's not stopping. Why? Why is it not stopping? This is madness. Utter, utter madness. I don't know what to do. Okay. We did it. We're taking the road. Thank God. Mm -hmm. What? We fell through the world. What a shame. Well, that was uh, pretty cool. 
it's a good thing we can reload. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. My bad. I, I did a silly thing. You can fall through the world. The cold is unrelenting. Crap. Yeah, we're almost there. I will make another save before I uh, think about fast traveling. So, yes. <laughs> Do we fill this hole into the void? Well, you need to be a void runner, you know. Oh, boy. Okay, this is where we fell through the world last time, so we're going to make a guild for fights four. And, uh, ahem, go, go, go. This is where we fell through the world before. Because look, look at the, the up and down and up and down. I'm surprised I haven't fallen through the world already. Considering how much nonsense this is verticality-wise. Just up and down, up and down, up and down. No big deal. Hell yeah. Can you levitate? Uh, technically, what I should have done is I should have immediately opened up the command console. And, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, help. Help fast which it should have been uh it should be f for fast we look here hold on uh start quest hold on it, it should, should be f for fast um or spawn i i know there's like another console command just like fast flying maybe it's um a mod i don't have but I remember seeing it before. Yep. There's a levitate command, but uh, I remember seeing the fast flying command somewhere. Maybe it was in a different, uh, a different mod. But point is that fast flying can get you out of that pretty easily. You just zoom back up. I'll go see how that works. Do -do -do -do. Okay. This was before consoles. At least the consoles that you're thinking of. I'm pretty sure they do not have any ambitions to ever port this over. Any newish mods you like? Absolutely. Tons of them. Okay. Let's get going. Swing for the fences. Well, let's figure out where we need to go now. Oh, oh. Here we go. Maybe you can make it work on a hacked Xbox 360. I mean, well, considering this runs on, uh, this is running on Linux right now, you could probably get it to run in, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, geez, uh, you can get it to run on a hacked uh, PlayStation because PlayStation can run Linux. But yeah, no, no matter what, it did require. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the, you said if it runs Doom, it may run Dagger. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, jeez. Find that. Hell yeah. Bandage. Oh, yeah. Being able to run regular Daggerfall. It, yeah, I'm buying this landmark journal, by the way. Um, <clears throat> let's see. You got crashes when you use the 32-bit version by mistake. Oof. That's a green thong. What a shame. What kind of shoes are those? Oh, wow. Those are not the shoes that I thought they were. Ah, uh, uh no big deal. No, don't care. I like how there's snow inside the house because of where it's positioned. Ah, I see. Nice paper doll nudity. Of course, the long socks were a mistake. The long socks were always a mistake. Oh uh, well. <clears throat> Transparent windows fault? Uh, no doubt. 
No doubt. Howdy, DB. Good to see ya. So... Yep, yep. Did the transparent windows cl uh, clash with a lot of mods? It's funny. I don't really care too much if the transparent window causes a few issues. That's not a huge problem for me. Yes, paper doll nudity in my Elder Scrolls. See this horse? What you do is you hitch the horse up to the wagon. And you go... By the way, DB, have you seen my wondrous horse? Look at its name. This horse is amazing. That's right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Now, where were we going? <laughs> going down south now. Yep. Flipping for days. Stopping for a second. You bet. Yep. Good shit. Okay. We must continue. I need to get to the dungeon soon. Oh god, I'm, I'm freezing to death. Uh, that's a problem. Let me put my skirt on. Then put a couple cloaks on. Eat some fish. And yeah, I'm invigorated by the meal, but I am still freezing. So yeah, it's cold and foggy. Gonna take a moment. Yeah, we're no longer freezing to death. This is fine. Gonna ask for a fifth save as we proceed south. Mm-hmm. What's a game changer? Lol. I mean, travel options plus the roads are the biggest one, but if you want to have some fun, you should try what the game, what this particular loadout's based on, which is the the Mooks plus, um, oh, Long Tail Heights, interesting. Uh, Mooks plus uh, Horrible Hordes. You might have some fun or be very sad, one of the two. Who knows for sure? All right. A lot of people made the same joke. That's why I've been ignoring the joke. <laughs> All righty then. Whoops. Yeah, really quick. Refilled my water. Very good. Ahem. It's your wagon. Need to figure out where we're going now. Yeah, we need to go east. We're getting there. There's a coven of Elizin. We're uncovering. Yeah, Shellos Web is a place we can go to later on our way back. But uh, yes, the fixed dungeon exteriors are great. I agree. Let me see here. Oh, oh. Wanna launch Daggerfall again? Nice. I mean, sounds good. And a fair amount of fun here. Almost at the uh, seventh hour mark. I don't think we're gonna get to the dungeon in time. I think we're gonna have to go take a nap. Oh no, it's a will o wisp! I don't know. I don't think I can fight it. Maybe my silver staff can. Okay, my silver staff is able to fight. Oh god, I just absorb. Okay, cool. I, I just managed to absorb uh, its spell. Yeah. Okay, this is actually working. We're we're, we're regaining our health by using uh, spell absorption. Yeah. Oh jeez. 
Nope. Yeah, spell absorption's doing a great job. Holy crap. What are you gonna do, huh? You're dead. Will-O-Wisp has been defeated. Its body has no treasure. Yeah, against a magical enemy, I uh, can do pretty well with my spell absorption. But, uh... Yep, yep. That's pretty good. We got it. Okay. Northeast. Yeah. Spell absorption only works if you don't have uh, the... What do you call it? Whoops. Hold on a second. Yeah, we're good. We've failed to avoid another encounter at Longtown. Longtown. Who's after me? These guys. Damn. A poster board is broken off the ground. It appears to have come from the king. You pick it up from curiosity. Steel claymore, uh, greaves, boots. This is all good stuff. Elven mail? That's plus nine. The steel curious. That's super interesting. Oh, that, that's, yeah, that's good stuff. Are you hostile, or are you just the yeah, town guard? Okay. Good to know. We gotta go. We gotta go. Mm-hmm. All right. Here's the thing. We've been at this for almost seven hours, and I do have to go and do some other things and probably drop like a rock. So, um gonna go to the fighters guild uh when does the fighter guild open at 11 so one hour from now let's go ahead and uh it's illegal to rest here we'll wait for an hour how about that loitered for an hour my blunt weapon and critical strike skills went up that's great um hey, the entrance was right over here i don't know what i'm doing okay so we're in the fighters guild now that is glorious all right so, we're going to save it here under a guild for fights uh, six. And, um, yeah, I will be back. Um, was called. Um, I will be probably doing Pal World on Monday. And on Tuesday, I will be doing Baldur's Gate. Yes, Baldur's Gate. But expect me to be gone on Wednesday and Thursday before uh, doing more, uh, I think, Marwind on Friday. We'll see. Um, can't can't strictly adhere to a schedule right now, unfortunately, because real life will take priority. But uh, I, I'm going to go do other things and then fall asleep. So uh, thanks for watching. This was a fun uh, six hours and 47 minutes. I'm going to go take off.